Hello there, guys and gals. The Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide. And this time, we are getting it all in these seriously beautiful creatures of Ava. This was developed by Inverge Studios and Chi Big Studios, or Chi Big Studios, uh, published by 11 Bit Studios, and is usually available for £20.99 slash about $24.99, I think. But it's included in Xbox Game Pass right now, so just like the Knuckles meme from a few years ago, you know the way. So this is a stunning, cute game where we play as Vic Hamilton, a nature adventurer, as we navigate the planet Ava with some mega creatures on it, probably hence the name Creatures of Ava. We have to stop the recurring infection called the Withering and get this planet looking Badman Ting now or, or uh, what is it, Skibbity, or whatever the stupid kids say these days. God damn, I'm old. Anyway, achievements are... Uh, <laughs> well, you've got to be paying attention. We need to basically 100% everything. We need to find all plants, take pictures, discover places, do all secondary quests, and just so much more. The main one is getting 100% on all creatures through a checklist of things we need to do, but I'll explain more on that in just a bit. But all in all, looking at around 8 to 10 hours to get this done, so with that being said then, let's skibbity. I mean, let's do it. And it doesn't matter what difficulty you played it on, so we might as well just play it on story. Now, in terms of um, being attacked and things, also you can hold the uh, B button to skip, which we will be doing for the majority of the game, and we'll be skipping through dialogue by pressing and smashing through the A button. Uh, but we do begin here as Vic. She's feeling a little bit injured as we do a couple of spins just to make sure that we've got our... Uh, you know, dizziness on point. Uh, but we're going to walk forward and you can see the exclamation point. That's going to be the main checkpoint of the waypoint of what we're going to be following. So go ahead, press the Y button to pick up the old healing brew. Now, especially as a British person, you could be literally, you could have your leg amputated and there is nothing better than a healing brew. Uh, but in the bottom left hand corner, you can see where you'll be able to use the D-pad in order to uh, basically like a quick access thing. So you press up on the D-pad to use that. Then we can just uh, walk forward and press the A button to jump. Um, and yeah, just sort of follow the linear path. But this is, and you can tell already how honestly lovely this game is. Uh, press the crouch button uh, by clicking in the left stick and continuing on your way. Uh, but yes, so there is a lot to do. And I'll explain more as we get to it. There's no point trying to smash your beautiful little brains in with information right now uh, but for now we're just going to enjoy the scenery enjoy the walking and the easiness of the buttons uh, but there is um, the, our first creature that you probably just seen just in the very little distance so walk forward and we're going to stay crouched in the flowers we're actually going to take a picture um, oh sorry not this bit I got a little bit ahead of myself there which I might do a few times in this guide so apologies if that happens but you're going to, again, there's only really one way to go. Uh, so continuing on your way. But this is basically like, I mean, this is nothing like Pokemon at all. Absolutely nothing like Pokemon, of course. We don't catch them. Um, so this is where we're going to stay hidden in the flowers. And I'm going to show you in just a minute what we need to do. Just having a little spin, making sure my controller is working or something. Um, what we need to do then is press right on the D-pad, which will get your camera up. So... Every creature that we see, there's always about four or five, six creatures on in each new region, of which there are four regions. And we need to do uh, quite a few things in order to get 100% on each of these creatures. So, you're going to press right on the D-pad to get your camera out, up and down on the D-pad in order to zoom in and out, and then the right bumper button in order to take the picture. Now, the only way that the picture will be uh, correct is when it's got the little four, you know, camera pointy things up, um, around it. And as long as it says there in the top left hand corner that you've got the photo, then that one does count. So if you press start on, well, the start button, the old burger button, whatever you want to call it, you've there's the checklist then. So um, it will always be take a healthy picture, take an infected picture. Uh, pet, and then we've got to use their co-op abilities. We've got to rescue the species, and we've got to cure so many infections as well. Now, you'd think that a lot of this would be just sort of mainly story-related, 
but there are times that you can miss it, especially if you rescue the creatures first before actually uh, finishing whatever you need to do. So that's why we, we will always finish puzzles or whatever, whatever we need to do first and then rescue the creatures. So keep that one in mind. That's quite important. So continuing on our way then. And we, uh, so that was a Kraj, little Kraj. And I tell you what, Nintendo are going to have a field day because they're going to, they're probably going to meticulously go through these creatures as so we get another couple of healing brews here. And you can take a picture here, but you actually can't. Oh, in fact, what we are going to do is take a picture because it's going to get us our first achievement. Um, so what you're going to see then, if the picture doesn't count, you will see that it says save or discard. Uh, in the bottom right hand corner right there of your camera so that means that that but obviously you will know then that the picture hasn't counted but we do get the tourist achievement there for taking a gallery picture so continue on your way up i know i do apologize it is this whole thing is just inundated with information to begin with so stay here then we are going to take a picture now this is called an o hole <laughs> and you already know where this is going um, so take a picture of the old holes. Don't worry if you don't get this one. There are plenty, of course, that we need to do, but so it's obviously uh, easier to get it out of the way as quickly as we can. So again, you have a look at your Avapedia, and it'll always be the same sort of checklist. So you'll always need to pet, take a healthy picture, take an effective picture, cure the species, rescue the species, and use so many co-op abilities as well. It'll always be the same checklist. So continuing on your way. Oh, yeah, and as I was saying... As a British person, you could, you got a headache, have a brew. You got your leg amputated, have a brew. Just been stabbed in the abdomen? Ah, cheeky little uh, healing brew, I'll sort you out. Yes, British people love tea. Because we make it properly. Yeah? Yeah, none of that microwave crap. I know I've said that before, but, uh, ooh. Well, look at this guy. Okay, we'll just go ahead and skip the cutscene right there. We don't need to crap our pants just yet. Anyway, we are going to meet our new friend who's going to be our companion for the rest of the game. And his name is... Neymar Jr. Well, he's taken time out from being injured from football and doing weird stuff with his sister in order to help us on our way. Now, his name is actually Neymar, but we're going to call him Neymar Jr., and if you don't know what I mean by Neymar Jr. and his sister and weird stuff, just Google it, okay? It's very, it is weird. Anyway, um, I don't know if we've got to speak to everyone all the time, but it's always worth doing. So once we have spoken to everyone, make sure to get your camera out and take a picture of Neymar Jr. Um, because we do have to take a picture of every single character in the game. So go ahead, there he is, Neymar Neymar. And obviously there's a picture of ourselves, and we've got a whole, whole, oh, oh we've got an oh, whole uh, lot to do. Uh, as you can see there, so you've got your creatures in your Avapedia, places and plants. So we'll always be checking them as we go to make sure that they are being filled. Uh, head over to the left hand side here. So we can do some climb up. That is what the withering is. Basically just some plants that we've got to get rid of. Uh, but we need a staff in order to do that. So jump your way down. And then we're going to head and jump up to the left here. And then we're going to take the... We are going to take the elevator up. As I just do some mega spins. Might as well do some ballerina mega spins for TikTok while we're here, huh? Yeah, that would be the problem, see. Nature adventurers these days would go, Oh, hey, look, I just found this weird, rare, exotic animal. Let's do a stupid dance. <laughs> What the hell is wrong with this generation? Anyway, continuing on to the right, and then up the steps, and where we're going to get another cutscene. <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh. Uh huh? Hmm. Mm -mm. So yes, it's called the Nafitar. I'm just going to call it the Staff because it's just easier. Uh, so we'll always just uh, press the Y button to talk just to get um, get all the dialogue out of the way. Uh, normally, once you do that, a secondary a secondary quest will sometimes appear. So that's why we do that. So all you got to do is just hold the left trigger. 
until the health goes all the way down. Yeah, don't do that. But I'm just sort of showing you. I don't want to be too quick. But yeah, once you have done that, the withering will disappear. I mean, you think, why is it taking this long? Why you can't, like, if you if everyone knows that this staff is here, why can't they just do it themselves? Because, of course, it always it's always up to a woman to do things. Although, saying that, of course, this is a female protagonist in a game. This will upset many, many, many um, losers who, for some reason, have just an issue with female protagonists in games. Basically, if it's not a straight white male, oh, the game is woke, go woke, go broke, and all that stupid stuff, uh, <laughs> which is still hilarious to me. Why? Why are people offended by everything? And it's funny because it's those people that want to be offended by everything. that are, They say that everyone else is offended by everything, but it's actually those people that are offended by everything. Mad how ironic that is, huh? Right, so after all the cutscenes and everything, we're just going to put this little plate together and it'll actually get us our first power. Or the shaman, uh, the shaman, the staff power. So go ahead and uh, just rotate it there with the right stick and then, yeah, you sort of sort of know what to do. It'll pl automatically place itself in. Looks like a group of those Antares people you love so much, but do you know what's happening here? And I think we just got some of it. So we get our first power here, which is basically Levitate. Uh, they call it Ushun in the game, uh, but we're just going to call it Levitate because that's what it is. So you'll press the left trigger in order to connect with it, and then you press the right bumper button once, and that will activate the power. Of course, as we go through the game, we will be getting more powers. Um, but that is how we do that. And then you'll only have a couple of seconds to get through. So left trigger, right bumper button once. And then nip through. Strong legs. Thank you, Neymar Jr. I've got stronger legs than you, mate. You're bloody injured all the time. But you are on about one million pounds a week. So, you know, I'd rather be on a million pounds a week sitting on the bench with uh, glass shattered legs, wouldn't I? Uh, right, so go ahead and follow uh, Neymar Jr. Who is got, like I said, he's going to be our friend throughout the rest of the game. And, of course, we have to do his job for him because he sucks. Uh, but just smash through the dialogue again. Okay, now, so we've got two uh, things that we need to do. We need to get rid of two withering. And I was just seeing if I could reach it from this side, which uh, we actually can't. So don't worry about that. So first things... First, head over to the left. Uh, so again, use your left trigger and then right bumper to uh, levitate the way. And then uh, finger off the left trigger, back on the left trigger. And then, yeah, there we go. So we sort of know uh, what we're doing with that one. Head all the way back to the right and then up the steps. Now you'll have to look down at the platform. Left trigger, right bumper to levitate it up. Give yourself a little bit of a jump. Uh, it is left bumper to sprint as well, by the way. Sorry, just in case I forgot about that one. But you probably already figured that out. 13 minutes into the game. And then levitate this. Get rid of the withering. And then we can just drop down straight to the other side. And that will clear us the path. And you think that anybody's got swords in this game? Although I suppose if it is an infection, it's like a, it's like an STD, isn't it? It just keeps coming back. Uh, I mean a rash, sorry. Sorry. Oh, the ration jump. Okay, so... <clears throat> so we're going to be coming up to our first infected enemy. And what we're going to do after this, we're actually going to take a picture. Now, we don't have to do it now. There are plenty of infected creatures around. Uh, but we're going to do it now just to get it out of the way. But again, if you, like I said, if you don't manage to get it now, don't worry. There are tons of infected creatures about. Um, but this is the first crash. So the first picture of the first creature that we took a picture of... So immediately get your camera out with the right with the right on the D-pad as I get munched on the old uh, nips, and then right bumper to take the picture. And as long as it, uh, as long as you had it all in frame, that's a hell of an infected picture, by the way. So that'll be the healthy and infected photos that we've now taken uh, pictures of. Now, what you need to do in order to cure it, you need to just use your staff, press the left trigger, and then use the B button to dodge. As soon as he goes to attack you, so as soon as he gets the three. Lightning bolts on his head. Wait a second and then dodge. Or you can just run away with the left bumper as well. Um, 
if you want to do that. The beam chain, this is another, this this comes in handy again a lot later on. So uh, once you have one in the chain, move over and then see if you can, if you hit the other animal as well, um, you can get them in what is called the beam chain. So two, basically two for the price of one, which is always nice. Uh, if you need to use a healing brew, by the way, remember to press up on the D-pad. And yeah, so again, d sorry, it is just a lot of information that is coming on and coming through. Make sure to pet one of these as well by pressing the Y button. So you can only do this after you tame one or after you heal the infection. So once you look at your Avapedia, you should now have a healthy, the three ticks should be at the top there. And again, it'll be the same for every creature throughout the entirety of the game. Take a healthy picture, infected picture, and we need to pet one as well, which of course will all come in for achievements a lot later on in the game, basically towards the end. So go ahead, press Y here to help out said creature. And Neymar Jr. is going to be like, oh, my sister's birthday is coming up again. I have to miss another game. But you can still pay me a million pounds for it. Son of a... Yeah. Right, so, welcome to Ava! Okay, I won't be uh, going that high-pitched anymore. Right, don't follow Neymar Jr. just yet. Go straight uh, instead of going right. And here we are going to find our first plant. Now... There are plenty of these plants or, uh, in each different region. There are different plants in different regions, and there are plenty um, on each one. Um, but basically, every time you save the game and every time you reload back into the game, the plants that you've already picked up, well, they will just respawn anyway. So if you ever do need more, because, of course, we will have the ability to craft um, said items, which, again, does come in handy if you are, especially if you're playing on a higher difficulty. Um... But yes, we do need to discover each plant, um, but we can, we have the ability to craft um, health boosters and healing potions and poison antidotes and stuff like that. But if you are playing on the easiest difficulty, really, you don't need that much at all. Um, but again, as we go through the game, we are going to be picking up as many plants as we possibly, as we possibly, possibly can. Right, so get your camera out. Neymar, get the hell out of the way. We're going to take another picture of the... Horse unicorn looking creature, which is called an Ura. Which just reminds me of that Call of Duty Ura. Um, you know. Yeah, yeah, you know. If you, you play Call of Duty, you know. And next we can take a picture of the next guy here called Sabti. Sebastian Vettely, as it were. Or Sebti, sorry, not Sabti. Sebi, yeah. So, Sebastian Vettel. Uh, take a picture of him. And then again, like I said, you have a look at the creatures and uh, again now now these regions each region does take about two and a half hours uh, sort of two and a half to three hours long so there are plenty of opportunities but like i said a lot of the time we'll use the first opportunity we get to find someone or uh, take an affected picture or anything we will be uh, doing that the first time that we can come around so obviously people are going to be all like the hell is you man and we're going to be like Hey, my name's Vic. And then etc, etc. So, after uh, each dialogue, again, remember to press the Y button in order to talk to each new NPC so you can get some secondary quests again, because we're going to need it for achievements, of course. But before we talk to them again, we're going to take a picture of both of them. Chief Honlo. Honlo, everyone. Oh, that's a nice little smile. Um, again, make sure that it counts in the top left-hand corner. And then Obon. The old, uh, yeah, take a picture of this. Get right up in his face. And snap a picture. And that'll, uh, again, as long as this is character unlocked and everything in the top left-hand corner, then you're good to go. Then go ahead and speak to Chief Honlo. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we can't talk to Obon, but that's fine. So from here then, what we're going to do, turn around, and we're going to go, well, sort of to the right it was, we're going up onto this bridge where we're going to take first take a picture of Vahiti, or Bidi, Vaidi. I am going to butcher some of these names, or a lot of these names, by the way, so, uh, you know... If I'm wrong, tell me I'm stupid. 
And But tell me you love me. Yes, very toxic relationship we have, don't we? But I love it. All right, so there we go. So you've taken a picture of Vaiti or Vahidi, Vaidi, Vitamins, Vitamins, whatever we'll call him. And then go ahead and speak to Vitamins. Hmm. <laughs> So, after we have spoken to a uh, vitamin, 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 whatever we're going to call him, we get the zipline tool. So, let's do a little spin, head to the right of where vitamin was, Vady, and continue upwards. We're going up the tower. You'll be coming up here quite a lot, so hopefully we'll get used to this soon. Just to the right here, um, you can see another plant that we are going to pick up. This is another new type of plant, the Rosarem petal. Um, now, again, here's another thing that we have to do. We have to take pictures of all the wind chimes in the area as well. This is the first one of the jungle area. So, again, as long as you've got the camera, the little four symbols to uh, make sure that you are around it, have a look at the map and you'll see how many you've got. So, you should, that should be your first out of nine. And when I say nine, I meant eight wind chimes in the grasslands area. So with that first wind chime done, if we go out onto the bridge, uh, we can't actually go all the way across just yet, but here's another uh, rose rem petal that we're going to grab, rose rem, sorry, and then give yourself a little jump, uh, run and jump, jump across, and we can see a new type of plant, which are basically bananas, uh, the crano shell, or crano shell, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we just grabbed those two for the time being. Uh, we'll come back to that in just a bit. So, heading back down towards we came. Again, any plant that you do see, just make sure to pick it up. Um, you don't have to pick up every single plant or flower that you do see uh, as we continue going. Uh, this time, we'll continue going across the bridge, back where, uh, back past Vaiti, Vitamin, and down. And we're going to take a right this time, so through the archway. And we're going to take another picture, another new picture. This guy is called Fenty. Fenty. So, yes, take a picture. That's another picture completed. Um, but, yes, yeah, so we don't have to pick up every single plant. But, you know, uh, just pick up as many as you can. It's always better to have too many than not enough. Heading down and slightly right, we're going to get another picture going right here. This guy is called Isha. Fantastic. So there we go, that is a, another character done. And again, like I said, I do pause the game and have a look at the uh, Avapedia and stuff a lot, uh, but it's always worth doing the same. Um, now, continuing on, uh, we're going to go... Uh, yeah, so we're basically going forward, but we're going to be grabbing, obviously, a lot of plants on the way. So sometimes it may seem like I'm darting off, but I'm actually just grabbing some plants. There's a couple here next to this bridge. Here's another one. Uh, Palia's Finger, which just sounds like a chocolate... Uh, bar to be honest or something uh, but heading up the path again grab some bananas here on the left tree and we've actually come up to the base uh, this is the um, LF Primelands grass base so uh, this is basically going to be a uh, teleportation so we're going to head around the fenced area after again you've just grabbed a few things press the left trigger again in order to get rid of the withering and then we can head inside. Now that we've got the zipline tool as well, we can actually, you know, zipline our way up. So, head here. Um, press Y, hold Y to activate the zipline. Press Y to ride it up. And, oh, there we go. Go inside. Because there's nothing of value, nothing happening out here. So we're going to, oh, in fact, yes, there is. We're heading up to the roof, sorry. Getting a little ahead of myself. We actually have to go up to the roof first. And then grab the uh, couple of petals that you can find. Again, Left trigger, then right bumper once in order to levitate it. Oh, ushun it. And then just drop inside, and that's job done. And there's a healing brew as well, so again, might as well pick up the healing brew. And then finally, this we can press and hold the Y button after we get the memo here from Dr. Tur. So that's Dr. Tur. Doc, so double doctor, Dr. Tur. Doc, Dr. Tur. And go ahead, hold the white button to turn on the generator. Now we have the first fast travel ability. So anytime that we need to fast travel, we can come to this part of the map. But of course, as we go through the game, we'll be turning on more generators. And our friend Tabitha. 
keeping tabs on taps has appeared. Uh, so she will be around for the rest of the game now. So before we do anything again, get your camera out with the right on the D-pad. Take a picture of your friend us. Hey girl. Say cheese. Well, God damn it, that's the worst cheese I've ever seen. Uh, but anyway, that's a pretty face. And now we can go, although again, it is another woman. So again, I hope the, um, I hope the majority of the straight white males who are just angry with anyone else other than a straight white male playing um, a video game character will be okay. It's okay. The video game character is not going to hurt you. So head outside, grab another pedal, and then we can um, drop down. You should be able to do it safely. There we go. Nice job. Okay, so next up, we're going to cross the bridge here to the right. There is another plant uh, just on the side of the bridge, which you can grab. This is another one, the Linda, Linda Jar petal, we'll just call it. Head across the bridge. Uh, there is something on the left, but it's, it's, it's something, honestly, we don't need. Um, so we're not going to grab it. The only thing we'll be picking up are healing brews. Head back towards yourself, and the second wind chime is right here, just underneath the archway. So make sure to go ahead and take a picture of that. Gotcha. So once the wind chime has been chimed out, you've taken a picture of it, and again, have a look at your maps, and it'll tell you how many you've got. So that should be two out of eight. Head up, and then up across the uh, bridge. Yeah, again, we're going into the sort of main towery area, towery area where we're going to speak to Neymar Jr. again. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, so now we're going to be coming up to another new ability in order to tame the grasslands of the poke the uh, creatures of Ava. Uh, so we're going to head down, uh, basically back the same way we came, where we just got the second wind chime. So straight through, you can see the wind chime there at the top. So back through there, and we're going to continue heading on this path that we're on, basically looking at the castle or ish thing looking in the background. And yep, yeah, so if you press left on the D-pad, there is your flute, and you can give it a bit of a bit of dragon force, a bit of a you know flute solos. Uh, grab another plant there on your way, and then head up through this area. Um, don't go up the left path. We, we're going to stick with the uh, bottom path purely because there's a couple more plants down here that we can grab. So again, a couple more plants and there is an item here, uh, which is a healing brew. So again, any healing brews you can grab. Um, but again, like anything else like stamina boosts and things like that, you don't particularly need because your stamina, especially on this mode, your stamina will... Um, uh, it'll just keep going up anyway, so it'll always, yeah, so you can never really run out. <sighs> so from here then, we are going to continue heading up. <gasps> so not sure what I was doing there, I was having a bit of a senior moment there, skibbity, toilet and stuff. Right, so head up and around, and you can see this rock, and we're going to climb up the ladder, and we're actually going to be getting a, uh, taking a picture of our third wind chime right now. So when you get up to this top of the rock with Sebti just in front of us, uh, turn the camera around, take a look up to the left, and then you can see the wind chime just in the distance there. So again, make sure that it's got, uh, that, it, that you've actually got the camera on it. Once you have, you'll get some more skill points available at the top. And that is wind chime number three. And go ahead and speak to Sebastian Vettley. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Huh. Mm -hmm. So in each region, there is a new different song. This is the Song of the Grass, so you just got to follow the highlighted points on screen. Again, very easy enough, obviously, this bit. Uh, but each animal then, so basically each animal, what you're going to see, each animal has their own different unique sounds. So... So, for instance, now we're going to get the Ura in order to follow us. And the way you do that, then, is we have a little spin around. Hooray! We win! Blah, blah, blah. Um, but basically, so each of the Uras has the same sound, but uh, every different animal has a different sound, if you know what I mean. But this is how we tame the creatures, then. Um, so, you, again, you press left uh, to get your flute out, and then, obviously, you move the right stick in the direction you want to play. Now, what 
you'll sh it'll show at the top of the creature's head what order it wants to play. So if you miss it, you can just press the uh, left left pad left D pad again to go off and back in. Um, so yeah, so that is if you miss it. Uh, so just make sure you look at the top of the head there. So it'll be C E G this time. If you take too long or you're too quick, it doesn't actually work. So you've got to do it um, sort of as sort of quickly as they do it, or sort of in the same tune. Uh, so go ahead. You can actually now pet the Eura since you have now tamed him. Um, so obviously this is going to be another prominent feature throughout the rest of the game, taming animals. Uh, cute little four-eared giraffe bug thing. So if you go into your Avapedia, you can go ahead and see then... Oh, in fact, this one doesn't actually count. For whatever reason, this one doesn't count, sorry. So we'll have to find another one to pet. Uh, which is fine, just fine. So uh, for some reason, this one this one doesn't deserve love, apparently. Uh, but now this is, is going to actually start following you. And we're actually going to start using one of the co-op abilities. So what you'll do is, once we get close enough here, um, S uh, Sebastian Vettley will tell us how to do that. So uh, press left on the D-pad again to get your flute up. Use the left trigger in order to get your Ava vision up, and then press the X button to connect to the creature. Doing this will allow us to use that specific creature's um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, ability, co-op ability. So some will be able to ram through things, some will be able to dig, some will be able to, you know, we've all played Pokemon, we all get, we all get the gist now. Um, again, this is nothing like Pokemon, by the way, but, you know, you look at animals and you think of animals attacking and stuff and you just weird creatures and hilariously weird names. You do think of Pokemon, don't you? Uh, but once you have bashed your way in, um, make sure that the Ura has gotten in to his pen by pressing the X button or just, you know, walking forward or whatever. And that's it. So that's the first of the six co-op abilities done. I think it's six for the Ura. Ura. And there we go. So that is how we do the song. And yes, I know we have to do it ourselves. It's video game, Vic. You know, in video games, you've got to do everything yourself because all the NPCs are lazy bags. Right, so climbing back up the ladder and we're going to head down. We're going to actually get a, another achievement now for basically dying off a cliff. Uh, so what it's worth doing is if you press the select button, and again, I'll stay on this hill until I die. It will always be the select button. Uh, go ahead and make a manual save. So save it in new slot or whatever you want. And what we're going to do is jump off over to the right. So make sure you give yourself a running jump. Death by legs. The superhero landing that Deadpool wants, it does not come into fruition this time. Sorry, sorry. But anyway, that will get you the next achievement then for, yeah basically dying and it should pop now there it is full damage confirmed job done so now we can just drop down without taking too much fall damage and we will be coming up to our first sensor or basically meditation spot if we uh, it's basically meditation spot and you can see it just on top of this big rock coming up so there we go, and all we got to do then is you press Y to interact with it, and then you just got to do, like we just done with Sebastian Vettley, uh, just do a little song, and this will be the first one out of six, I want to say, in this area. Anyway, play the song, enjoy the meditation, and relax. That's not relaxing. It is important to stop and look around you. Very important. I'm looking at my four walls right now and I'm going mentally insane. Probably need to do this on a much beautiful planet than the four walls that I'm currently sat in. Okay, so heading off to the left. And again, we got a couple of bananas. Grab another Linja petal. Again, we it's respawned because, of course, we reloaded the game. Slash, we died. Um, heading back over to the bridge. And we'll just uh, jump off to the left. And then this time we're going to head straight rather than going into the Arse Era village. The Arse Era. Uh, head down, so to the right. Um, again, we, we are going to go down and just grabbing another banana. Cranor. Again, like I said, just keep grabbing plants as many as you can. Um, continuing on your way down the path. 
and we're going to take a right here, an abrupt right. So grab another couple of bununus. And we are going to, there is, there is another couple of um, plants that we're going to be grabbing. And again, it may seem like overkill, because it pretty much is overkill. But it, like I said, it's always better, to have, always better to have too much than too little. Um, we're going to be coming up to a, I believe, an infected in just a little bit. Um, so again, we're going to, oh, I was going to jump across and grab that plant. But never mind, that's fine, literally doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to do some taming, is what I'm actually, is what we're actually going to be doing right now. Now, if you get too close, it does try to attack you, so don't get too close. Um, but again, just wait. So it goes D, D, A, D, D, A, da, da. So every crash will always be da, da. Right, so we are going to be coming up to some infected creatures um in just a bit so this is basically tell us the state of the creatures um but go ahead again once you've got your flute out press the left trigger and then the x button in order to connect with the kraj and we're going to be using one of the kraj's co-op abilities um which we, uh, he, he's basically got a bite so we can go ahead and bite the bridge down for us so when you think with an ability like bite you'd be able to bite more than just a crappy little bridge but it's okay now, these bots that you can see here as we disconnect, so we'll walk forward to the bot, press the B button to disconnect, and then the B button to disconnect again from the flute. Um, there's a healing brew here, and we can activate the zip line as well, which we will use later to get back up. Um, but those bots are what we're going to use to save the creatures. But again, before saving all the creatures, we're going to go ahead and do everything that we can uh, in terms of puzzles and collecting things and using every creature's co-op abilities, etc. Before sending these. Now this one's fine because there are uh, another two crashes nearby anyway. Um, but yeah, so it's very highly important in to do things before sending the creatures off. So again, make sure that you've done everything that you can in this specific area before doing that. Otherwise you may miss an achievement and you may miss the ability to get it because once you go to a region you cannot return right so again just like earlier on then press the b button to dodge or the left bumper to run away we've got them in a beam chain so that'll be two of them done at the same time now every time that you heal an infected creature uh once you press your flute they're automatically tamed so you don't have to do the da 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 the old flute and tootin the old flask dootin tootin you know um, so clear the withering here again by pressing the left trigger, of course, and then whap your das fluten duten. Now I'm sure that is das fluten duten. That is, isn't that Zelda the? Oh, which one is that? I forgot, but it's like it's 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 one of the Zelda games in Dutch, das fluten duten, and that's or German. I forget which one, but it's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Uh, somebody will correct me in the comments, I expect. So, um, from the bot, we're going to head up to the sort of top of these little rocks right here. There's another couple of infections that we've got to disinfect. And once those two have been wiped clean and they are infection free, they and they're rash free, thrush free, uh, go ahead, interact with one of the crashes, doesn't matter which one, and we're gonna oh wait a minute. Wait a goddamn minute. Let me let's just get wi <coughs> rid of the withering. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's get rid of the withering first. Okay, and then we can go ahead and um so yeah, uh flute, left trigger, and then X. And then we can drop down, uh, jump down, use the bite. And of course, this will be the uh, number two of the co-op, the crash co-op ability that we have used. Um, again, make sure that you've got the three ticks on him in terms of um, petting and taking a picture, healthy and infected. And then you can see there that we've got... Um, so we basically have to get to the second number. So as long as everything's lit up and ticked off, that's when you know you'll have a hundred percent. So obviously, it is important to really just follow along with the guide because it can be easy to miss things. But once we have teleported every creature in this area, the bot will automatically nip off, and that'll be job done. So, 
All right, tab bags, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to head up to the left. We're going to ride up the zip line, now that we have that. Storing our snistum. And then from here, we are going to... Oh, what we'll do, we'll tame these Uras now in order to pet them, just to sort of get them out of the way. So again, that is C E G. Man, my voice is disgusting. Uh, but go ahead and pet one. Uh, okay. Right, okay, you only have to pet one, but all three of them are needing a pet, so that's what I'm going to do. You can't pet one good boy and then leave out another two, can you? You, you snuggy. Well, at least that counted this time. At least that finally counted. So there we go. So you should have now um, a healthy picture. Mate, we already know wind chimes. We've already done it, okay? We've, we've done three already. Plus a sensor. Okay, so heading towards Tab. There she is. She'll be right in the middle of the little town area. Now, there is another achievement for getting every skill, and the way we do that is basically by 100% in the game, in terms of finding every place, finding every plant, uh, taking pictures of everyone, doing all the 100% for the animals, and just basically doing everything in the game. Uh, but for now, what we're going to do is we're going to use one skill point. Uh, we're not going to use one skill point, because we don't have one skill point right now. Uh, but eventually, we will... Um, but yeah, it is just a skill tree. Like I said, I'm not going to be... Every time we get a skill point, I'm not going to use it straight away. Uh, because there are specific skills that we're going to need for specific achievements as we go through the game. So that's why we're just going to leave it for a bit. Um, and it'll just be... Uh, yeah, so it'll just be easier to do it that way rather than... Because I don't want you to put a skill in and then you end up either missing an achievement or having to wait until later and it might be easily forgotten about. Um, but we're going to go and do overcharge one. Sorry, we did have one skill point. Uh, sorry, so we're going to do overcharge one. Basically allows us to keep the chain or the beam going for a little bit longer. And you can see there we've got a whole bunch of other skills again that we're going to get a little later on. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to be going for the second sensor meditation spot now. So heading up again, sort of heading up into the sort of main, uh, which one is this, the East Tower or something, where Neymar Jr. is. Uh, head to the left, or sort of to the right where Neymar is, and heading up these steps again. And now, uh, make sure to grab another plant, and then if you turn left, and then immediately left again, there is the next sensor meditation spot, so give that a little do-do-do. Right, so from here, we're going to head back down and we're going to go and speak to Chief Honlo. So that is, again, from here, take an immediate right and right again. Heading down across the bridge. And then we're going to speak to Big Honold's bags. Thank you, Mr. Honlo Civic. Oh, there he is. He's the Honlo Civic, the Honda Civic. Yeah. Right, so what we're going to do is just drop uh, immediately down to the right. We are going to get, uh, we're going to start taming some Uras and getting them all squared away. 
So again, this one is uh, DDA, I think. No, CEG, isn't it? Oh, in fact, no, these are the ones we already tamed. Uh, now, you might not have already tamed these. Um, I don't know if they just got... I don't know if they were just luckily in my way uh, as we were heading back. Um, but yeah, so obviously, once you've tamed the Ura, which is CEG, they'll follow you. And then go ahead. We can go ahead and take these ones to the bot and get them down. There's another three that we're going to grab. Um, rescue quests. Yeah, so obviously, don't need to worry about that. We're going for 100% anyway, so um, that's basically them, hit Tabitha, hitting her quota. So remember, it is CEG, and if you need to uh, get it again, put your flute away and then back out. Me. So keg, get your kegs out, mate. So there is the uh, number three, and then what we'll do is head back. There was a bit of an edit. I just went and, um, in fact, I can't remember what I've done. I can't remember what I've done. But it obviously wasn't important at all. In fact, it wasn't important at all. Uh, so we've just gotten rid of those. And we get some more skill points. There's another couple over there that we're going to grab as well. But grab the petals there from the right. And then do the same here. So keg it up. And then we can go ahead and pop them straight in the bot. I don't know how. Oh, they're tele teleporting, yeah. I thought they were just cramming the Uras in that little bot, which... Oh, that would have been uncomfortable and impossible too. Okay, so from where the bot was then, uh, we can have a look there at the Avapedia and have a look at the map. So we should be on two out of five sensors, three out of uh, nine wind chimes, and we're going to actually fast travel back to the Aleph Prime's grassland base. So you find it there on the left of the map. Um, and here we are again. So obviously this is where we got our first generator. Uh, the... Again, as long as you reload, there, was, there will always be a plant there. But we can drop down. We can head to the left. And we are going to keg these Uras. So once you've kegged them, uh, there's a nice banana here on the left that we're going to grab. And there is finally some infected Uras right in front of us that we're going to use. But we're going to get rid of these three first. Now, remember, we are going to take a picture of the infected Ura before we go ahead and fight it. Um, oh, and there's a couple of O-holes as well. So that one is G-F-F. So guff -f. So get your guff -offs out. So uh, pet the O-hole. We So, yep, go ahead and <laughs> if you're on camera, make sure to pet your O-hole. And you could probably get some money from that from the simps of life. Um, <laughs> sorry. The names, some of the names in this game are it's just too easy. Too easy. Anyway, once you've um, gotten rid of your O-hole and you've shut your camera off, go ahead, take a picture of the infected Uras. And then, there's only one thing left to do. Fight them. Now, they do have a little bit more health, of course, than the Kraj. Uh, but not by much. So, again, it's just a case of, you know, again, we'll just have a look at the creatures there. You should now be on three. And then, we've already rescued 11 Uras. So, yeah, so you should have the three ticks there for petting and taking the pictures of the healthy and infected. So it's the same thing, just, you know, left trigger on it and then just dodge when he goes to ram you. Exactly not like that. And again, remember that every time you clear an infection from an animal, you you don't. It, it's basically already tamed. So as soon as you get your flute out, they're already they're already in love with you, man. Okay, so there's another couple here over on the right hand side, just on the main path. These ones you will have to keg. Yeah, have to keg. Now it's funny in Britain because when you tell someone that you're going to keg them, um, this probably used to be back when I was younger. You know, just kind of like skibbity. But when you keg someone, it means that you pull their pants down. Um, I don't know if anyone knows what kegging is these days. I don't know if it's just... Although kegging can also be drinking a load of beer and stuff as well. I don't know, but when you used to keg someone, it used to mean that you pull their pants down. That's funny. Right, so follow the path around. The uh, It doesn't matter, top or bottom, but we're going to drop down to this 
area anyway, uh, where we just cleared the infections, the rash on the Uras. Head up to the right. And we're going to find another couple of animals. And uh, we're going to clear out, knock off a couple of Uras as well. Uh, so take your time with it here because there's going to be a couple of Diglet, not, not Diglets, um, they're called Shroomies or something. Uh, but they are infected, so we'll take a picture of the infected Tama, not Diglets. Uh, don't, don't sue me, Nintendo. Don't sue me, I didn't mean to say the name of the video, I'm sorry. Uh, they will tunnel underground and try and smash you, so as soon as the red's underneath you, dodge that. And then just clear the rash from the infection. Ah, you're champy little cuties, huh? Right, uh, didn't actually mean to take a healing brew. What I meant to do was get your camera out with the right, uh, right in the D-pad. Then just go ahead and take a picture. Make sure it's nice and healthy and that it has counted. And then once it's done as well, you can go up to them and pet them. Or just get your flute out. Um, get your Das Flute and Dooten out, and then, oh, there we go. You can do it either way you do it. Make sure you press the white button to uh, pet them. And then if you check your Avapedia, you should have the first three boxes ticked. Oh, and apparently we got to tame that Oora as well. That's a hell of a pet, by the way. Right, so up to the keg, uh, up to the Ura, we're going to keg him. Not by pulling his pants down, we're going to CEG him. And then again, left trigger, press X to connect, and then what we're going to do is turn around. Now, there you, there was a barrier there that the Ura shouldn't have already gone through, but apparently it already did in my game. So, um, yeah, if that's the case, then it doesn't matter because we've got plenty of these to break down, so don't panic just yet. So there are another three. Used to be four, but uh, now there are only three. That's fine that we've broken. So that's three of the co-op abilities that we've used now. Uh, we can go ahead. Uh, there's the Tama. And again, they're the best at digging, of course, since they are little diggers. Um, and there's the Ura then. So again, you should be on roughly the same amount of numbers as me. <clears throat> so uh, wipe out your flute. Left on the D-pad, of course, as you know. Left trigger, X to connect, and then we're going to use one of the Tama's abilities. Um, you'll dig that, and then normally they'll pop up a nice item for us as well. Usually if it's a healing brew, that's great. If it's not, then pretty much just leave it. We don't need it. It's a tank. I actually never picked up a tank in this game, and I don't know what it does. So, pa, job done. So, uh, let's head up the way where we uh, whacked out the Uras. Get rid of this withering, and that basically just opens up the way for us. And then, more importantly on the right here is the backpack pocket, which is the first out of nine permanent upgrades in this area that we're going to use, So, or that we have grabbed. So, pick that up. And then if we uh, have a look over in the inventory, and the Avapedia, more importantly there, um, just to make sure, again, it's always worth just double-checking the numbers every time that we've done something just to make sure that we haven't missed anything. So heading down and make sure that you've got your flute going um, because we do need uh, the Tamas and the Ura to follow us. Sometimes though they will get stuck. So um, we're gonna use the Tama anyway to do a couple of digs here, but sometimes if you go too fast or you know the creatures may actually get stuck on something. So that can be a pain in the ass. So head down with the Tama to find another dig ability. Alright, so once we've disconnected from that, again, we can see that one of the Tamas have been left behind. So, again, that can happen. Some of these creatures can get easily stuck, or if you go too fast, they can just get left behind. So, you know, come on, bros, I'm trying to save your life right here. Even though you look pretty comfy on this planet. So, uh, I suppose apart from if you've got the uh, old Rashi Rashford infection. Not the Marcus Rashford infection where he's stealing a living on 350 grand a week. And he's a crappy footballer. And I say that just as Man United lost 3-0 to Tottenham Hotspur. Generally, generally, pathetically. Okay, so once you've gotten rid of those three, uh, we pick up a healing brew. And we're going to keg these Uras again. So that'll be another two that we can 
uh, pop in the bot. And if we just head towards the tree, we'll get a new location discovered. The Maruba Swamp Sibling Tree. Um, and there's a couple of plants that we're going to be grabbing as well. Plus, we're going to be clearing a couple more infections as well, just over the other side of the river. So there is the Lindajar plant. Uh, the Palia Finger that we already picked up. The Finger. Uh, there is a new NPC with a name above him. Oh, also, yes. In, so in terms of uh, characters... Um, the only ones we can take a picture of are the ones with names at the top. They are the only ones that count. So get rid of uh, these Tamas and the Kraj. No, the Ura. No, the Kraj. No, the Ura. Anyway, heal them, baby. So, lovingly, so get your Das Fluten Duten out, and then we're going to basically head all the way around to the bot in order to save the lives of the many. Save the lives of the few. And again, you'll know when you've got every uh, animal in the specific area once the bot runs away. Um, and that's job done. So there we go. It should be on around roughly the same numbers there. Uh, if you want to have a look at your Avapedia, should be on roughly the same numbers. And again, don't worry if you're not, or if you got like one less or something. There are literally plenty of these animals around. But again, it's very easy to just rescue the animals first before doing the co-op abilities and stuff. And it can be easy to do that and then miss out later on. Uh, take a picture of Bayrash. Sorry, I was just trying to figure out if he was part of the infection or not. But no, Rash is just in his name and not on his body. Not like the other infectants. Uh, so go ahead, speak to Rash Bags himself. So, we are now going to have to do some crafting. I say we are going to have to do some crafting. Literally, uh, the crafting table is on the right-hand side, by the way. Uh, just see if there's any more plants. There are a couple more about, actually, behind these rocks. There's another one. And I think there's another two. Yeah, there's another one. Uh, oh, there's another two, yeah. So, these crafting things. Now, obviously, the only thing that we can really do at the minute, and uh, what comes in mega handy on this difficulty, is the healing brews. So just go ahead, press the X button there to uh, do a healing brew once. Um, and obviously as we go through the game, we'll be able to get more antidotes and power-up drinks and healing brews in order to craft. But that's why we're collecting as many plants as we can, because at the end of the game, we have to craft at least 75 items, which means the more plants and the more that we can craft. And we'll get an achievement as well for crafting each one of each item. Um... But yeah, so once you've done that, then you've gone ahead and spoken to Marcus Crashford. Uh, Bayrash, we can go ahead and continue on to the left, picking up some bananas off a tree. Uh, now, that withering in front of us, we can't actually do just yet. Uh, we don't have the specific power for it. Uh, but once we've grabbed a couple more bananas, head back past Marcus Crashford. Um, Bayrash, and this withering again on the right-hand side, we can do once we've grabbed another Bununu. And another re rose rem petal, rose ram petal, whatever it's called. Get rid of the withering and the one on the left hand side to open up the way for us. And once the way, once, once the way has opened up for us, once once, we can head back and you can see directly in front of us is basically the town area. So it may start looking a bit familiar, but for now we can head to the right of where we just entered the new way um, that's what you should look like as well on the map so one out of nine upgrades zero statues and then two sensors and three wind chimes there we are just on the map as well um, 
And you can see the bridge directly in front of us where the Cranj car, the Cranj car, he was a former footballer, the Lindajar petal is. So head over to the right. Now this um, one we've already done. So once you've already done something, it'll already tell you that it's already been completed. So there we go. Another Lindajar petal. Lindia? Is it Lindia or Lindajar? Whatever petal it is, grab them anyway. Get a couple more fingers and shove them up your nostrils and then head straight on. Again, basically going the way that we did earlier, where we first rescued the Krajes. So, uh, only this time, we're not heading down to the right. We're going to continue going straight on, just after we collect these banana nananas. Sounding like a minion or something right there. Oh, banana. But there is another wind chime directly in front of us now. So, make sure to get your camera out and take a picture of that next wind chime. Okay, so from this wind chime, continue heading down through the archway, and we're basically going to take a right. And we're we are going to go and speak to. Uh, we're basically following the waypoint. We're going to go and speak to the next guy. We've got the Antar Dune sibling tree uh, as a new location. Remember, we need to uh, find every location in the game as well. Uh, but I'm just having a look at some flowers, getting some plants. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, girl. Ah, uh, then once you feel like you've got enough plants, go ahead and, uh, well, we're actually going to take a picture first. I, uh, yeah, this guy. Uh, looks like his name is Leclerc. Charles Leclerc. Anyway, once you're done taking a picture, go and speak. Sorry, sorry, his name's not Charles Leclerc, it's more Le Rock. Sounds just like the French rock, doesn't it? Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Le Rock Johnson. Okay, so once you've done speaking to him, go over across the way. Uh, we can't activate that zipline, but we can turn on the generator, which gives us another fast travel point. The Ataris Dune Siblings Tree. Hoorah. Yeah, see? Hoorah, hooray. Yeah, well, you got it. Okay, so from the generator point, we'll basically go straight ahead of us, and we've got a new type of um, uh, uh, creature to take a picture of, the hoo-hoo. Now, this uh, and the o-hole uh, basically have the ability to make it the incredible amount of puns ever. Uh, EFA, so you go for an effer. Oh, and a... So, uh, you've got some hoo-hoos there. Uh, make sure to pet him as well, of course. So, take a picture of him, pet him. Uh, so, the hoo-hoo and o-hole are quite close together, as is uh, normal. Uh, so, once you have tamed... So, you've got your, your hoo-hoo and your o-hole in close proximity. We're going to get inside of the o-hole. <clears throat> Saying nothing more. Uh, so once you are inside of the O-hole, what you're going to do is t uh, take effectively sort of almost a 360. Go onto this little island, which is in the middle of this water. You press the right trigger to go up, the right bumper to go uh, fly down. Press the X button to claw the bridge open, and that uses one of the O-hole's ability. So, uh, right. Now, once you're done, fly the O-hole back over and get out of the O-hole. Wash yourself down if you want in the water and go over and uh, get these two going as well. So G F F. So G F F. So uh, take a picture of the G F O hole, your G F's O hole, and then um, upload that to O F. Get some money, and once you've done, make sure that you've got all five of them. And we're basically going to follow the bridge around. So. Again, make sure, just keep looking, uh, just to make sure that none of them have been left behind. And then go around. Again, there's another plant there. And there are going to be another two O-holes that we need to do. So remember, it's GFF. So putting a flute in the GF's O-hole. GFF O-hole. And then get them all over across the bridge. And you will need to, in fact, I think a lot of them actually just don't come over. But you need to get rid of the weathering first. Oh, there we go. Look, one came over. Well, get, 
Well, good job, oh hole. The rest of you suck. Come on. Now, sometimes if the creatures do get stuck, uh, it might just be worth it. Well, these time, uh, this time it was fine. But if some of the creatures do get stuck, go ahead and just connect with them and move them about. Or if that doesn't work, go ahead, um, save the game and quickly reload that game. And then they will be back in their normal position. So that's if they do get stuck, like really stuck. So continue over the bridge. Now that we've got all those animals out of the way and the bot is done. A couple of pals here that, again, we're going to be picking up. The pal your finger. And then again, hopping over the bridge. And going left up the steps. Just check in, seeing if there's any more plants. I thought there was, but there clearly was not. And... Yeah, so we're basically, what we are going to do, we're actually, we are actually going to jump down and we're going to get into the water. Uh, again, we can't get rid of this withering just yet. As you can see, we don't have the specific power up yet, which is fine. Uh, so we are going to jump into the water, basically going to go ahead and grab all of the Lindijar petals. Okay, so, uh, yeah, yeah, just spent a few minutes there grabbing some Lindijar, Lindijar petals. So now what we're going to do, we're going to head up and we're going to cross the broken bridge, that broken bridge right there. So we're going to climb up and we are going to... Ah, uh, well, if you can make it first time, that'll be handy. Uh, but we're going to take a picture of some infected O-holes. Now... Remember, this is uh, real life advice, but if you do have uh, a picture of any, um, if you do have an infected O-hole yourself, really go make sure to go and see the doctor. Uh, you don't want to be living with an infected O-hole the entirety of your life. Or at all. Because I bet that thing, I bet that thing hurts. So yeah, there, there they are then, the infected O-holes. Take a picture, but keep it to yourself, doc. Don't be uploading this to nothing. To document this. Don't be laughing. I mean, especially if your infected O hole looks like that. That is definitely worth a hospital trip. So there we go. We now you should know if you want to take a check in your Avopedia, you should have the three ticks: the pet, the healthy, and the infected. And then just go ahead and get rid of the infections for them. In fact, if only it was this easy for um, to get rid of an infection from the doctor. Because you'll go to a doctor, you know, with a ha leg hanging off, and they'll tell you that you've got a little bit of a headache or something. <laughs> Doctors are fantastic, yeah. <laughs> and they won't give you antibiotics. Uh, anyway, make sure to pet one if you haven't. I believe we already have, but, you know, just in case. Always worth checking the Avapedia, as I said. Now, head over, and again, we've got a couple of hoo-hoos to do. And that's Egger for the hoo-hoo. That's another three that we've got there. And again, it's always worth just taming them because if you remember, if you do get too close without taming them, they will actually attack you. So that's funny. Um, I mean, it's not funny, but you know, it's still pretty funny. So once we've headed up here, uh, we're just basically going around, uh, going around, obviously grabbing a few plants as we do, a couple of bananas, and then head back. Get your uh, yeah, we are going to flute them out again. We're going to dash flute and doon, and then we're going to get inside. One of the hoo-hoos now. So there we go, a little pink hoo-hoo. So what we're going to do, uh, just to the left of where we were actually, you can see this little island with a bit of, uh, it kind of looks like a little path, a little branch path. So that's where we're going up with the hoo-hoo. And then, now try and uh, stay far away. Now what you want to do is use the co-op ability, but if you get them both at the same time, that only counts as one use of the co-op ability. So that's why if you've got two of these flowers together at the, uh, sort of at the same time, try and look far away from one so that one counts and then you can get the other one, which will count then as your second use of the co-op ability, if that makes sense. So once that's done anyway, head down, go into the left, and there's going to be a third uh, flower that we can use the sing ability on. Kind of like 
Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. I assume nobody fell asleep when I sung that there. No, because I've done it terribly. So heading on the water's edge, there is another plant that we can sing. So that's already four uses of the Hoo Hoo's ability. And then climbing up the branch path, going all the way around. And again, there's going to be another two of these flowers, I believe. Uh, or just one. Just one, just one. But anyway, use your Hoo Hoo's ability. Oh no, it is two. I was right. Make sure to uh, sing far away from one, so there we go, that's one, and then get the other one done as well. Again, there are more of these plants about, so if you do accidentally hit uh, two at the same time, don't panic too much, but, you know, it's obviously just worth just getting them done uh, ASAP, sort of out of the way ASAP. So, get the hoo-hoo back down over to your corner, and then we're good to go. Okay, so now we can go ahead and connect with the O-Hall. So remember, left trigger and then X to connect. And then slightly to the left, you can see another bridge that needs to be burnt. Burnt to the ground! Or just, you know, clawed away so that we can use the co-op ability and that we can get up there a little bit later on. And then from there, we are going to head back to where we were and we'll simply disconnect. I uh, don't think... There is any other bridges, which there is not. So what we are actually going to do now, we're going to go and find the other three. That uh, Remember with the hoo-hoo, we went down that little path um, and found the next three creatures. That's what we're going to do. Um, but don't go this way. I actually I do apologize. I went a little bit ahead of myself. So what you're looking for then is the, the little island where the hoo-hoo went up that bl uh, big blue branch for the first time to get the first two singing plants. That's what you're looking for, and you're going down that path, and then you're going to go ahead and tame those three creatures. And that'll do, pig, that'll do. So, now we can go and get rid of these uh, creatures by putting them in the old bot of life. So, again, now we're just going to go ahead and follow the path down and around. And that, again, make sure that they're all still with you and that none are stuck. And then should be good to go. Okay, so with those creatures done, what we're going to do is actually go back to where we found the, uh, where we got rid of the hoo-hoo singing plant, and we're going to pick up the couple of delicious items uh, that we're going to do, uh, that we're going to grab. Um, now, sometimes your inventory may be full, um, so what you'll what you'll do then is press the start button, go into your inventory. You can then press the X button to move some of the inventory around to make. Uh, some space because as you can see mine are looking a little bit full right now So the way you move space then so obviously as you can see the plants only take up one square block whereas the uh, Healing items or whatever take up two blocks. So obviously what you need to do is um, Just move some of the plants down also when you find one of those little crafting pads or crafting You know bits whatever crafting tables if you want to call them that you can actually just go ahead, uh, there's basically a whole big bunch of blocks at the bottom, the bottom right hand corner of the screen, where you can go ahead and move some of your inventory into that crafting table bunch of blocks. So if you really don't have any room, you can go ahead and just find a crafting table and move your inventory into it. So uh, down into the water then again, just to go ahead and find some more healing brews. And there is a couple as well. Obviously, there is another two that we've done, but we're going to get rid of the withering. And we're going to turn on this generator for another fast travel point. Um, I'm not sure if we come to this area again. I don't think we do, actually. But, you know, it's always worth having a little fast travel area point, isn't it? Always comes in handy. So, up we get. And we're going to grab these two as well. Uh, should just be another bunch of healing brews. Again, 
The only ones that I do take are the healing brews. Because um, on this difficulty, we don't really need the stamina boosts and poison antidotes and stuff. So that should be good. Uh, heading on into the water there, just on the left to grab two of the Linjar petals. And then what you're going to do is effectively now just go straight in front of us. And we're going to take another picture, follow the waypoint, take a picture of the new NPC character and then speak to him. So now uh, we have Karoom. Karoom can... Kareem. Creamy boy. Karam, Kareem, you know, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Okay, so once you've done that, you've spoken to him, you've made sure you've got a picture of Creamy Boy. We're going to head straight now in front of us to go up the steps. You can probably already hear the beautiful music of a wind chime uh, as we find the scientific refuge. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to head in first, go straight in front of us into the next room. And we're going to pick up the next upgrade, which is a backpack pocket. So now that we've got two backpack pockets acquired... We, uh, our backpack pocket now increases. Backpack pocket. Stop saying backpack pocket so much in there. So there we go. That'll do. So now we have more um, inventory availables in our inventory availables. And while we're here, why don't we have a little checky check of the old Avapedia right there. Just to make sure that we're on the same numbers. So yeah, again, you should uh, remember we still need to take a picture of an infected hoo-hoo. Which is... <laughs> Don't laugh. Uh, we need to cure some O-Hole infections and use the co-op abilities. So you should be on roughly, if not, the same numbers that I am. So let's head out of the Scientific Refuge. We will be popping back here, uh, back and forth quite a bit over the next uh, seven and a bit hours left to go. <laughs> so from here then, what we're going to do, we're going to continue heading upwards uh, through the bushes... Basically onto the island where we got the first hoo-hoo singing abilities done. Now we're going to go left and cross over the bridge. We're going to uh, get rid of another couple of infected butts. Plus we're going to be coming up to another achievement that we are going to grab. Uh, this is probably the easiest place that we that we can grab it. Um, although if not we can grab it later in the game if you don't do it here. Go ahead and make sure to take a, um, a picture. I think we've already got pictures of the infected Uras, don't we? And you're not doing it through there because, you know, you can't see, apparently. Uh, but again, yeah, you should have an, uh, a picture of the infected Uras anyway and the infected o so that should be good. So it's literally just a case of um, sticking that Ura right in the infection hole and clearing them up with some paracetamol from the doctors. Oh, nice. Calm down. Ah, uh, you're so pretty. Okay, right. So, let's go ahead and we are going to use... Come on, you stuck... Dior. No. Bruh, you coming? Again, if that does happen and they do get stuck, remember to just connect in with the creature and move them forward a bit and they should be good to go. Uh, okay, so just grabbing a few plants or whatever is in this area. Now, what we're going to do to get... We need an achievement where we have um, t at least 10 creatures all linked up all at the same time. So what we need to do is use the Ura. And that's another one of his co-op abilities done. Oh, and getting stuck apparently. Now there are 10 creatures in this area that we can grab in order to get everything going. But first of all, go ahead and jump up here while we're here and get the second sensor meditation-y bit out of the way. I'll never forget this place. Lovely. Does everybody feel relaxed? 
Okay, because we've got a bunch of stressful stuff to do now. Let's do it. Right, so let's get straight in with the old O-Haul bags. And you can see directly in front of us there is the next bridge that we're going to claw down. In fact, there's two over in this area. So, uh, in fact, there you go. You can already see the two. So flying over this uh, big bit of bridge, the second you're going to have to go around, uh, more or less. And give them the swipe. So, shepherd the ten creatures. That's that's what the achievement is. Pied Piper for shepherding ten creatures at the same time. And there, like I said, there are ten, dead on ten, that we're going to do. So, with these Uras, now one of them will actually get left up here for me, annoyingly. Or one will actually, actually that's what I should say. If you take too long in a specific area, the creatures will return to their normal starting spots. Or whatever they were. So that's just if you are wondering, if some of them go missing, they just return to their normal starting spot. So, Ura, you said uh, the next co-op ability there for the Ura. And you can just go ahead and leave him there, that's fine. And now what we'll do is actually turn around more or less 360 and head over that long bridge. Over to the other little island where we, uh, where the O-Hole got rid of the two bridges for us. Or claw them down, climb up. And we're going to find the next uh, permanent upgrade which is a stamina kit. So, just like Russell Crowe, we're going to have to do some fighting around the world in just a hot second. Uh, so, there we go. So, the O-Hole's there. We need to cure some infections. Again, um, obviously, as long as you've been doing the same thing as me, as in making sure you've cured the infections and used the co-op abilities as much as you can before clearing them up, etc., then we should be good to go. Um... So we are going to, what are we going to do first? We are going to grab a plant, but are we going to get rid of the infections first? Yes, we are. So just over there on the right where we jump down, get rid of the crash and the old holes infections. With some more doctor prescribed, not antibiotics, because they really don't want to give us any antibiotics, do they? No, they'd rather see us suffer with, the, with our old hole infection. Ow. Right, so once you've been back and forth to the hospital, and then after about uh, 18 months waiting on the NHS in the UK for your infected O-hole to clear up, um, pipe, pipe with them over here, and ah, you set the O-hole just attacked me. Anyway, uh, so the O-hole, we are going to need the GFF. So take a look at your GFF's O-hole, and then which one was this? Ego, wasn't it? Ego for the crash, EG8. We'll try that again. Oh, no, it wasn't. Sorry. No, it's DDA. Da-da. Da-da. Right. So, you should have... How many should we have? We're going to leave these here for just a second. Um, because what we need to do before heading out is go to the right-hand side, up onto the bridge, uh, climb up to this little rock, sorry, and then grab this corrupted tablet. Um, again, this is more for skill points. Um, because you do have a little bit of wiggle room in terms of skill points for um, uh, unlocking every skill later, but there's not much, so we need to be grabbing as many skill points and things as we can. So you should have six right there, three O holes and three crages. Don't um, send them into the bot just yet, of course. Now we're going for the Pied Piper achievement. So head left, and the one should still be there, plus another. Ura, which we can tame. And that one is Keg, of course. So we're going to Keg the next Ura. Luckily, you haven't got no hoo hoo or ho holes on him once we Keg him. Now, we should be on nine because the other Ura will be at the very top. He basically walked all the way back to the top if you're wondering where he disappeared to. So, again, you should be on nine uh, creatures right now if you want to have a little count of them. And then once we get all the way back up here. Oh, and one of the O-Holes went back as well. So now, that should be 10, but it's not because one of the creatures uh, actually stayed downstairs. So we need to go back and find him, which is why the achievement's not unlocking yet. Damn it, creatures, follow me! 
But yeah, so the, the, that's literally why we're doing it now. Again, it's just for getting the achievement out of the way. Nice and early. Nice and early as we can. There he is, look. And finally, so once you have 10 Shepherd all at the same time, the Pied Piper achievement should immediately automatically unlock. And then you can go ahead and teleport everyone out of Mia. <laughs> Okay, so in the short hour and a half that we've been having so much fun in, clearing up infected hoo-hoos and no-holes and hoo-rahs, um, well, now we're going to get on doing some main questing. Now, a lot of the time it could be uh, easier to, you see the fast travel point, the Aleph Prime's grasslands base, sometimes it may be easier to just fast travel there and then run straight into town, this time, it's easier to just run straight to town. It's basically in front of us now. So what we're going to do, we're going to go uh, effectively over to the right, and we're going to climb up, and we are going to climb up to the ladder, up to the tower, where we're going to find Neymar Jr. Strong legs! Strong legs, come here! Neymar sounds excited about something. Better go. Nice to meet you. And by Neymar Jr., I meant Obon there to get a secondary quest. And now we're gonna head down the steps and talk to Neymar Jr. Right, so once you've got the main quest from Neymar Jr. done and the secondary quest from Obon upstairs all ready and set in stone, we're going to head back into the main little village, so slightly left there over the bridge. We're going to go past Tabitha, take a right past Tabitha, and we're going to go ahead and speak to Isha. And we've already taken a picture, so you should have taken a picture. So his secondary side quest is called Green Thumb, where we basically have to collect every plant from every region and come back and give it to Ish, um, Isha, whatever his name is again, I forget. So there it is. So again, remember there's only four regions. Um, you should already have the uh, five or whatever it is in this region to give him. That's why the um, quest updated. Um, remember, you got to have them in your in your actual inventory as we grab a, a note there from Tabitha, a iPad, a tablet, whatever you want to call it. So it's no good if the uh, plants are in your uh, crafting table. They've got to be actually on your person in order to complete the quest there. So next up, then, we're going to head to the Dunes Sibling Tree, the Antar Dunes Sibling Tree. Next up, after grabbing that note from Tabitha, or just to the left of Tabitha, sorry. Uh, again, obviously, if you've reloaded back in or whatever, the plants will have respawned. So we're going to go to the left this time. Uh, we didn't go this far down earlier on. Another couple of plants in here. Delishiondo, Delishimoso. And as you can see, there is a nice little withering forest to deliciously take apart. But can we get... Yes, we can get rid of that. So that's what we're going to do. Get rid of that one. We're going to go through a cave this time. Um. So, yep, there's the teleporter machine. There's the fast travel. 
And it's not through that cave, but it is through this next one. Basically, where the arrows are pointing us, uh, just telling us, pointing where to go. There's going to be a whole bunch of infections that we need to clear up in this area. A bunch of crashes, and then we're going to use their co-op abilities and things. And the Weeping Rock should be a new location to find. So get rid of the Withering here on the right. And grab again as many plants as you can. Some rosy petals. Head inside. Now, what we're actually going to do, we can't get rid of these creatures yet. We're going to take a, a picture of the infected hoo-hoo. And again, if you've got an infected hoo-hoo, you got, and it looks like that, just cut it off and start again. Just, uh, you, you're going to need to stay in hospital for a while. But that should now be three. The petting, the healthy, and the infected photo of the hoo-hoo's done. We can't actually get rid of these infections just yet, however. You can see they've got a yellow bar on top of them. Again, we don't have the power-up needed to get rid of them. Uh, but we'll be getting that very shortly. So we're going to head up. You can hear another wind chime. We'll be coming back to that uh, shortly. Uh, there's nothing up there. There's a couple of plants. There's Well, there's one plant right there, but there's um, just there to the right. But there's nothing actually up the steps. So we're going to go through the archway here now on our left. Heading up the steps. And there's going to be a, a withering. And just like earlier on, when we got the staff for the first time, or the Nahami Mami, or Mami, we will do a little puzzle, and that is what will grant us our next power-up. Another mosaic. Let me just... Hmm. How could I fit the pieces together? There aren't that many pieces. How can I be so stuck? the pieces together. There aren't that many pieces. How can I be so stuck? More Antares. They look happy. The Antares in their ways. So much of it is unknown to us. They cracked mountains. They created... So yeah, my bad. I actually stank at that puzzle right there. But once we're done, we now have the ability called Crist. Which, basically, anything with a yellow bar above it. Uh, and what you can do now is, it'll be in your right trigger. So you'll press the left trigger to obviously get your beam going, and then the right trigger. Uh, but Chris only works for a certain amount of time before it goes uh, before it goes back. So, if obviously, the when it goes green, the health bar or whatever goes green, it will, if you don't 
get rid of the infection quick enough, uh, it will go back to yellow and you'll just need to use your crist again. Your crusty crist. So get your crusty on the crysticles. Um, but yeah, so obviously uh, we've got some new secondary quests available as well. Uh, Neymar is, well, he's off. So thanks while well, we do all the work, by the way. Didn't mean to just take a picture of that, but what we need to do is now take a picture of the wind chime here. So just in that big old tower right in front of us, there it is. So that is going to be wind chime number five. Um, before we go ahead and clear the withering. So make sure to take a picture now. So that's the numbers you should be on. Three, zero, three, and five is what you should be on. So let's just jump down and get start whipping out some withering infection. So again, left trigger, right trigger, and then you can go ahead. Remember as well to hold the X button. That gets rid of the health bars a lot quicker as well. And boom, now we can get inside. And what's inside? Oh, it's another. Oh, it's some bananas and another backpack pocket pocket. Yes, another upgrade. So now for the first time, uh, we can ignore the doctor's orders and we're going to clear up the infected hoo-hoos ourselves. So remember, uh, obviously, if you can try and... Uh, Chain them up as well to get two at the same time or even three at the same time. Hey, don't be spitting your juice at me, infected hoo-hoos. I'm going to need a goddamn shower, bro. Bleach infected. Uh, so again, yes, remember to use left trigger, then right trigger for the crist, and then the X button as well in order to get things done a little bit quicker. So again, they should automatically now be tamed. So you're going to get one of the hoo-hoos. And there are two plants here, two flowers, two plants, whatever you're going to call them that you're going to sing. Um, now try, again, don't get too close, we're just going to try and do one at the same time, so you need to effectively be just a little bit past the flowers right here, just in this position, that'll get rid of the one, and then we can use the other hoo-hoo ability there in order to get rid of the second one, and again, that will count as two co-op abilities used rather than just the one, and uh, I think we've already petted one of the hoo-hoos, <laughs> fluffy. It's so fluffy, I'm going to die. Yes, I wonder where that's come from. Anyway, grab the two healing brews, which should have uh, appeared. And there is, again, another couple of animals in this area. There's the first one, the Kraj. We're going to be coming up to another sensor as well. Haha, <laughs> you missed. You suck, dude. But we're going to use one of your co-op abilities. So, sort me out, blood. Come here, let me das flute and dooten you. Let me flute and dooten you. Anyway, just checking some numbers. There we go. So again, you should have been on the same numbers that I am there. Should be four upgrades, five wind chimes, and two sensors, I, th I think was it. So get inside of the Kraj. He's going to bite his way down to the bridge. Opens that, that way up for us, because again, we're obviously going to get rid, uh, going to be getting rid of all these bots. Um, you can go ahead and get rid of this withering. Remember to crisp it. And that that's basically just... Um, another path for us so we don't have to wade through the water. Um, doesn't actually go anywhere else apart from back into the main area. So, don't cross over the bridge yet. You can see there's another bit of withering that we are going to grab. Left trigger, right trigger. And this is where we're going to get the... Oh, sorry, it's not a sensor. It's our first Antares statue. So hold the Y button to investigate. And that is the first statue done of the area. So we are up and running, an hour and 40 minutes in, more almost, and we're up and running on the Antari statues. So once you've got that one anyway, it should be one out of seven. We're going to jump across and we're going to get rid of some more Infectiones.
<laughs> we win. Okay, so you should have petted everyone. You should have done all that. We're all good. We're going to have a little spin in celebratories. Little celebrations. And let's now get into the crash. You're going to go up the branch here. Or up the path branch, whatever you want to be calling it. And there are two bridges. So another two core abilities done. So bite your way through one. Bite your way through another. And in fact, uh, we need to then come up here and get rid of the withering. There is also a little plant there as well. One of those hoo-hoo singing plants. Um... So, well, what the hell am I doing? Oh, I know. I'm coming up here for a plant. One plant. All that way for a lucha stem. Okay, so there we go. Drop back down. And we will grab... Now, we're going to have to get the crash coming over the other side. Over to the other side of the bridge. Um, yep, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, yeah, and go ahead and grab the other hoo-hoos as well while we're here. I forgot we uh, inf uninfected the three hoo-hoos. I know people have got a type, but uh, infected hoo-hoos uh, which look like that? No, no. Naughty boy. Naughty people. Okay, so there we go. So now we have... You've just seen there that we actually completed the top of the abilities there, which was the... Um, uh, using the hoo-hoos... Abilities, so you should have already got that if not there is another flower plant thing right there But if we're all good to go you can just bring them all up clear the withering and get them all in the bot and out of here Okay, let's take a look at some Avapedias. Let's take a look at some numbers right there. So, five, we're on five, so we've just got a few more uh, left to do on each of the crages, the O holes as well. We've got two more left on the cure and infections. Um, the Uras, we just need to use one more of their co op abilities, which we will be doing in just a bit. Uh, but the Hoo Hoo's are done as well, we've just got to cure the infections. And the Tama. of course, we haven't seen one of those little diglet boys for a while. But again, you should be on the Again, roughly, pretty much you should be on the same numbers uh, as I am right there. If not, maybe one less or potentially even one more. So, fast traveling back to the Aleph's Prime Grassland Base. Sorry, I've done that rather quick, which is on the left-hand side of the map. Um, grab another plant there as well. Might as well grab as many as we can. Drop down. There's a banana on the left tree, which you're going to grab. And we are going to head... Uh, just back into town. We're going to be heading now, just as I'm grabbing the plant, uh, just over by the bridge, but we're going to be heading into town. We're going to speak to Tabitha. Old Tabby Nans. Old Tabby Flat Nans. So, after a little spin and dance, la la, uh, we're going to go over onto the bridge. We're going to go ahead and speak to Vaiti, Vaiti, Vitamin Head on top of the bridge. So, slightly to the right, going up, right again, going through the circly archway. Uh, left, as you see Chief Honlo over on the right there. So, we're heading left, up the bridge, go ahead and speak to Vitamin Balls. <laughs> All right, so from Vitamins, or Vidi, 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 Christian Vieri, we are going to head up the tower, and we're going to go back up onto the top of the Eastern Bridge. Now, remember, we came here a little bit earlier on, but we couldn't actually go any more forward because we didn't have the withering power, the Christ, Christy, the Christy the Clown upgrade, the Christy upgrade. So, do a nice running jump. Whoop, bad easy. Uh, it is left stick into crouch, which for some reason I actually forgot at this point. Um, and then, of course, now we can get rid of the Christy the Clown withering. And now we can go ahead and jump over. Jump! 
Jump, Willy! Jump, free Willy! Jump for all your life! Oh no, he crushed our daughter! Right, another wind chime. Very important here. Make sure to take a picture of this next wind chime. This will be six out of nine done. Right, so there we go. Should be on four, one, three, and six out of the respective ones. That's the numbers you should be on by now. Um, again, if not, just go ahead and look at the timestamps. Uh, just to have a little look, see where one, because you can't, get, ones can be easily missed in such a large game. Uh, but anyway, we're going to get rid of the withering. Um, now, what I would do here is take a picture of the door. Now, we're going to go to the left, and we get, this is a new, this is the jungle gate. Make sure to take a picture of the jungle gate, because we're going to need to do that for Neymar Jr. And it'll just save a minute coming back here a little bit later on. So, go ahead right now, take a picture of that jungle gate. And again, that will um, basically do a good quest for you later on. Now into the skill tree here. Uh, we're going to get the chain and chain. We're coming up to another achievement where we're going to put five creatures in a single beam chain. Um, so you should have enough skill points by now in order to upgrade that. So again, they're going to try and attack you. Of course, we've got a whole bunch of withering... Uh, withering... We got a whole bunch of infected creatures. Uh, oh, a strong healing brew. Make sure to grab that, and then just climb down. You can press the left bumper to climb down even faster on the ladders. So yes. So before curing everyone, what we're going to do is now I've done it in this area because obviously a lot of the hoo hoos and stuff. There's three there, and there's there's basically five with the crest. So we are going to just chain everyone up that we can. And you just need to grab five enemies in one single beam chain. Come here, you son of a monkeys. There we go. And if one of them walks into it as well, yeah, that helped. Uh, but there we go. So the unchained achievement now unlocked. So for connecting five creatures in a single beam. And again, it was easier to do it here. Again, you it was easier to do it here. But you can get this done a lot later on as well. Um, in fact, it'll probably be easier later on to do, um, with these sort of tougher creatures, as it were. Uh, but once you've done that, then, again, just uninfect these three. Now, again, you're probably thinking, haven't we done these already? But yes, we have. Um, and I'm not sure if it was in a later update, but the creatures that, even though you would have gotten rid of them in a bot anyway, the creatures will return if you respawn into a game, which... Of course, does come in handy, especially if you ended up missing something or you feel like you missed something. Uh, so anyway, once they are all uninfected, again, you don't need to send these into a bot. These ones we already did send into a bot. If you have a look to the left of where we are, you can see like the big tower with the sort of blue domes right in front of us right there. That is the next uh, wind chime. Gotcha. So that is should now be wind chime 7 out of 8. Um, if you just have a look now. There we go, so we're already flying through the wind chimes, but that is where the next one is, just um, underneath the big blue ball tower looking thing. Alright, so where we're going to go now is to the science refuge part. We're actually going to go inside of the science refuge bit, so grab some plants and make your way up there. And then once inside, go straight into the next area where we found our backpack pack pocket upgrade earlier to get the first um, tablet. And then to the left is another door that we're going to go in. You'll have to press the Y button to open it up. And then left again where you're going to find the next Dr. Tur. Dr. Tur. Dr. Tur. That's hilarious. That sounds like uh, something... That sounds like a name Scrubs would do. You know, like Dr. Acula and stuff like that. It's funny... Anyway, once you've got the two uh, tablets, we're going to head down. We are then going to go and head, uh, nip past Kareem. Creamy chops on the crops. And let's just head down. Let's just head down. We're going to 
now oh in fact we're going to get rid of the withering that we didn't uh that we couldn't earlier on so back into the same area where we just found all of the lindia petals and we're going to head inside the withering to get another permanent upgrade Hooray, hurrah, we have done it, bruh. Okay, next we are going to go into our map. We're gonna go to the Aleph Prime Lands Grassland. The Aleph Prime's Grasslands base fast travel point is what we are going to do. And we're going to head into the tiniest little village where we are going to go and speak to Tabitha and dilute all her dialogue options. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Strong legs. Strong legs. Do you roger? I hear you, Nimar. You don't have to... Break, break. No talk. Request presence. Favor required. Over. All right, all right. We'll comply. Now, eventually, when Neymar Jr. stops talking to us because he's at his sister's birthday party and missing football games, uh, go ahead and speak to Tab hmm. again. And then what there is going to be is a new tablet just behind her on the table. So make sure to pick up this next uh, from Dr. Jeremiah, Jeremiah Krativas. Sounds like a real crappy villain in a spoof movie, doesn't he? Uh, but make sure to pick up that tablet, then go behind tab and up where we are going to go and speak to the juniorist of Neymar himself. Now, this is what I mean about us taking a picture of the jungle gate. If you managed to do that earlier on, then you would have given it to him and the quest line would have carried on. But, unfortunately, um, but I, I told myself to do it. And I said, right, make sure to take a picture of it. And then what I'd done was I was so focused on um, trying to get the Unchained achievement going that I actually forgot to take a picture. So I do apologize. This takes, you know, ju literally just roughly a minute to do. Um, but yeah, you need to go and take a picture of the jungle gate and then come back and give it to Neymar. Right, so now that we finally got that part out of the way, the main quest continues. Uh, what we're going to do, we're actually going to, if we have a look at the map, we're going to the sort of north at, of the map. We're going at the top, right about here. You're going to need to get rid of some infections, get rid of some creatures, use the Ura's next ability. Um, but where it is, is we're basically from exactly the same way that we came. So where Neymar's looking out, that's the way we're coming. So we're going to jump down to the right. And we are going to see a whole bunch of creatures in just a minute. There they are, look. So we got a couple uh, that we need to tame on the right. Remember, this one is Keg. So we need to Keg an Ura. And you got to do it pretty much sort of in time. 
Nyan. Right, there we go. So there's another two. There's some more over here on the right. Again. Oh, oh god. Oh, and apparently we've got some O-hole GFFs as well. So, uh, uh, there we go. So make sure you got your GFs O-hole, GFFs O-hole, all tidy boys. And then... With the O-Hole, fly over to the left-hand side in. You can already see the bridge there. Um, and it's got a sensor on it, which is why we need to do this. So, claw it up. If you can, actually claw what you're needing to claw. Um, and then we'll be, we will be able to jump over a little bit later on. So, get the O-Hole back over to the island. Because we're going to pop them in the bots eventually when we're done with the area. Uh, so, once they are tamed, you can just go and leave them doing what they're going to do. Uh, again, just have a look at some numbery updates right there. Again, it should be on roughly the same. We, we, we're effectively now, we're almost there. We are almost there with getting 100% on each of these creatures. And we do have a couple of Tamas. And there are a couple of infected Uras as well. So let's get them dry. Uh, again, press the X button, of course, to help the health bars go down a little bit quicker. Jeez, well, that was fun. Now, let's go... Oh, god damn it! Right, Egger this then. EGA, Egger. Can't you just give me one minute without wanting to be tamed or uninfected? Jesus, monkey bells, dude. Right, so, we have a lot right here. Uh, let's have a look now. What we should do... don't think there is an Ura ability. In fact, no, there's not. So, we're going to head sort of behind us, basically continuing to follow the path where we're going to go under this archway, where we are going to tame another bunch of creatures here. So, we are going to keg these Uras. So, C-E-G. And then we are going to egg uh, the Hoo-Hoos. There we go. So, once um, those are done, again, there's a couple of... Oh, no, we've got a couple more eggers that we need to do. Uh, there are some more of these singing flowers if you need to use any of the hoo-hoo co-op abilities. Or, or if you just want to get some extra loot there. Uh, but again, if not, you should be good. We should now be good to go. Uh, hopefully none of these will get caught in the trees. Um, if they do, obviously just have a little look behind you. Make sure nobody's got stuck and caught. Otherwise, off we go to the bot right now. And in fact, two of the Uras do actually get caught. So, uh, yeah, that's why I'm going to need to go back in just a minute. Good boy. 
So yes, if you are wondering my confusion, it's because the extra two that we just done, um, we, we shouldn't have done that. There they go. So there was one. And then the other one just decided to remain back into the other part. This little tiny area part right there. There he go. You monkeys of unicornuses. So yes, that's why the confusion ringed in my face. But anyway, you've got... Um, so we've got those two. We got the extra ones that were in front of us right now. So we've got those uh, bunch as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab these O-holes as well. Um, I think as we grab just another couple of plants right there. Oh, we got some. We got some tamas going to be coming up as well. Yeah. So let's go ahead and tame these tamas as well. And what's that? That was D. <laughs> da 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 da. And then G F F G F. That's another two O-Holes, that's another two Tamas. Make sure we're going to use the Tamas Dig ability first before we go ahead and grab these. There should be three of these little Dig things. That should be three co-op abilities used. And by three, I obviously meant two. And yes, right, that should be enough. So we have hit the quota in terms of the main quest, but of course we haven't hit 100% of the animals yet. So we got more to do. So head up and left, you can see the withering, the next withering that we need to get rid of. And obviously new area. So let us proceed. We're gonna need a minute to process. And of course we've got another co-op ability that we're gonna need to use with the O holes in just a minute. So continuing on forward, picking up plants on your way. Um, couple of infections there. Couple of infected tamases, tapas, uh, and a crash. Sorry. Ah! Oh come on! I want to help you. Right, let's get in one of the crashes now. Um, we, we're going to need to go into one of the holes in order to get one of the bridges. But go up, first of all, there's a bridge to claw where we came uh, in from. So make sure to bite that bridge down. Again, that's another co-op ability used. Uh, head into the hole, which is the back of the area, just where we are with the old tapas. Tamali. Tamaraguchi. Um, head into the hole in the top right-hand corner. So there was two that you could see there, and the one that we would go for then was the top one. And if you could actually bite the thing that we need to bite, rather than the absolute nothingness, then that's good. So that's another co-ability used. Go back into the hole. Head down, we're going to use the other hole that we didn't. So in this, uh, so the sort of bottom left-hand corner one. Turn it around to get another yum-yum. Another delicioso, another delicimondo, as it were, in probably Italian, but probably not. Uh, so there we go. Once that's done, then we've got another couple of earthquake uh, things to use, which is going to be just underneath this hole, directly across from where we were then as Vic. So that's another tapas, tamale co-op ability used. If you want to there, just go underneath, crouch underneath as uh, Vic with the uh, clicking in the left stick uh, to get a health booster. Always comes in handy, the old health bags. Okay, so for now then, uh, we'll just have a look at the Avapedia, see what we got. So we are getting close now, 88% for the first two Uras. We're on set, we still need to use another co ability and cure two more infections. The Hoo Hoo, we've got 100% in, and the Tama. We just need to do a few more times. Couple of things left to do there. But we are 
finally getting closer and closer. Right, so then, once we've got those two, um, we're not going to pet them. What we're going to do is head up and then to the right. And to the left, you can see another one to tame here. So we've got D, D, A, D, D, H. That's another two crash will be done. Uh, but just leave them there for the time being. We're going to get another plant directly in front of us. The bananas. The crano shell. The banana. Ooh, banana. And then we're going to take a left now, just after we grab this next set of bananas. Take a left into this cave. Looking almost, which isn't a cave at all. Uh, head left again. But we're going to go up the steps this time. And straight in front of us, as you can see, is the next. There's a, there is a uh, zip line which we're going to use on the right, but more importantly is the next Antares statue, which was just up the steps as well. So go ahead and whip that one out. Huh. Hmm. So with that next statue done, that'll be two out of seven should be. Now we can, after doing a little celebratorial dance, grabbing another bunch of bananas, we're going to head down Continue heading down, back the way we came. Uh, this time we're going to take a left and actually go into a cave. Where we're going to get rid of the... Uh, we're going to need to crisp out some withering infections. And then... We're going to need to get rid of some infected creatures. Right, so once we got everyone, we've had a look at some plants. Uh, just double check in there if you need. The Tamar ability we should have now done. The co-op ability. So as you can see there, we've done already done six. Uh, but there is another dig spot if you want to, or if you need it, or if you want to see what's underneath the dig spot. I mean, it generally looks like easy enough where you could just move a couple of tiny little rocks yourself there, Vic, but never mind. Just use the animals you're trying to rescue. That's why not. Um, but yeah, so if you want to use that, that should be fine, but you should be on more than enough now for the Tama co-op ability, so you don't have to worry about that. So just go ahead, use your flute and dootin', get them all down, uh, get these next two crowds down as well, and then head down to the left, and the other two will join us as well, and then you can just go ahead and pop them all in the bot, since we are now done with the area. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, stupid guy. Where are you? Meh. Okay, go and find that one stupid guy. I mean, that one beautiful little creature. Come here, you. All right, so now we'll get the Tamar done, and we will finally be done with this area, too. Finally. Okay, so let's head to the right. Now, before, we're just going to get a strong healing brew, so we're going to nip into the area on the left where we got uh, use the crash co-op ability to get the bridge down. Just in this area there is a strong healing brew. Yeah, it all comes in handy, especially if you're not unbelievable or good at the combat. They do come in handy. Take a right as we jump out. And you can see the town there. We're not, we're not actually going into the town, though, so near panicky bother bothers. Uh, but what we are going to do is, where we got the two O-holes and all the Uras from this area, yep, we're just going to continue on through to this area. We're going to find a new location here called the Cascade of Joy. It does seem pretty joyous. To be, a, to be fair, this does look like a very beautiful little joyous area, so why not? 
So we're going to go DA, DA, DA. Uh, oh, apparently that didn't work, so we'll try that again. And somehow me absolutely messing it up the second time seemed to work. So maybe they felt sorry for me and laughed at my inability to play Das Fluten Duten. Uh, anyway, continue heading up. We've got an O-hole, which we're going to need to GFF it. So uh, take a look at uh, do the GFF's O-hole. And DA, DA, DA. And this time we're all good. And we're just going to... Are we going to pop these straight in the bot? Yes, we are. We'll pop these ones straight in the bot. We st hey. hey, where's the rest of them? Stop it. Get back here, you two. Get in the bot and get out of here. Anyway, once you pop those bots in, go directly in front of you now, cross over to the bridge where we're going to get sensor number four out of five. I'll never forget this place. Alright, so once that's done, that's in sensor number four. If you want to double check your uh, map, um, we're going to head back across and go up the path this time where we are going to tame another couple of creatures in order to get them done with the bots. Another Tama. Oh, in fact, we're going to disinfect them first. So get your disinfectant spray out. <laughs> Angry. Angry young things. Okay, so once you have finally got rid of all the infected creatures, go nice and slow, make sure that they're all following you, and get them into the bot, and get them the hell out of here. And with that, if you check your Avipedia, we should be on mostly 100% by now on all of the animals. You're safe now. Right, so the reason we left this area till last is because we're going to do the main quest area now. We're going to go behind the waterfall. So remember the tablet that we picked up from behind Tabitha um, a little bit earlier on? We'll go behind the waterfall now. And we can now grab... Not only can we grab a health kit, which is a, another permanent upgrade, we can also grab another tablet plus Dr. DuPont's medical key which you can only grab this key now or the id badge sorry you can only grab this id badge now as long as you picked up that tablet from behind at tabitha earlier on when we spoke to her so that'll be the permanent upgrade the uh, tablet and the id badge and once you have all three of those done um yeah we'll head the hell out of here and if you have a look now so yeah should be on 100 percent on everything except the ura but don't worry, because we're going to be finding some more in just two seconds. We're going to go back to the Aleph Prime's grassland base first. We do actually have to go ahead and speak to Chief Honlo, which 
I did actually forget to do a little bit earlier on. So head back into town, speak to Honol Nuts, the Honlo Civic. And now if you've uh, spoken to the hot newest Honlo Civic, we are going to go into our map and we are going to go over to the right hand side, the Scientific Refuge. Uh, we basically now have to find a specific bird, Obon's specific O-Hall. So I didn't think I'd be saying that, but we need to look at, uh, we need to look for Obon's O-Hall. Interesting. Okay, so going past creamy crops right there, the old Krispy Kreme donuts. We are going to head down, and we you see this area? We This area should seem a little bit familiar, but we haven't been down here yet. So we're coming down here for the first time. Uh, so we can just jump down. You won't lose too much, if any, health at all. And then, don't go all the way down. You can see this little area right here. Now, if we get out, get out, get out our camera, that is the specific O-hole that we're supposed to be looking for. The one that's looking a bit deranged and a bit crazed, but still probably packs a good punch. Uh, so now, effectively, we got to follow it. But we're going to do a little few things before we go ahead and follow it. So you're not, you can't lose it or anything. So don't worry about that. So when we come, we're following the main path around here. We can get rid of the withering by getting your uh, Christy the clown out, and just get rid of that um, in order to activate a zip line. Uh, but once we come to this area here. You can see a little uh, fork in the path. What we're going to do is follow it to the right and down before we head to the left. So go right and down. Down, 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 down. Do, 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 do. And we're going to do some uh, EGAs. We're going to get some Eggers and then some DA, DA, DA. There we go. Tidy boys. Uh, I don't think there's any more, is there? There is not. So you are. Uh, we'll just go ahead. Grab some plants. Stop playing your flute. You don't need to play the flute. Um, again, there is another dig spot there if you need to use a Tamar ability, but we are on 100% on every creature now, apart from the Ura, remember? Uh, so you can see the little gap. There is a little gap that we are going to climb into. And use the withering, because there is a bot that's underneath here. I don't... I'm not sure if we specifically needed to do these three, but um, but the sort of time we're playing, uh, you know, especially when you've got the achievements as sort of paranoia-inducing as these, it's always a, let's do it just in case. So that's what this was, let's do it just in case. Um, even though, again, by now you should have 100% on everything except the Ura. But, you know, better to be safe than sorry. As it were, and as Jeremy Kyle would say, why didn't you put something on the end of it then? And if you don't know Jeremy Kyle, especially for those of you outside the UK, just just Google it. It's basically Jerry Springer, okay, but for hilarious people. Even more weirdly hilarious, but it is basically just Jerry Springer. Right, so once you've interacted with and you've come through the cave right here, interact with the sensor once again. How important it is sometimes to stop and look around you. All right, so actually that should be five out of five sensor meditation spots that we have now completed. So if you want to double check your map there, you should be on six, two, five, and seven. So yeah, getting through it. Two hours and 20 minutes in. Getting through it, boys and girls, yes. And um, others. So a couple of plants that we're going to grab here just before we head back out. So from the sensor, what we could do is head to the right up into this small part of cave, basically the same cave there that we came through. Take another right into more caves, and uh, we found a, a new place called the Cavern of Size. Get rid of the withering here so we can actually make our way through. There is a whole bunch of lucha stems right here. 
or Lukeo, Lukeo stims. So whichever way. Now again, if you are full, uh, don't panic too much because, you know, like I said, even when you reload back in and you come back into the grasslands region later on, there are going to be plenty that have respawned and you can um, just grab a whole bunch. So that's, again, if you are full and you can't move your inventory about. Uh, but just grab, uh, you know, as many as you can before we continue heading down. Don't think you have the ability to fall off, but there are some infected creatures, so let's uninfect. Oh no. So once you've spoken to Oblong, uh, wither, do the withering, get rid of the withering, I should say, and that will open up the way for us. So we now should have the ability to tame everyone, but we need to get into the crash because we need to go up this blue branch path here on the left. Follow it all the way around. And you can go faster again by holding the left bumper, of course. Enter into the O-hole. Not into the O-hole, just a regular hole. Not doing myself any favours there. Um, and then just bite down and away we go. That will now, uh, that should give us the ability to, as Vic, to go through and get rid of that particular withering. So there's nothing else to do here. We've grabbed all the plants that we possibly can. So now go back into your map, go to the Aleph's Prime Grasslands base. And we are going to now head towards the jungle gate. So again, obviously we don't have all of the um all of the collectibles just yet, but that's fine because we keep returning to the grasslands regions. It's only the other regions that we don't uh, or that we cannot return to. So as we head into town, so obviously we'll be getting everything 100%ed in every other region before coming back here. Um, because while nothing is truly missable, if you do actually miss something, as we just, we're going to head to the right there, speak to uh, Vaidi, the old vitamin. But yeah, so in every other region then, if you do miss something, you cannot return and you do actually miss. So... They say that it, there's nothing truly missable, but it can be missed if you, yeah, don't complete everything before leaving the region. So once you've spoken to Vaishi, Vitamins, and got that human hideaway quest complete, continue heading down where we're going to speak to the Honlo Civic. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Huh. The key to love. Yes, the key to love. It's called... It's called money, isn't it? Isn't it? Because my face is hideous. Anyway, once we have done that, you can't actually speak to Oblong, so we're going to just move a couple of things from our inventory. Um, some healing brews, and... Now, remember, we've already done... Uh, so we've already got the one... Uh, quest for Isham or Ishar, whatever his name is, for uh, giving him one of each plant in the grasslands region. So we can actually go ahead and move all of these down. That's what I'll do in every single bit. Um, as long as you've got every plant done in the particular region, once you move on to the next one, I move everything into my crafting, uh, my craft table, as it were, just so it's not looking confusing because it, the name of the plant actually doesn't come up. 
in the, uh, when you're crafting. So once you've spoken to Oblong again, get a very human love. Now, I don't know where you're going with that, Obon, but you can count me out, bruv. I ain't making love to your peanut head, bro. Apologies, but nah. Nah. Right, so uh, what you do is come back up to Vitamin. We're going to take the human helmet where uh, Vitamins will let us keep it so we can go back down and speak to Oblong again. And then we'll have to take another picture of Oblong with his helmet on. Oh, this time he gives us a cheeky little grin. So there we go. That That's nice. Uh, it doesn't matter if you uh, discard it or replace it or whatever. I replaced it because it's always nice. Uh, but there we go. So we now talk to him. Okay, so now we're going to go to the map. We are going to do the human love side quest, which should be at the bottom of the map. A very human love, and think of the kids. So with that, we're going to have to go slightly to the left and go to the Antar Dunes Sibling Tree fast travel point. And once we get here, we're going to take a right. So past the generator. Uh, obviously grabbing some more flowery plants as you go, as we have been doing for the last two and a half hours so far. We're going to keep heading up the path and you're effectively what we're going to do is just follow the waypoint the checkpoint the marker whatever you like to call it that's where we're heading but first before we speak to the guard we're going to go ahead and take a picture of him so there he is uh rim 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 old rimmer buds rim butts rimmery take a picture of rim rim, rim me yeah, yeah, that guy. And then go ahead and speak to him after you've taken the picture. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. Right, now we are going to head up the ladder in just a moment. In fact, right now we'll do it. Yeah, let's do it now. So up we go, we're going to take another picture of another NPC here. This one, Garek. Oh, Garek, and that means massive forehead in Spanish, probably. It's not even his forehead, it's just a helmet or something, but still. Take the picture and go ahead and speak to mm, Garek. <gasps> nice short conversation, that's what we want after we skip the dialogue. So we can drop down, and as you can see now, the way is open. So, into some new ruins. Oh my god, it's like it's never ending. Alright, so, continue on heading forward, and we got some infections to clean up. those creatures are done we're going to go into the next area where there's going to be some uh, more infections Right, perfectione. Right, now we're going to go ahead and use the Uras, the last of the co-op abilities that we need. 
I mean, it always looked like we weren't going to be able to do it, but yes, there is an aura. Uh, so we're going to head up these stairs, and there's going to be some uh, some things to break here. Give yourself the charge of life, and that should now be that. So if you go ahead and check your Avapedia, we should now be on the 100% mark for it. Uh, let's go ahead and do that now. Yep, sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't don't need characters, but creatures. 100, 100, everybody should now be on 100%. Oh, wait a damn minute. Not quite. Oh, st uh, nobody's on 100%. we still got to cure some, some of these dudes yet. Okay, so. Sorry, that's my bad. I thought we were on 100%. My eyes are going blind with pepper spray. Anyway, get rid of this withering that was on the top of the stairs where we just got... Uh, use the Ura's co-op ability. There's actually nothing in there. Um, and then we're going to have to go and do another piece of withering, which is just on, uh, to the right of us there, as you can see. So grab that one. And now we're going to have to get our Ushun, or Levitation out. There's the bot. So, again, le left trigger, right bumper, of course, to use your Levitation power. So you got to hit it once. There we go. And then get yourself in. Climb yourself up. And there's another wearing to get rid of. There we go. That'll open up the way deliciously for us. Uh, drop down. You can already probably hear the wind chime. There is a zip line we're going to activate first. And then we are going to interact with this, levitate it up, and then quickly get your camera out and take a picture of the next wind chime. And in fact, if we have a look at the map, that should be your final wind chime. So there we go. We should be on six upgrades, two statues, five out of five sensors, and eight out of eight wind chimes done now. So there we go. Going well. Congratulations, everyone. All right. So uh, ignoring the stairs for now, we're going to get rid of the two pieces of withering, the one on the left. And if we have a look in, levitate, levitatio it up. And then grab the pimp next upgrade as well, the health kit. Right, so once you're de decidedly all good, uh, turn your turn Vic around, turn the camera around, and get rid of the next withering just on the top there. Again, left trigger, right trigger to Christy the clown it. And there we go, that's job done. We will activate the zip line again, just in case we need to come back. A lot of these times you don't actually need to come back to these areas. But it, it's always worth doing just in case. Uh, but now we are going to levitate this platform up. Give yourself a jump across. Oh, give yourself a ju running jump across. And then grab the third Antari statue. Okay, so once you've investigated it and gone, hmm, yes, that is a statue. Top investigation work, by the way, there, Vic. Uh, we're going to levitate the platform again. We're going to run and jump across. Again, if you manage to fall down, just come back up the stairs there on the right and come back up to this area. Uh, jump up to the stairs this time. And we're going to crawl into, uh, we'll go through this little gap. Where we've got some more infections and some more withering to disinfect with your spray. What is for you? Alright, get your connections out with the URA. Again, more infections. Um since we disaffected it, get yeah, go with your URA. Sorry, I'm just going backwards on myself for some reason. Uh open up the way. Again, we should have now used everyone's co-op abilities. It's one of the infections that we're really after now. Um, but make sure to drag them all down so we can get rid of them bot style. <laughs>
More lovely creatures rescued? Yes. <laughs> Lovely, lovely job. So once this is done, again, a new way opens up for us. So we can just jump straight up. And we can grab the main quest key of what we're wanting. A uh, couple of petals again on the way. Activate the zip line again if needed. And then you're going to have to levitate the way up. You know, we've done this before a couple of times. Levitate the way, get inside and pick up the key. The key fragment, sorry. Uh, the key f key fragment the third, for some reason. Uh, they decided to call it key fragment the third, which is pretty much on par with a posh English name these days. Hello there, dear. My name is uh, key fragment the third. Right, so anyway, nip into your uh, map to go to the Aleph Prime's grassland base fast travel point. Okay, so when we get down here, we're going to go straight into town, we're going to go past Tabitha, and we're going to speak to Neymar Jr. once again, just grabbing a couple more petals, because why the hell not? Uh, so, yep, into town, go past Tabitha, up the stairs just where Tabitha is, go and speak to Neymar Jr. And then when we get that quest complete, go slightly to the right, go past uh, Vahiti Vitamin Head, and we're going to head down and speak to Oblong. And there we go then. So we finally completed a very human love. I feel like a chef from South Park song coming on there. Right, so just head straight through to the circle and we're going to speak to Fenty, who's going to give us another secondary quest. Now, just like Ishmael or Ishman or whatever his name is with the plants, what we need to do is take a picture, at least one picture, of a specific animal in each region. And then we're going to come back to Fenty and he's going to basically wood carve it. Now, this is pretty much unmissable because we're going to be going for the 100% on absolutely everything anyway. So, yeah, so this one will be easily done. Uh, just like the plants, really, because we're going to be going for everything. So, there we go. That's two secondary quests then that we have to do. Next up, we are going to head... Um, I thought we were going to be done with the, with the Grasslands region by now, but we, we're not, so that's fine. So, Grasslands base... Drop down, uh, the grassland base face travel, drop down, grab some more bananas if they're there. And then we're going to head through to the left um, to this new area, which we uh, haven't been to yet. Oh, have we? In fact, yes, we have. Sorry, we have been to this area. But what we didn't do or couldn't do earlier on was shoot the withering at the very bottom. We didn't have the power up to shoot the withering at the very end there. Um, also, if for whatever particular reason you've run out of healing brews... You can just go ahead and craft some. Uh, you should have more than enough flowers to craft quite a few by now. So that's if you ever do run out of healing, Bruce. But anyway, head to the end, grabbing all the plants on the way, and get rid of the withering and head through. And Tama! We have found the remaining Tamas. Tadas. No, Tamas. I meant Tada, we found the remaining Tadas. So, oh, smashed me out, bro.
Okay, now if we check our Avapedia, we should now be on 100% for every single one of these five creatures that we've done. So now there is no more left to do. So we've infected it, disinfected everyone. We're, we're all good. We have completed it. So that is a good start. Uh, two hours and 41 minutes in. Um, but we might as well just uh, send them off while we... Yeah. Okay, so once we've jumped out of the cave, uh, just before heading to the right and jumping up onto the cliff to grab another statue, we're just going to grab a couple of more plants right here. And then we're going to go up. So just having a little look, making sure there's no more. Uh, there is a zip line over the way, but we'll come back to that in just a minute. So just keep climbing up. There is only really one pathway to go. So keep on climbing and hopefully you don't run out of breath and give it the whole gasp of life. Because there ain't no prince or, of course, since it is 2024, prince or princess or prinvey charming, I suppose, if you want to call him that. Anyway, nobody's coming to rescue you, so try not to, you know... Trying not to die up here, bro. Anyway, here is the third statue. Hmm. Hmm. And of course, by statue three, I obviously meant statue four. That's what I was getting at there. So, uh, head back, activate the zip line, and we can just ride that boy all the way down. Just have a double check. Yes, so you should now be on seven upgrades and four statues and then sensors and wind chimes. You should be done. Done than done. None than a rare steak of beautiful deliciousness. Right, so grab the stem right there. And then we are actually going to be coming up to the end. And we're going to start heading towards the new jungle region ever so soon. So we're going to head down this, this path right here. A uh, couple more bananas on a tree. And then, uh, what are we going to do first? So, oh yeah, we can't get through there yet because we don't have the power. Uh, that That's basically like a slow-mo uh, thing. So we get a slow-mo power where we'll be able to go through that later on. So that's why we can't complete everything 100% in the area just yet. Um, but for now, once we have activated the zipline, we're going to go back to the grasslands base. So, off you pop, Bibski pops. And you know, sometimes there may be some infected Uras there. Uh, there will definitely be later, but there may sometimes be some now. Uh, but heading to town anyway, we're basically now going to be heading towards Neymar Jr. So just heading towards the waypoint. So, as the saying goes, Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. But yes, seriously, you know how the song goes, but seriously, we are in the jungle. 
first things we're going to do first, immediately we're going to make a manual save. Now we're going to make a manual save in each region because if for somehow or for some particular reason you've missed an achievement or you've missed something, it's always good to have at least one save slot with uh, whatever region it is just so you can go back to it and finish what you need. Um, and obviously you're going to be making manual saves as you go through anyway. And then of course we've got new plants, we've got new creatures. So basically all the creature comforts that you had over the last couple of hours, well, they're all gone. It's like playing a new game again. So anyway, once you've done all that, we're going to take an immediate right and immediately get your camera out. This is the only opportunity, really, that you can get to do this. There is the Terabar, and he is basically the big boy of the of the whole game. He is terribly frightening. <laughs> Terabar? Terribly frightening? You get it? Yeah. There's only three research tasks, so we've already taken a picture. We need to pet one, which we won't be able to do until a lot later in the game. And we need to cure one as well, which we won't do until a lot later in the game. So, honestly, you don't have to worry about trying to find out anything for him. As long as you manage to get the healthy photo of him there, then that is good. If for whatever reason you missed it, just reload your last save and you will be able to get it. Also, take a picture of the first wind chime of the area, which is just underneath the rock, where the... Terabar uh, just was. So that's already one out of ten wind chimes that we've got going. So, yep, nice quick start there. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but the jungle area does get slightly confusing. Slightly. Only slightly. Just slightly. Right, so, as I said then, you've taken a picture of the Terabar and you've taken a picture of the wind chime. Now we need to go ahead and grab some new plants. There's the Apit Cotton. Um, there's like six i think six in this uh, in the jungle area uh so there's the apit which is the first one and then there's nothing else up here so we can just go ahead and take the elevator down are you in the jungle yet is everything all right well tab i think i upset my friend but otherwise i'm fine and this place is it's stunning we can't save the whole planet but we can save part of it I'll pass you the list of creatures we need for the bio -work. Okay, so obviously we've got a whole bunch of new stuff, as I said, that we're going to be doing. So once we head out of here, you're going to see there's no one that's infected yet. But again, trying to get too close. Otherwise, you will be smashed open, as it were. And the first animal is directly in front of us. There it is. Kind of look like little wolves or something. Uh, but they are called the Zards. So, take a photo of the Zard, that'll be the first one done. Um, we can't actually tame these animals just yet either, because we have to find someone who plays a specific flute song for the animals in this specific region. Um, but the tasks will always be the same anyway, so we've got to uh, infect so many. Uh, grab a husk, a ispid husk plant, that's another second one done. Um, but yeah, so all the research tasks for the creatures will always be the same. In, um, so, yeah. Okay, now the jungle, as I said, can be slightly confusing, so a lot of the time I'm going to be using sort of environmental... Uh, he's going to whack me out now, bro, by the way. Oh, but can I, I'll give you calm down. So that, that's what I was looking for then, the third plant, the Padagas. And then where the couple of Zards were, just on the left-hand side of it, is another plant. That's the pubic's ear. Pablic's ear. But it looks more like a pubic ear. And that is four out of the five. Uh, we won't be getting the next one until a little bit later on. So where the Zards were, we're just up to the right-hand side of that. What you're going to find is this big, massive log, which kind of looks like a bridge. See, so there's the Zards. And it is up this log where we're going to go. I tell you what, those Zards actually sound like... You know, like those little tiny dogs that think they're the actual dog's bollocks and they're just like... Meow, meow. Yeah, they kind of look like that. Anyway, I pressed the wrong button there, but in the water there is a new animal that we can take a picture of now. You don't have to do this yet. You can take one a little bit later on if you wish, but it's just to get it out of the way there. The Shaper. Oh, Shaper. Or oh, Shaper. Now nah, we'll go with Shaper. So that's the Shaper done. So uh, again, we'll uh, have a little look at those a little bit later on. Just having a little more look around. Otherwise, we can just head, continuing heading straight over and get uh, collecting the plants as we go. Remember, we need to collect at least one of every plant. Oh, we found another plant, the e-geek. 
the e-geek flower so it's actually five out of six sorry right drop down here turn on the generator and there we go so we've already got a nice fast travel save point for us just at the bottom there uh, but once you've dropped up here or <laughs> jumped up there go ahead whack out the uh, the uh, the withering up there are the plants so yeah you got the eguck the pubic the palic the Padagas, yeah, you just got a whole bunch. Uh, but there is only one more, I believe. And we won't be getting that again, like I said, until a little bit later on. So there's a crafting table there, but we're going to go ahead and do some withering. And it's actually at this point I kind of fell. That's why there's a edit. But now we can just drop straight down. Uh, gra again, grab some more flowers and stuff as you go. Uh, but continue heading downwards. Not all the way down, though. As it turns out, we don't need to go all the way down, just halfway, in order to get into the next area. There we go, so now we're back. Let's jump across oh, and almost, uh, almost mash it up again. But, uh, yep, we're going to be coming up to uh, just, yeah, so... This thing right here, that thing that's waiting to explode, yeah, you don't want to get too close to that because that will explode and it'll give you one. Uh, normally, the black ones will give you blindness, so your screen goes basically black for about 10 seconds. Other ones in later levels and regions will give out poison, so you'll be poisoned and lose some health for 10 seconds. So, obviously, you'll just have to be aware not to go straight into that. If you go too close, it'll obviously explode. I'm just teasing that ball right there. Don't mean to make you ex almost explode there, Mr. Ball. All right, so continuing heading down and to the left. Again, obviously always picking up more flowers and plants as we go. There's plenty of them. But now we are at the Aleph Prime's jungle base. And what you're going to see is another new creature for us to take a picture of. Uh, this one is a flying crab. Now, it looks like he's got mega angry eyes, but he's actually got really cute eyes. And uh, the things on top just look like antennas or something. See? Uh, anyway, that is the uh, uh, crab, which I just forgot its name already. Sorry. Right, so head to the right. And there's going to be a little bit of a cut scene now as we help the creature. Which we can skip, of course. Right, so next up. But now we can't actually just go... Uh, we can go upstairs and grab a little item, but we can't actually, we've actually got to go ahead and turn the power on. We can't actually get through this door we can get through, but it's the other one we can't. So we're going to grab the backpack pocket upgrade already here. And we can actually go ahead, go to the left, into the next room, where we're going to grab a um, tablet memo from Dr. Tur. Dr. Tur. There we go, that's another tablet done, uh, but it's actually here where we can't actually get out. So, uh, probably could have done that in a better way, but, uh, you know, we all got to come back here anyway. So, to open up the generator, go to the left, downstairs, down to the left, climb up. Uh, just grabbing some more plants before we head up. But we are going to start climbing up the this long-ass branch. Obviously, again, collecting plants on your way. we we'll continue going up. And then what we're going to do is more or less just jump over to the building there. So go onto the log or the branch. I don't know, whatever the hell this is. It's basically a big branch path, isn't it? And give yourself the jump down of life. Activate the zip line. And if we turn around, we should be able to see the generator. There it is. Hooray. Which, of course, now means that the door to the left is opened, and then we go into the route, the same room where we got the Doctor to uh, memo tablet and the health upgrade backpack. All right, so to go into your quest, there, sorry, you go into your map, you press the Y button to go into your quests, and then we're going to get the Jungle Nam main quest going. So uh, that's where it is, the Jungle Nam. Um, yeah, sorry, I've done that uh, quite a bit quick there, didn't I? So yeah, go into your map, press the Y button to open up your quests, and then press the Y button again once you've chosen something to go back into your maps. Uh, but from here, we'll drop down. Instead of going right, we go take the left path, going up these little bits of steps, and we're going to take our first picture NPC of the area in just a moment after we grab these plants. 
There we go, get another pubic ear, and then take a picture Fantastic. of Durek. Stomp legs! Ha! Banterous. My name is Strong Legs, as it turns out, thanks to Neymar Jr. Right, so here we are then into this is like this is more or less the little village town area, if you will. So head over the bridge, and we're gonna have to do a lot of quests and secondary quests and things like that. But first of all, we are going to just continue heading. Uh, sort of down the sort of main path, and then wh who you're gonna find is Bowtie. I think his name is Boaty. Uh, better than Bowtie. Uh, take a picture of Botty. Yeah. Take a picture of that body, and then we'll come back and talk to him in just a little bit. But head back the way you came, and what we're gonna do is find this ladder just past, just by the bridge. So we're gonna climb up. We're gonna get another NPC's character now, Taj T. Taj Mahal. And there you go. So once you've taken a picture of the Taj Mahal, we will continue going. Uh, in fact, we're going to speak to him. In fact, no, we're not going to speak to him because he doesn't speak to us yet. So head up the steps to the left of the Taj Mahal and continue going up. And then we are going to take another picture. This is the chief of the area. Two pictures we're going to take here. The first one is the wind chime. So it's the second wind chime of the area. And then to the left is Chief um, Verlo. Could you stand still and pose, please? please? Sorry, it's Chief Vorlo, not Verlo. Uh, but take a picture of Vorlo anyway, and then go ahead and speak to him. We're obviously going to get some quests going. Hmm. Right, so now we have the quest marker to go and speak to Bowtie. So that's heading it down the steps. Dropping down, dropping down again. Shouldn't take too much fall damage. And then, remember the first... I don't know, is this an alien? Are these aliens or something? I don't know. I mean, technically, we're the alien invading their planet, but anyway. Go ahead, and you should have already taken the picture of Bowtie, so just go ahead and speak to him. Huh. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to have to find his flute, because apparently this dude can't walk at all. Um, so, uh, as I said, you should have already taken the... You can see a bunch of shappers behind him. You should have already taken a healthy picture of him, so we can just ignore them for now. So basically head back, again, back the way we came earlier, just next to the bridge. And the, uh, the bridge is where his flute is going to be, just to the... Right of it, there it is. Bowtie's lost flute. Oh, does flute and dootin look putin shootin? No, we can't, can we? So we're going to climb up and we're going to go and speak to uh, Taj T. Taj T. So now we have to go and speak to the great Shabubi himself, the great Shapan. So we're going to drop straight down, uh, just behind where Taj was, grab another plant. And what you're going to see then is like a bunch of writing on the wall. You can see it there, the sun and whatever. Follow that, follow those drawings down. And then we are going to be coming up to this cave area. You can always tell where this is. Like I said, because we're in the sort of middle of a cave, there's a bunch of drawings on the wall. We're going to head down to the left. Uh, I think there is a... Oh, there's another pubic's ear right there, so grab that plant. And then the opposite side is where we are going to speak to... Or well, we're going to try and attempt to speak to uh, you. Say Fustar or Fusar, whatever your name is there. Again, the writing's very small, uh, which is why I can't see a lot of the time. But take a picture of him anyway. Um, but he won't actually talk to us, so what we just need to get is the sticky gunk next to him. Ooh, sticky. 
So once you've picked up the ooh stickiness, we're gonna head up back out. We're gonna go back to the Taj Taji Taj Mahal, the Torin. So back out of the cave. Uh, you're basically just following the waypoint there, so we can head up to the left, left again. Um, don't go too far. Don't know where I'm. Uh, don't know where I'm off. Going the wrong way there. Uh, but yes, we're just basically finding the ladder to go back up to find the Taj. I'm just glad the stickiness didn't involve the hoo-hoo or the o-hole, uh, because that would have been really damn funny. Okay, so anyway, we we're going to head back down now, so just drop down without breaking your ankles. Incredible video game logic again. Uh, head all the way back now to uh, Bowtie, French fry Bowtie, and he's going to be delighted. And he's going to play us the song so we can get our stuff sorted and tame some animals. Every time there's a song going on, uh, I always think of, I just keep thinking of Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. Um, also, by the way, if you've noticed that there's no noise, it's because, you know, I'm scared of copyright and I don't want to do an almost nine hour video just to not be able to monetize that, uh, you know, one pound that I can get from YouTube views. Woohoo. Uh, so I'm going to start putting them on TikTok as well, see how that goes. Anyway, so let's start taming some stuff. In just a minute, if we finish talking to... Uh, I don't think we needed to speak to Bowtie again, but um, yeah, do it anyway. In fact, we did need to speak to him again to get that secondary request. So the same river twice, so we'll come back to that one. Right, so, new tunes. So, what was that? That was F, G, A, B, C, F, G, B, whatever it was. Anyway, so basically all around. So, we've tamed him, make sure to pet them as well. Uh, obviously, we can get that knocked off as well. Uh, and, you, and again, you can't pet one without the other. It's just cruelty. So, that'll do. So, they, they have been tamed, but we're going to leave them for now. We'll come back to them in just a little bit. Uh, make sure to pick up some more plants, some paragadi gas, some apit pat cottons. Now, uh, we're heading back towards the cave. And again, you can tell that by the writings all on the walls. And we are going to head, effectively just keep heading up the path is what we're doing. Because there is a, another bit of withering that we're going to get rid of. Now, bear in mind, there is a wind chime here. And you can see it directly above us right now. I actually went straight past it and missed it. So we do get it later on without any issues at all. So don't worry. But if you want to just snap that wind chime now, <clears throat> sorry, my voice went. If you want to snap that wind chime we just went past right now, uh, just to get it out of the way, then of course, by all means, do it. But again, do not worry. I will come back to it later on anyway. Right, so as we climb up here, there is another uh, Zard, the infected Zard that we need to take a picture of. So make sure to do that. And then, of course, now we can finally start getting into the Death Camel. Or just disinfect them all. Come on, I want to help you. Oh my god. Oh god, now everybody wants a piece. Jesus, let me just, let me just... Alright, I guess we're going for this one. So we're going for Fgap, Fgabaga, F-B-G-A-C, and then we're going to pet a Zard as well. I think we've already petted one. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. So, yes, obviously you always be check making sure to check your Eva PGR as well uh, but we've already obviously already done I'm not paying all three of you I've already done it so let us connect with a chapeur and then immediately what we're gonna do they have the ability just like the little hoo-hoos to do a bit of a sing even though this one is actually a sonic scream which is actually quite terrifying 
So just like the last one of the hoo-hoos, if there's two close together, we're going to try and just get one at a time rather than two. Um, so we can count it as both all of the co-op abilities. So for now, you get those three out the way and that's three co-op abilities already done. Heading up to the steps, we can actually sonic screen these plants. Uh, kind of like the Ura, except nothing like it at all. And then do another one for these next set of plants there. So that's already five co-op abilities used with the Chaper. The Chaperone. Chaperone, Chaperone. Right, uh, transfer now into the Zard. Um, this has the ability called the Claw Lunge, which is basically just like the O-Hole's Bite Attack. So, uh, so that'll get rid of the bridge, uh, but that is the only one we're doing. So we can head back down and disconnect. Right, so what we're going to do then, I'm just going to go around and uh, collect everything that... Um, all the plants and everything that came out of the flowers that we Sonic screamed with the Chapeur. Just nip around and pick up every delicious looking item you can see. Delicioso. Right, so once you have done everything, or you've grabbed everything that you can in this area, we're going to go past our little creatures. You don't need to flute them up, flute and dootin', um, because we're just from here, we're just going to go straight over the other side and do some more disinfecting. Growling me, you son of a monkey baz. I can't actually remember if we done uh, uh, took a picture of an infected Zard earlier, which is why I done it then, but I can't remember. So anyway, uh, we've got plenty of infected Zards to look at, so don't worry about that. But there is another one here. This area does get slightly confusing, um, but there are, I think, about eight of these uh, creatures that we can grab. There's going to be another two infected ones as well. So if you just sort of do a big loop around... Um, eventually we will be able to see them. They're gonna be... You don't have to keep... Oh, there they are, look. So again, you haven't... if you haven't taken a picture of the infected Zard yet, again, check your Ravipedia. If there's a tick, that's great. If not, nay panicky bother bothers about it. Uh, but there's the next two. Anyway, again, anytime you disinfect someone, uh, they will automatically be tamed. So that's good. Again, picking up just another couple of... Planty plants, and then what we're going to do is go ahead and gather up all of these animals. So again, just like the Tamura grasslands, we need to be doing everything before getting rid of these animals in the robot. So there's the next two, so you should have about five with you at this point. Uh, so if you want, you can just go ahead and get rid of them just to be on the safe side. Ah, so let's check the uh, Avipedia. That's what the crab's called. Hazmat. Because it sounds like uh, sounds like a New Zealander trying to say hazmat. E, there's a hazmat on my dick. There's a hazmat on my deck. <laughs> yeah. uh, funny. Anyway, so you have a check. Let's have a check of the numbers. We haven't taken an infected picture of a shapper yet. Because we haven't seen one yet. Uh, but that will change, obviously, oh so soon. So, yes. His mitt just sounds like a New Zealander trying to say hazmat. And that, honestly, is just awesome. And it's very funny to me. And I love the way that New Zealanders also say deck as well. Because it always seems like dick. Ah, uh, get off me dick, mate. Or was that Australian? I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. I am going to spend, after this guide, I'm going to spend a day or two researching uh, Australian versus New Zealand accents. 
I suppose it's like America versus Canada. They all sound exactly the same, don't they? Oh, way to start World War Three coming up, uh, Mr. Welshman. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, again, just to be having a look, we're going to take a look at the map, see what we got. Again, should still be the same in terms of the collectibles. Uh, but open up your quest marker, and we're going to go to the same river twice. So again, open up the map, press the Y button to open up your quest marker, and choose the same river twice. And we are now going to head for that. So make sure to jump up here to the right then. Because uh, this is the actual way to the waypoint. Uh, just grabbing another, obviously, always grabbing flowers. That's all we do in this game. And then we're obviously going to be going across the uh, branch bridge. So again, wacky, wacky, delicioso. Put it in here, delicimundo. Um, now there is a statue just to the right. But we're not going to be grabbing that just yet, I don't think. In fact, we're not going to be grabbing it just yet. What we're going to do is do some disinfectant ting. Oh, in fact, no, we are going to grab it right now. Ignore me. We are going to grab it right now. So, uh, levitate it up, head around, jump up, and... Well, that's obviously not a statue. That's a plant. But the statue was right there. Sorry, I thought we were coming back to it later. Ah, sure, you terribly frightening piece of crap. Uh, wherever you are. Anyway, so that's the first statue of this area done. And then we can drop down, and then... We're going to be doing some disinfecting. So once little broski is done here, whip out your camera, we're going to take an a picture, an inspection of an infected shapper. Shaperio, chaperoni, pepperoni, chaperoni pizza. So there we go. Once you've taken a picture of that, that should be all the three ticks done. If you check, if you want to check your Avipedia, of course, you can do that. Uh, but that should be the first three ticks finally done. And then, well, you know the drill, homies. Let's go and dis, dis, disinfect this. This, this, at the giggling waterfall of life. Right, so once we have done that, you do actually need to take a, take a picture of the uh, Giggling Waterfall for the secondary quest for Bow Tie. Um, just taking a little schnooky schnoo. Sorry, the, the problem is with the jungle, it can get a little bit confusing. Um, you know, the grasslands, you sort of got used to it and you know where you're going. The jungle's a little bit more confusing. But anyway, we're effectively now going to head straight ahead. Um... Again, if you just want to have a look at the Shapper and the Zard. So the Zard, so there's, we've already cured the Zard's infection, so that's all good. So we are going to um, get the Zard in, and straight in front of us, we are going to use the Claw Lunge in order to get the... Uh, that's his one co-op ability done. There was a bit of an edit there, um, but effectively, all I'd done was just put the Zard through a couple of holes, and then he just dropped down. So you don't... you will not miss anything, sorry. Um, that was me just playing around. Now, as the Shapper, then, there's another couple of these flowery, singing, screamy bad boy plants about. One there, two there. And then that's another two of the Shapper's co-op abilities done. 
And then, of course, we can actually just get them up so we can get them going. Oh, and there is, of course, on the left-hand side here, another plan for us to Sonic Scream. So, again, that's three of the co-op abilities done. And then we can just lead them up. Lead them up the bridge. Let's go, Eskimos. Let's go, Eskimo. Oh. So, drag them all over to the left-hand side. And there is the bot of life. And you can see an upgrade that we are going to be grabbing in just a hot second. So that's that then, all the animals done in this area. We've grabbed the upgrade. Now again, remember to make sure to take a picture of the <laughs> giggling waterfall, or if you want to Dr. Hibbert it, the <laughs> waterfall. I don't know, whatever, whatever giggle you prefer. Make sure to just take a picture of it anyway, so uh, old bow tie will be like, oh my God, dude, that's blow my mind. And then we should be good to go. Um, so there is nothing, oh. Look at us standing on nothing. How damn good are we at this adventuring stuff? Right, uh, keep pressing the wrong button, sorry. So we're going to go into the Maparoni. Again, have a look at the collectibles on the right. They are the numbers you should be on. Um, otherwise, we are going to head back to the Alf, Alf Prime's jungle base. And we're basically going to head into the little village. Our little friend village now. Of course, we will be able to see the Hizmit, the New Zealandan hazmat, as it were. I'm just going to move a couple of things down from my inventory. And again, like I said, at the end of every region, that is why I decide to move all the all the plants except for one. Um, because obviously we need to do the secondary side quest. But because they don't show you and tell you what names the plants are, it can be slightly confusing. So that's why at the end of each region... I put all the plants that I've collected after the secondary quest with Ishmael or Ishman, whatever his name is, and then put them in my craft table so you start fresh, basically. Shoo! Let's drop down. Um, we are going to do the Hazmat Hizmit. And it goes FGBC! FGBC! And there we go. His four eyes, two angry eyes, and two cute eyes. There we go. Tame him, pet him, and there we go. Uh, that'll do, and uh, we'll come back to him later. So let's just head into the village and head to Hotai. Right, now what we're going to do is head back to the Aleph Prime jungle base. Uh, we might as well just run there since that's probably going to be a bit quicker. Uh, but just past the old Hizmit, there is a bunch of infected Hizmits that we're going to do. Uh, we're going to take a picture of and we're going to obviously disinfect. So where the Hizmit is there, just go past that. And in the distance, you are going to be able to see them flying about. Grab another plant while you're at it. So make sure to take a picture and then disinfect the boys. Hey, I'm doing this for you. Now, the Hizmits, uh, sorry, I'm, it still sounds like hazmat to me. Uh, so the hazmat Hizmits ability is to destroy these blowy, blindy things. So you just go close to it, as you just seen, press the X button, and that will explode it, uh, rendering us abled and not blind, as it were. Right, so thank you very much, Hizmits. 
Uh, so just grabbing a couple of plants that are in this area. Um, again, make sure you should have taken a picture. So uh, again, check your Ravipedia. You should now have all three, uh, all three of the ticks of the Hismits. So before heading up, we're just grabbing these plants. Um, just heading back this way, uh, sort of back towards the beginning of where we uh, started the jungle region. And there's another bunch of plants. And there is more disinfectants to do. Oh, come on. I want to help you. So once you've beaten his ass, um, no, we are going to now, uh, after grabbing another couple of plants here, we're going to get into one of the Zards, and we're obviously going to chow down on the bridge, so we, as Vicky Hamilton, can get through. Not, don't mention Lewis Hamilton, and don't mention Abu Dhabi 2021. Ah, oh, people will freak. Anyway, once you've done that with the Zard, get out, go down as Vic, and we're going to have to do a couple more. So what was that? That was F, G, A, B, C. Way little spin to finish off there. I am I'm a show, showsmith, bro. That's what we do. Okay, so another couple of Sonic Screams on these plants to do. And just to get another two uses of the co-op abilities for the Shoppers done. And again, um, I do think we're going to have to use the shepherd. So go back over the bridge and then over to the right hand side. There you go. You can see another Sonic Scream ability that we can use in order to get through. And then we can simply just head back and disconnect the flute and Dooten. Uh, see what goodies you got. Um, sight booster. Again, you don't really need these sight boosters. You may pick some up and... Like, I never used them. I never used anything apart from the health boosters. That's all you need in life is a bit of health booster. Okay, so, right. Uh, what we're going to do, we are going to das fluten duten them. So, get all three coming with you. Head up uh, to the right where we used the supersonic scream earlier on. And continue uh, going around. And the bot is right at the top there. So, we're going to be using them. And get them going. And there's another little New Zealander hazmat there. So it's, uh, I keep forgetting which one they are, to be honest. So yeah, it's FGBC. FGBC. Uh, so if you want to, you can go ahead. We've got no other need for him. Um, there's no, there's none of the uh, poisonous blobs about. So, go ahead, get rid of the withering. Feels like we haven't got rid of a withering for ages, mate. No way the goddamn his meets are about. Uh, I'm so sorry if I'm just butchering your language there, um, NZs. Uh, so, another couple of plants that we can grab. There's another withering here in this little area as well. So, let's pop this boy out and about. And again, you are hearing some, If you, you probably are hearing some animal noises, some creature noises, so well, let's go and das flute and dooten them, isn't it? So, going back down the way we, uh, ooh, yes the way we came, nope nope, sorry, that's my bad, we're not going down that, that way again, we're going the other way, just underneath the big branch bridge, uh, which is just above us, so where the two hismits are that's what we're needing to get, and we are then going to grab the other hismit as well, from the beginning of the jungle base so, apologies about that, but again, like I said, this jungle area is just a little bit more confusing. Um, you've probably already experienced the confusingness, um, but yeah. So that's why sometimes you may see me stumble and stag uh, sta uh, stagger for a couple of seconds, just like then. Uh, but no, there we go. So we've got the three hismits that so should all be left. Chuck him in the bot and we're good to go. All 
Right, so once we've done that then, what you're going to see is the big branch, which is just to the right of where we were by the bot. So we're going to start heading up the big branch path. And uh, again, well, you know the drill by now. It's it's already starting to get kind of... Even though the game is still very lovely looking, it, it's basically the same thing in most uh, other areas. As we see another viewpoint, we're going to go to the next area. We're going to disinfect some more creatures. And rinse and repoot. Oh, I guess another two his mates wanted to join in in the action. Uh, right, so make sure that you are one of these little his mitts, and there are a couple of these blobs about, so we're going to use our sticky sap power. Sounds like a Powerpuff Girls episode, doesn't it? So there's two, uh, and there's three in this area, actually. Or maybe there's four. Uh, but anyway, there's a third one. And... No, there's three in that area, but the most important one is where we climbed up as Vic... Drop down, um, and you can see this one. You're going to have to get closer to it in order to sticky. Put your sticky inside of the snippy. And there we go. That will actually open up the way for us to get a collectible now. So, And, of course, we just used four of the Hizmit's co-op abilities as well. So that's job done. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, there is another disinfectant bro in just a bit. But we're going to head back down. Back down the steps, and we're going to interact with the census. Our first one, can you believe, out of four. Ah. Uh, I can feel the calm of this place. Okay, so next thing to do then, we're going to head... Um, there's nothing on the right, I don't think... Nah, just a plant, just a plant over here. Uh, so grab the, grab those couple of e-geeks if you want. Otherwise, we're going to go back into the main area, past the hismits, and we're going to disinfect another couple of creatures. And once that is done again, we're going to interact with and get into a Shapper who is going to use his co-op ability to smash his way through or Sonic Super Scream his way through. There is another flower to the right of us if you need that, but I'm pretty sure if you check your Avapedia now, uh, we should have used all of the Shapper's co-op abilities. Um, but again, if not, there is a flower there to use. Um, and you can just drag everyone into the bot and then hooray. Goodbye. My friends, my lovers, get out! Okay, right, so, what we'll do, another couple of plants in this area. And then from there, we're going to continue on downwards. You can already see another disinfectant to uh, digest and disinfect. We'll just have a check of the um, Avapedia. So, yeah, we've already got 12 of the co-op abilities done for the Shaper now. The Zard, we've only got to use three more in order to get that one. The Hizmit, we need to do a couple more for them as well. Uh, so go ahead, disinfect the next one here. Oh, come on. I want to help you. You son of a... Anyway, thank you for that, stupid guy. Right, take a left. As you can see, the generator, we're going to power up this... Uh, fast travel spot. Let's get this portal going. And then over to the right-hand side of it, you can get another pubic ear. Uh, there's a craft table there if you need to uh, use any crafting healing items or anything like that. Otherwise, we'll head down and to the left. You can see two withering that we're going to unwither. Unwither and shiver. Matt, legendary peoples. Uh, so over to the right, the Ispid Husk. There's another plant there. Another couple of plants Dotted all around as well. Now, there's a forked path, as you can see. Uh, and we'll come back to that in just a little bit. Uh, but what we're going to do first is interact with and get into the Zard. And we're going to climb up the branch. So, climb up the branch path. Getting down. And we're obviously going to use his claw lunge ability to get the bridge open for us. You know, if we can actually make it across. Damn it! And then we're good to give it the claw lunge, and the bridge goes down. Bridge goes up, bridge goes down. Bridge goes up, bridge goes down. 
So get out your. Uh, so we're gonna head towards the way of the bridge where we just um, got that. Cause there is a wind chime that is directly where the bridge that we just put down is. So take your picture of the wind chime. That is the next one complete. If we just uh, go and have a little look here at the map. That should be three out of ten. <laughs> You. Alright, so once you have gotten rid of the infected Hizmit, the angry slash very cute looking Hizmit, we are going to connect with one, and we're going to get rid of a lot of these poison bulbs. The first one is right here next to the bot, which is why we couldn't go a bit earlier. There's another one in this same area. There we go. So just next to that dying, dying moose statue, dying lizard statue of sorts. And that's all there is. That's murder. That's all she wrote. That's murder. She wrote. Oh, in fact, no, actually, we are going to connect back in with one because what we're going to do is go into the next area as well. So past the steps here into the next area. And there's another three that we can actually get rid of. Now, you don't have to do this if you don't want. You can actually just avoid them. Um without any issues at all but you know might as well again get the co-op abilities to as many and much as we can so pop these three down like i said that's an extra three then that we don't have to worry about later on and now we are going to follow that path um from the way that we just came so yeah uh, again pick up some flowers as always on your way truden hooden a couple of e-geeks let's get another e-geek and we'll drop down, and we'll go to the right. And if we just have a look, just going to take a little look here. I just want to have a look at the Hizmits. So that's all the co-op abilities now done and complete, uh, which is all good. So we just need to rescue the species and clear some infections. And that's all we've got to do. And then we're getting quite close now. We just need to use two more co-op abilities for the Zard and the Shapo. We still need to do some more infections uh, curing it and rescuing it. So we'll be going ahead and doing that. So uh, what we're going to do, there is an Ispid husk. We are going to follow, see the, where the craft beam light is. That's what we're going to be following. Just grabbing some plants again, obviously, on the way. Neymar, Neymar. Stop doing weird stuff with your sister, bro. Come on. Right, uh, you can actually gather, the, um, use, uh, interact with the withering there. Uh, there's going to be a new creature down here as well, the frog called Chunk Frog or something. I don't know. Um, but there are a couple of infections down here. We are going to... You don't need to take a picture, but you can get rid of the Hizmet infection. Acknowledged. I am Oscar Michael to your location. Over and out. And also... And it's actually from here where we can take a picture of the frog. It's just over on the right-hand side. It's called a Bata. And he looks mean. He looks worse than that Budweiser frog. Bat. Tar. Bruh. So, those two are cool. There is also, um, just at the back of this area, there is an infected Batar that we can take a picture of as well. Uh, which is going to upgrade some skills, actually. Um, and it's going to mainly to be doing with the attack. So, what we're going to do, we're going to put, um, beam one. Um... Which is worth doing. So overcharge two. So the, the ones are, that's worth doing right now is overcharge two. Uh, where it basically gets rid of the infection even faster. This obviously helps a lot since, you know, yeah, the infection goes down faster. Says it right there. Um, it's always worth doing beam one as well, which was just next to overcharge. Um, you can do roll if you want. It's not particularly necessary. And the crafting stuff is not necessary really either. Um, the skills that I would go with is anything for healing and anything for attack. So I put concentration there as well. Don't really need item detector. But I would also use another one on beam and beam 2 as attacking with the normal beam will get um, deplete the health faster on the enemies as well. And Ushun 
2 and Crist 2 all also do come in handy. So, uh, yeah, always worth just cracking on with these two. This is the ones I actually do for now. Probably could have you could have done with the beam, but you know it doesn't particularly matter. Um, but for the most part, I ended up just doing Crist three. And uh, yeah, did I do Ushun? Yeah, I did do Ushun three as well. Uh, so you know, but again, that that's what I'm doing with the skill points. The ones on the left hand side don't really particularly matter. It's the sort of attacking ones and the. Um, power ones which we will sort of upgrade first so we'll drop down um, we don't need to uh, mess around with the his meat just yet but we're going to get our camera out in the distance is some infected batars so make sure to take a photo and then go on the attack and now that we've got the skill upgrades you'll see just how quick that their health will now deplete which is fine just fine fine That is uh, ridiculously fast, and that's what we like. Right. Make sure to pat the biggest orange chin ball creature that you've ever seen in your life. Uh, so that obviously ticks off the uh, one of the abilities, or that ticks off um, one of the things in the Avapedia for the Batar. So get the Batars to follow you. We're actually going to um, get into one of the Batars, and he is able to... Tongue lash, and again, hey, there's some uh, there's some women out there and some men probably who would love this batar in bed. They, everyone could do with a good tongue lashing. That'll cheer everyone up, wouldn't it? Uh, but anyway, once we get through and around, that's obviously one of the batar's co-op abilities done already. There is a wind chime right uh, uh, above us as well, so we're going to be getting that wind chime too. Whether I do that now or I think I do it in just a bit. No, I did. I do do it now. So there we go. It's right above us. Get your camera out and take another picture of this one. Another strange map. On artifact. So there's the numbers then that you should be on by now. Although uh, you probably got five wind chimes if you took a picture of the one that I told you to earlier that I missed, which we'll come back for in just a bit. Do, 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 do. Now this one seems complicated, but it's not too bad. It's F C F C G C G C. So it's F -k, F -k, G -k, G -k, and then G A B C. Oh no, it's not. It's uh, it's F G B C. Sorry. Uh, for some reason, this <laughs> this took me the awfully longest time. Oh, and there we go then. You've got the achievement there. Uh, you, you, That achievement can come at any point. Basically, just playing for the flute for five minutes. It's effectively unmissable because you've got to play the flute for a lot longer throughout the game anyway. So, yes. Uh, so once you've tamed these creatures, go into the battle. Go into the little jump pad and make sure to jump your way over. Um, that doesn't count as co-op ability. The tongue lashing of things does. So we tongue lash the bridge. Oh, yeah, tongue lash. And then we're going to get into the hismit. We're going to go up and we're going to get rid of the sticky, icky poison pad, as it were, or the poisoned ball sack of life. And once you have gotten rid of that poison nut bags, um, we will go and grab a flower, go, go sort of back the way we came, go up to where the new bot is, get rid of this withering. 
And again, the, the health bar and everything will just deplete mega now that we've got the upgrades for it, which is nice. Uh, a couple more plants and stuff that we're going to get. And then we're going to jump up here to the right. Jump up again. Take a left on this big tree branch. Uh, yep, definitely. That's where we're going. Uh, jump over. Otherwise, you'll fall and you'll just have to come back up here. Keep going around. Drop down. Take the next right. And follow it all the way around. All the way around. Get rid of the withering. And then, ta-da! Get rid of more witherings. And then, ta-da! We have our next story power-up ting. Hooray! So again, it's going to be a case of you're going to have to do another puzzle. And then it's all golden, baby. A mosaic. I'll leave it to you. Hmm. How could I fit the pieces together? There aren't that many pieces. How can I be so stuck? Fit the pieces together. What does this one show? It looks like another river. Eva has it. So this next power we've got then is called Dome or Dom. The hum. Uh, this is basically the one that on top of the gate will slow down time. So if you want to change your power up, you'll hold the right bumper and then just press left up or down on the D pad, whichever one it is. Um, but what you've got to do is press left trigger again, right bumper just once. Uh, but you actually have to move away from the gate. So you need to move away from the gate until the um, gate is basically effectively uh, gone. So, as you can see, this is a way of how not to do the DOM power. Um, so, you need to move away until the branches move away, and then use the DOM power. That it will slow down time, allowing you to get through. So, and you think I would be... You think, oh, well, he's just showing us on purpose. No, I was actually being incredibly stupid at this point. And then I finally managed to get it. So, there we go. So, another cutscene and some dialogue. Uh -huh. <laughs> hmm. So once you've spoken to Neymar Jr. again and see how his football career is going, he's making millions while being injured constantly. I'd do that. I think we all do that, wouldn't we? 
Uh, we're going to go and get back into the Batar. And we're going to head towards the bot. But we're actually going to go back on the jump pad. The same one that we did earlier. Oh, in fact, no, it's not the same one we done earlier. Um, sorry, but we're going to jump up. We're going to take a right then. Tongue lash this for another use of the Batar's co-op ability. And then just jump back down. Uh, we don't actually need that for anything there at the top. The the, the new path or whatever it is. Uh, it is literally just for the co-op ability. So if we just take a little look now with the Batar. Um, we need two more. Two more uses of the co-op ability. And obviously the cure and the infection and the saving will be done in time. So use Dom again on this gate here and go inside. You know, just before you get closed off again. And then inside is the next Antares statue. There we go, then. That would have been the second Antares statue. So let's get out um, by using the actual Dom again. And away we go. Slicey and nicey. Well, being extra slicey. Uh, so get your flute and dootin' out. And we're going to grab a few of these creatures now. So you should have two. If you just come out in the same area, you should have one Hismit and two Frogs. So we're just going around. We don't need tank. We have been in this area before. This is the wind chime area. So just keep going around. We're basically going to start heading them towards the bots. Here is the next Hismit and the Batter. And I think that's it for the area. I do believe that's it for the area. We'll take a little check. See now, won't we? Teleport the creatures. No, there is one more Hismit. Where are your sneaky Bagger guy. Get back here. Oh, there you are. Come with me, my friend. Come with me. 20% off just for you now, bloody bastard guy. Sorry, I, I shouldn't do accents. I'm dreadful at them. Hey, wake up. Right, so now we are finally done with this area then. Uh, you can see we've done the Hismits, co-op ability, etc. But we are just going to go back to the Aleph Prime's jungle base now. So get your fast traveling boots on. So first things first then, what we're going to do is head back into the village. Uh, we're actually going to go and grab the next Antares statue, the third out of fourth one. So just head into the village for the time being. Now, as we're heading towards Bowtie, we're not actually going to Bowtie. He's on the right. We're going to go to the left of this tiny little building area. And we are going to use Dom again. Dome, Dom. I'm just going to call it Dom. You're going to go inside. We're going to get up the stairs again, collecting any plants that we're going to be doing on the way. Um, and the statue, if we just grab another couple of plants, the statue is... Uh, we need to go up onto the uh, branch, which is to the left of us right now, and then jump our way over. So there you go. Turn your camera around. Head up on the big branch. The big bra branch. There we go. Oh, we don't have to jump over, but the uh, next statue is right here anyway. What am I thinking about jumping over? <laughs> Okay, once we've done that, we are now going to tame those shappers that we took a picture of earlier, which was just behind Motive. That's why I keep calling him Bowtie, by the way. It's probably Boaty, but uh, I keep calling him Bowtie because it sounds like Chief Wiggum when he says, now we need to look at the Motive. And that's just funny to me. As we know, I do, I do peculiarly like the uh, Simpsons now and again. So let's drop down into the water then, and now we can... These are the ones that are behind Boaty Bowtie. And what was it? It's... G no, it's not one like GF, is it? It's... Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. 
So I, again, butchered that to complete hell and back and uh, seemed to work fine, just fine. Right, so um, from here, we're going to stick with the sort of right-hand side of the path. Um, we are going to open up a bot and we're going to get a Shapur going. Going to use another one of its abilities. So head all the way around the right side of this path again. And we're just going to open up the path here with these uh, with its supersonic scream. And we're going to continue heading down the lake because there is another one that we can use. And there's also a third one right next to it as well. So again, that's three of the co-op abilities for the Shapurs that we have done. Uh, bring these shappers with you. Uh, make sure that none of them have got stuck like that one. What are you doing back here, stupid guy? Oh, you got caught in the the teeth thing. Again, if that happens, just connect with one and then sort of jump him out. Oh, you two don't get stuck now. Oh, god damn it! Oh no, they're good. Okay, I thought I thought I had to uh, thought I had to kick some ass right there, but no. We good, we good. Right, bring the shoppers with you. As I said, you can see the bot symbol in the distance. Uh, you may have to tame this one. Yes, you do need to tame this one. So, F, G, A, B, C. Lovely and easy. Cheesy does it. Do a nice spin for dancing purposes. And then just get rid of all these five shappers right here. This should be it. And the bot should be good. And that's another couple of skill points in your collection. -y. So after grabbing a few flowers here, we're going to head back into the village. We're actually going to go back. I mean, we're already in the village, but we're going to go back towards the cave. So slightly right from where we were. And you can see the sort of drawing paintings on the wall. So we can drop down, grab a couple of flowers on the way, and go and speak to the shaman once again. Or the chaperone. No, what is he? Uh, this guy. Furious. <laughs> Furious or f just Fusro Da for short. Uh, so since Fusro Da will not sh uh, s <laughs> speak to us, we are going to head... Back up to the village, back up all the way to the chief. So climb up here on the rocks, up the ladder in front of us, and go and talk to chief, uh, what's his face? Spank in your hairy, Mr. Volo. Right, so after a nice spin, making sure we're all nice and nimble, go into your map, and we're actually going to just fast travel back to the Aleph's Prime Jungle Base. Because in this area, or right underneath, basically where we start, there is a slow-mo door that we can now finally get through with the DOM ability. Or DOM. DOM. <coughs> so there is, so straight underneath the stairs, Right bumper it, there we go, straight through, lovely job. Come on, yeah, I wonder what I was doing then. Uh, so we'll go down the ladder, again you can uh, press the left bumper to go down faster. Drop down, drop down, drop down, drop down, drop down. I mean there is only one way to go so you can't really do anything else. Activate the zip line before going anywhere else. That'll help for getting back up, obviously. And now we're into the deeper depths of the jungle. So head left into this door. We've already got the key. Uh, we'll again just go ahead and skippy skip the cut scene. And we've got a couple of things to grab. The first one here is a memo from Dr. Dr. Sayers, Dr. Sayers. Dr. Sayers, Dr. Sayers. So there's that one on the left. And then we've got to take a couple of pictures as well. The first one is this whiteboard on the opposite side of the room. And then from here, just turn the camera around and take a picture of the bed. Well, it's not a bed, is it? It's like a lying down torture session. Depends on the torture, but uh, yeah. Anyway, outside, take a picture of the cage as well. And that should be more than enough. 
There we go. So we're already done. But of course, we've got a lot more to do than just go back to tab tabs. First things first, heading down the steps. And there are a couple of infections to get rid of. Not the, not the batar on the left. Although there is some plants. So we are going to go ahead and get the plants. As it turns out, no, we're not. Uh, but we are going to uh, untame this batar first. You know, if I can actually do it. Transportation order. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, bioluminescent root. Research subject escape. You know, Vic, these Yakembo, all the research says they live for a long time. Peony might still be alive? I'll mark the area. She was last seen on your map. On my way. So after what seemed like an eternity, we finally got the Bata to follow us. Um, now we are going to need to get rid of the withering, so we'll go and do that. Does it actually do anything? I don't don't know if it... I mean, it must have done something. Uh, we also need to get rid of the infections here, so we'll whip it out, boys. Okay, so the reason we bought the Batar here along for a ride, we're going to enter it into a hole. Oh, the Zard, sorry. Uh, we're not going the Batar, sorry, we're doing the Zard. So put the Zard in the hole, just where we fought the two dudes. Go straight over the branch path of life and into the next hole. Yep, because we can't actually jump down. And then we'll be able to slice this one off, claw lunge it down. And there we go, that's job done. And, oh, there we are. So, hello, everyone. I just went on a crazy adventure. Okay, so, from the Zard, then, we will transfer our loins into the batter. And we are going to find a jump pad or a tongue lash. Which way are we go in? So, we're heading... Uh, oh, sorry about this. Oh, there we go. Right, so, we're going into where we just got the bridge open with the Zar, Zard, then we can tongue lash our way through, and then that should be that. Sorry, I don't know why I got super confused there. Uh, that was weird. Anyway, now that makes us be able to go through. So we're going to get rid of the withering here as well. Excuse me, sir. Get the hell out of the way. Oh, yeah, and grab the permanent upgrade here as well. Another health kit. Hooray. Okay, so from here then, there is another batter, so we're going to go further in. And we can't actually activate the zip line. we're going to need to do that from the other side. Grab a couple of plants where we can up here, and then we're going to start nipping down. But there is, of course, like I said, a batter that is infected. So we're going to need to unfect it. Huh? Infected? Unfected? Ah, they should have just gone with that, shouldn't they? Um, so you can actually shoot the beams through the walls. So if it goes underneath you like that, you can actually just keep pressing the X button. Although the, the health bar will disappear, it will still be shooting beams at it. So that's just a little bit of advice which you can probably use, which I probably should have told you more than four hours ago. Um, but anyway, here we are. We'll get rid of the Batar's infection. That's all good. Now, there's a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a trick that we've got to do in a minute. Uh, we can activate the zip line first. Grab a couple of plants and everything. Get rid of the withering, of course, as well. So go and get rid of that. And then, of course, we can go uh, get into the batter. Tongue lash it. Go, let's get some... Let's get some... Yeah, that was the sound of a tongue lash. And we can go in and get the next permanent upgrade. Hooray. Stamina? Could always do with stamina. As a 30-plus year old, stamina's hard to come by these days. Uh, and that's it for anyone about to hit their 30s. Uh, everything's going to start hurting and his stamina's going to go down. Yes, we are the new 50-year-olds. Anyway, jump up onto this pad and sort of go a little bit in through the door. Now, you have to be quick with this bit. 
As soon as we're in through the sort of underneath the archway and a little bit beyond, quickly disconnect and then quickly zip up. And then quickly use your flute before the batter goes back down. So, yeah, just make sure that he's sort of in this area and then get your way up and then flute and dooting him. And then we're all good to go. Everyone's happy. Um, okay, now I've got to find the rest of the rest of the crew. Oh, where the hell did you guys go? There's one. <laughs> ah, there we go. Rescuing creatures once at a time. Lisa Simpson would be very proud. Right, so head down and to, off to the right of where we were. And you can see a cave now that we can go into. This is where we're going to get the final new plant of the area called the Marsh of Shine. Or the Marsh of Shine if you're in Britain. Or if you're in like some of the deep parts of America, y'all, Marsh y'all of Shine y'all. Uh, I don't know, everyone likes to say y'all a lot. Anyway, right here is the newest plant, the final newest plant, the Arnhem. The seeds, again, small screen, 4.40 in the morning, feeling a bit, uh, yeah. Anyway, here is the newest animal as well. We do have big, chunky Yakembo. And this, boy, he is a Yakembo. So we can take a picture, we can tame him, and we can pet him as well. Of course, don't forget to be doing those. And we're just going to go ahead, check the numbers here on the Avapedia. I don't think I've done it for a little bit. 77% uh, of the Hizmet. So that we've got one more co-op ability for the Zard to use. The Shapo, we just got to cure the infections now on six more. Uh, the Hizmet, what are we going to do? Another couple of infections and rescue the species. Getting closer to that, though. And the Bata, same thing. Cure the Bata infections. And again, we've only got two left. And, wow, look at all that Yakembo stuff we got to do. Oh, man. It's like a never-ending fun fest of fun, isn't it? Right, so, let us get into the Yakembo now with the, uh, <laughs> the seemingly looking wart on his back. Don't know if that's still an infection or what. Anyway, as we go, we can see this big block here on the left. We're going to push this. All you're going to do is basically press the Y button once rather than charge at it. And it'll automatically keep going until the block can no longer be pushed. And then turn around from that block. Head to the left. And you can obviously see this big blue wall that we're going to smash down. So press the X button close to it. Ram it down. Again, that's two of its co-op... Uh, no, that's the first one of its co-op abilities. Because the push doesn't count. Ram this big blue pillar out of the way as well. Yeah, boink. It's just... It's just such a little, such a cute little boink. Uh, so do the next one here as well. Ram that one. And then straight in front of us is a, another pillar. So that's the fourth co-op ability already used for the Yakembo. Boink. It falls so graciously, does it not? All right, there we go. So uh, get out of this. Uh, disconnect. And we are going to head for that first block that the Yakembo pushed. In fact, no, we're going straight past that block. Sorry, that's my bad. We're getting a bit of a head of ourselves because there is an infected Yakembo that we need to take a picture of. So straight in front of us, there we go. Take a picture of the infected Yakembo. And we are going to apparently use the... <laughs> I'm going to tame these Yakembos at Shappers. And it's CCGCCCG. CCG, CCCG, CCG, CCCG, right, get this boy out of it.
Now, he's part of the story, and we are now... In fact, we've been on this planet so long, we've lost our mind. It was stroking thin air. Um, oh, no, we're good. We're good now. She snapped out of it. Right, go back on yourself. Uh, again, grabbing these um, Mikel Arteta seeds as we go past. And what we're looking for now is that block. Not that one. The one that the, we pushed with the year Campbell first of all. It's just to the right of us. It's going to be on the right of us. How did that thing go? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Uh, looking forward to getting my ass out of the jungle, in all fairness. Um, okay, so for now, we're just going to continue inland. We're just going to continue heading forward and forward. Oh no, there it is. Sorry, no, I was going the wrong way. That's why I was being stupid. Uh, there are some of those plants about for the Shapper's ability, if you still need some, but we should have uh, done that uh, a while ago now, so you shouldn't need that. Yep, sorry, I was just going the wrong way, like an absolute noob bag. So we're going to head down the steps, because the generator is actually down here. Grab another pubix ear, and turn on the generator, and this is another fast travel point, which comes in handy, because we're going to be popping back and forth here quite often, shall we say. <laughs> yes, rather. Okay, so grab the tablet there from the desk of Mr. Michel Dupont, and then head underneath. And grabbing just another couple of Arteta seeds and a strong healing brew as well. Again, always comes in handy. Do them healing brews. Especially if you keep pressing the wrong button like I keep doing. Oh, are we going to have a little look in the inventory? Nah, nah. Don't need that, no. Right, let's just head back down. And we're going to go straight in front of us. Grabbing the Arteta Seeds and straight in front of us where we got the uh, smashed open the walls with the Yakembo. Again, another couple of seeds as always in this area. Just grabbing as many as we can for crafting purposes later on. And then climbing up the, the platform. And then we have some more. Uh, we're going to have to dom it up first of all. Ah, oh, son of a monkey. God damn it. Oh, that kind of works too. Oh, just about works as well. Right, here's the next permanent upgrade anyway. The next stamina kit. Go ahead and clear the withering. Obviously, I mean, obviously that's an obvious part of our job, what we've been doing for the last four and a bit hours. That opens up the bot way, and then we've got another two infected Yakembos. Again, if you, uh, make sure to take an infected photo if you haven't already. Uh oh and for some reason I was thinking that they weren't infected I was just trying to play a flute to angry pissed off things and that would basically be a viral video these days on TikTok and all Right, so once these happy boys are done, you can uh, lift them over. You can't lift them over, no, but you can flute them over. And we're just going to send these two straight into the teleportation device. Teleportation. Uh, you know what I mean. And with those two done, we are going to head out into the left. No. To the... No. So where the bot was, sorry, we're going effectively straight. Sorry, it's a very vast quite large area this one and in the background what we were looking for then are these uh, other infections to get rid of the shapper and another yakembo oh come on 
on. I want to help you. And once again, get your Das Flute and Dooten out, and we are going to lead them back to the bot and teleport and tele tele teleport those away. Well, my English is right on point this morning. Okay, so once we have gotten rid of these from here, we're going to go straight ahead of us. We're going to be getting the, uh, uh, we'll take a right because what we're looking for is the final, uh, the two Yakembos and two Shappers that we've already disinfected and gotten rid of. Now, the Albino one, or Albino one, whatever you want to call it, I think it's Albino. Yeah, we'll just get, yeah, Albino one anyway. Uh, that one's part of the story. You can't actually teleport him away. So we're just looking for the two Yakembos and the two Shappers, of which we've got, and then we'll head back towards the bot. Get rid of those. You see, you see, that's a son of a... Get the hell out of here, Pinny! You small Pinny Bushberg. Right, so apparently what you got to do is get the creatures you want to get in here. And you actually need them inside the circle. Ah, oh, God damn it, Pinny! Ah, oh, now I'm petting the dude. Ah, oh, son of a... Anyway, get rid of these two shappers and then bagger this guy off. Although he is nice and pettable. Since you got the flute, otherwise he'd try and kill you, of course. Alright, so we finally got rid of those then. So, heading back out to the right. Um, I'll stop playing the flute in a second. There we go. Right, so we're looking for another couple of chapeurs. And they are... Um, effective. Let's just take a look at the map. But they're more or less sort of north on the map. Um, oh, I'm a look at the Yakembo as well. So we're almost done actually with the Yakembo for the 100%. Um, so that's where we are on the map right now. We need to go. Um, where are they? Where are they, the Shepherds? So past this block, which we haven't done yet. Oh, there they are. Right in front of us. So quite close to that um, block, which we hadn't got rid of yet. Just get rid of the infections on the shoppers. Calm down. Calm down. And again, I do apologize about the sort of uh, weird lack of direction. Especially in this big, huge area, it can be sort of easy to, to sort of forget your bearings sometimes. Uh, but anyway... Again, if you need to use the supersonic ability from the Shappers, again, you shouldn't need to, you should all be done by now. But um, if not, bring him into the teleportation device. Pity? Will you pin off? No, we got, alright, we got, okay, we're good with that one. Right, so from there then, take a sort of sticking with the right hand side path. We are, uh, in fact, what I'm doing is actually, I was trying to lure uh, pin bags over here. So we can stay out of our way. But that's not going to work because he'll just go back to his uh, uh, his starting position anyway. Uh, so anyway, after grabbing the couple of our Teta Seeds. 
We are heading back towards where the bot is, and we're just gonna run. Uh, what do we need? Oh, we need another two. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, well, let's take a little gander at where we are right now. So there's Penny. He's back in his standard position. I do uh, again. My bad. My bad. Here, I did. I thought we got all of them. And we're at the back. Oh, there we go. So we're just at the sort of back of the area. Uh, two infections. Get rid of these two and get them in the bots. Do you all always know when you've 100%ed something or whatever? Because in the top left-hand corner, it will come up with new trinket available. So you'll know when you've done something specific. Uh, so let's just take a look here now. So that should be the Shapper now on 100%. Uh, Yakembo, we just need to use another co-op ability. And we've still got to do a few infections. So we will. Um, that'll be done so soon because we're going to come up to another part, even deeper into the cave now is what we're going to be heading towards. So on, so you can see where we're heading towards the waypoint right now. Uh, what we need to do from where we are standing, take a right, because you'll be able to see a bit of withering that needs to be unwithered. So it's not in this area. So I'm still being a bit, uh, a bit silly right here. So again, what we'll do, is we're going to turn, I'm going to turn around in just a second. And I'm going to take a look at the, you see how far gone, to gone up down? Right, so there's the, tele, the teleportation device. And then, just, if we go just past to the right of it, we can see the withering, what we need to get rid of. There it is, directly in front of us. So all we had to do, like I said earlier, was just take a direct right. You'd see the withering, and that is where we needed to go. So, again, my bad that I went quite far down the wrong way. I'm steering you guys wrong all, all in this section, aren't I? Damn it. Okay, so again, there's a whole bunch of infections that we need to get rid of here. So, there's three on the right, three on the left, and three in the back. So, let's have it.
And the fight has been won by me. By us. So there we go. That should be all nine done. Uh, grab, just grab another couple of our tetra seeds. Right. First things first. What we're going to do. We're going to uh, bring these animals to this little part of the building. We're going to um, connect with the batter. I'm going to stop saying get inside of the batter. Because that's... Uh, yeah, it probably sounds a bit weird. Uh, tongue bash your way into the bridge. And then we can just head back down. And you can hear that there is a wind chime in the area, probably. You can hear that. So that's what we're going to be grabbing in a minute as well. But we're going to get the Yakembo with the big fat wart on his back. We are going to push the one block. One block, two block, three block, four. And then from here, we will head now up the steps. And push the next block. And doing so will give us the path in order to ram the blue wall. Ram the blue wall of life. And there is a permanent upgrade here as well. So that's why we're doing that. So there's wind chime and a permanent upgrade too. So head back down the steps then as the Ikembo back into his little starting area. And let's go ahead and grab those two a uh, couple of things then. So back up the steps. And of course, uh, have a look up to your top left. Take a picture. And that's the next wind chime done. I haven't photographed one of those for a little bit, so that's that's nice. Gets my collection nice and wind chimey. So that'll be five out of ten that we should be on now. Or six out of ten if you've done the one earlier, which I missed, of course. And if you're wondering why uh, that was so, uh, going on for so long, it's actually because I realized that I missed it at that point. So uh, head into the back room, pick up the permanent upgrade here as well, the next backpack pocket. And we just need to collect one more of those and then get rid of the withering, which will be a bot for us. So there's only one thing left to do now. Get all the animals and get them gone. Rescue the boys. Let's get that 100% things going, man. Mates, that's looking good and fine and dandy. Right, so we're going to go to the map now. Again, have a look at the collectibles. Make sure you're on the same numbers as I am. You should be, plus one more for the wind chimes. But we're going to head to the Roots Temporary Station now, which uh, is basically directly down or directly south from the uh, wherever the hell we are, the Marsh of Shrine, Shrine of Marsh. Right, so here we are then at the Roots Temporary Station. Head down, and uh, you've already been tamed, right? Yes, you have already been tamed. So we're going to leave him, but you can see this fork in the path. For now, we're going to take the left path and go up. And that, again, was straight from the fast travel point. And get rid of this infection of the Zard. There we go, nice and easy. And now we're going to use him. Oh, bit of a bit of a... Oh. Bit of a delay right there. No, we're not going to use him. We just, we'll leave him there for now. Grab another pubic. Little pubic ear right there. And continue on your path. Use your dome ability. Dome ability. Dome ability. And get through here for another couple of infected fights.
Okay, that everyone? Apart from you. Right, there we go. And obviously you can see the next sensor meditation spot immediately there. So let's go and do that. Sometimes to stop and look around you. Okay, so let's go and grab another couple of plants. And we're going to go around this area. There's a waterfall in the back with a couple of those New Zealander hazmats. Or, you know, how they say his meats. And there they are. FGBC. Top karaoke voice right there. So once you've got the two shap uh, two shappers and the two um his mitts again you're gonna need to, so you're gonna have to do this kind of quickly actually so you've got to make sure that they're all following you and we need to get through quick um but obviously if you try and do it um a lot better than I could that would probably help your case so as soon as you can dom it up press the flute get them all in this should have enough time there for all four to fit in. There we go. That's job done. And we'll go and grab the next one, which should be on our way. Oh, I thought there was one that wanted uh, a bit of taming right there, but it doesn't. Uh, so the next one should be on our way up. There it is. Hello, Mr. Zard. How do you do in the bard's tale? Ah, never mind. Thought I was going for a rhyme right there. So again, just make sure they're all following you. They can they can easily get stuck, which is not a pain in the ass at all. And there's the next one, of course, as well, which should follow you. And then you can put them all up onto this bot. And we're back into the uh, close to the area, because uh, there's another couple of hismits as well. Grab those. Where we first laid eyes on the batter. And hopefully everyone has followed you. And that should be all of the creatures done and the bots getting out of here. Yes, in Didi McGreedy McTominay, who now plays for Napoli instead of Manchester United, who suck as a football team. Okay, so anyway, just drop down and go back the way that you came. And you can see again, you can see the path, um, the fork in the path, the one that we took earlier when we went to the left. We're going to go down to the right, of course, this time. We've done everything up in the left, and some more infections to get rid of. got a new trinket available which to me seems like if you check your avipedia you should now be on 100% on the hismits but have a double check um I, I will be checking in a second anyway so don't worry but we've got rid of the withering uh, we're going to get into the zard or connect with the zard as one with the animals going over the little branch path of course oh come on dude what the heck Come on, what the hell are you going so slowly for? Not that I'm trying to be the boss of the animals, of course. Because we are at one with the earth, as it were. Right, get the claw lunge onto the bridge. Um, so, of course, we can, oh, we can get some animals in. Let's get them all saved. Oh, there is another claw lunge bridge that we can use, though. But this should actually be it now for the Zard. Um, we, uh, especially with its co-op abilities. So that's why you'll get a new trinket available. We only needed one more. So that should now be done. So let's check the Avapedia there. So yes, the Hizmit's on 100%. The Zard, the Shapper's on 100%. The Batar is on 100%. So the only one we've got left to do now is the Yakembo. And all we've got to do is rescue one more species. And then that's... Again, that doesn't include the Terabar because we'll be doing him... A lot later on in the game. Or it, sorry. Could be a her. 
Could be him. Who knows? Either way, it's bloody angry, mate. Right, so we are going to effectively follow up the path. We're going up the path to where the bot is. And we're going to just go past that and straight up. And we are going to... Can we activate the zip line from here? I believe we can. So that is why we are going to do that. And we're going to follow the br uh, branch path on the right here. And you can probably hear a wind chime. It's up on the tree, up onto the left. So get your camera out and take a picture of that. Aha! I gotcha! Right, so if you just have a little look at the collectible numbers, you should be on 6 out of 7, 3 out of 4, 2 out of 4, and 6, potentially 7 out of 10 for the wind chimes. Again, just going back to the one that I told you to do that I missed earlier. So heading up, and we've got another statue to grab as well, so you can add another one to those statu that statue list. So that'll be statue four out of four. And now we're going to go for the last permanent upgrade as well. So heading down, almost fell to my death right there. Heading down back onto the branchy log. This time we are going to take a... So basically we're back to the bot area to the right, just underneath this arch branch. And there is the last permanent upgrade, the next health kit, and we get some more health. Hoorah! All right, so that was nice. Getting a nice couple of collectibles uh, in a row. Uh, you can, again, we can have a look at the skill points if you want. I'm not going to spend any skill points just yet. Uh, but if you do want to get the uh, beam one, you can do that. Or if you can sort of get whichever one you want. Again, if you go for skill points, make sure to put them into sort of um, attacking upgrades, as it were. Now, what I tried it. Now, we need to just find another couple of infections or just drop down. Again, no ankle injuries because we's queen in this game. Uh, so we're just heading away from the waypoint in this area. They're going to be at the sort of back of this area. There's a couple that we've already done. And just underneath these lights right here. There we go. There they are. Next to the withering. So that was nice and easy once you've uh, gotten rid of that infection. Whack out this withering. And what does it see? There's a hole in the flea. Uh, the floor. Uh, right, okay, that'll do. Now, again, this is another slightly confusing area. Uh, but what we need to do is get rid of this infection here at the top of this platform. Should be easy enough to do. Ah, oh, bruv, <laughs> you tried. And you failed miserably to blind me. So, get in the Zard. Connect with the Zard. Um, lunge, claw, claw lunge, sorry, your way to the bridge. So, that will open up lovely. And again, this is only a little bit more confusing because you're going to have to do some climbing and get rid of things to, to get to the bot. Yeah, it's a bit more of a pain in the butt bags. But the Zard should be behind us. The ones that we just... Uh, uninfected so we can get rid of that and now from here what are we gonna do well we're gonna have to take a left and go underneath the tree archway or go back the way we came or we can go to the right uh, that's what we're trying to do that little hole that little gap that we just went through right there um it's gonna be where's the rest of those his mitts and stuff ah see no i didn't actually mean to do that Sorry, I didn't mean to drop down. Uh, so we're going to have to go the long way around. If there is such a long way. Or I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just either go around or you can actually just get rid of the Zard now. Again, remember that you've got 100% on everything except the Yakembo. So you don't have to worry too much now. So we'll go and get rid of that. Plus the Hizmet and the Shapa that we just picked up. And then we're going to go and get the Hizmet, the final couple in this area. Uh, yeah, sorry. I, I I am sorry. I'm bad. I'm a bad video game guy, dude. Only on this part, anyway. Come on, where are you, Senevas? Well, they are going to be down here. All right. All right. 
All right, here we go. So continuing on forward, we can already see them in the distance. No, we can't see them in the distance. We got, we're about to see them in the distance. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't actually see them in the distance. We did see them. All right, so once you've picked them up from the bottom of the um, rivery area, we can now head all the way up to the bot. And that should be that. Thank God. And finally, we're about to end the confusion by going and fast traveling to the Aleph Prime's jungle base. And we're going to head into the village to speak to um, Fusro Da, the shaman, once again. So again, remember, it is just uh, basically keep going straight, taking a right down, and then here we are. This should now be quite familiar to you. And what he'll see is his little peeny, peeny, peeny dude is back, and Fusrodar will now be happy. So yeah, we rescued his, we rescued your friggin' Yakembo while you sand your ass, man. We know what you must think of us, human. We hide in our caves. <laughs> you know, come in. I've spoken to the Master Shaman. Fusor? And? Let's talk. Where are you? A temple to the east. Right, we've got a new quest called Neymar's Plan. Eee! Come here, let me jump on you. I rescued you, so you are now my property. I get to jump on you. No, I shouldn't, I shouldn't talk like that. Nobody is nobody's property. Property is not even a word. It's one of those words that just, anyway, shut up, let's carry on with the game. Right, now again, while we're here, we are going to go and get that wind chime now that I missed a little bit earlier on. So, from the cave, again, this is only if you're following along, from the cave you can see the right, the drawings on the next wall, so we'll jump over, there we go, slightly to the right, and the next wind chime was in this part of the gap, so let's go ahead and photograph this, and now we should all be at one with the same numbers, at one with the earth, and all of the same numbers. Uh, we don't need to keep going forward, we're going to head back now. Alright, so where we're actually going to go next, we're going to go back and we're going to go up the bunch of ladders and speak to Chief Voorhees once again. Jason Voorhees, yes, he's back. I can't believe I didn't make that connection and joke until just now. But anyway, that's where we're going, we're just going to speak to the Chief. Voorhees, see who he's been slicing and dicing. Right, so he's given us a secondary quest there called the uh, Flowers of Ava. Now, the three flowers that he's specifically talking about are in the Marsh of Shrine. If we just check the creatures here, we've still got to do one Yakembo, uh, um, rescue one creature. So press the Y button to go into your quest, get the Colors of Ava quest map open, and then we will fast travel to... The Marsh of the Shrine, the Shine. Right, from here, what we're going to do is take an immediate left. And then immediate, uh, another immediate left again. And again, just grabbing some more Arteta seeds on the way. 
and just heading through heading through and we're back into this big area where we uh, got rid of the nine disinfected uh, creatures there was the yellow flower anyway right in front of us over to the right is where we're going to find the next flower the blue flower or the pink flower and then the last blue flower is in the back of this area so we'll just nip through all these bush bushes Heading through, picking up some more Arteta seeds. Now, these Arteta seeds, they, they're they very angry, uh, which can be mistaken for passion. And here is the last flower anyway of what Chief Voorhees means. And these Arteta seeds also like to come out of their technical area a lot as well. And they don't get a touchline ban. Definitely not talking about an Arsenal football club manager. No, we're talking about Arteta seeds in the game. Anyway, let's head back to the Roots Temporary Station. Um, we're going to put Neymar's plan back on the main quest. And then we're going to head to, yes, the Roots Temporary Station. But uh, And we'll we'll follow uh, Voorhees' secondary quest in a bit. We've got the flowers, what we need. So from there, take a right, an immediate right from the um, portal. And right again. And we are going to speak to Neymar for the first time in a while. What have you done, bruv? You ain't done a lot, have you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're telling me, bruh. All right, so we're going to have to now, after I keep uh, pressing the wrong button, that's why I've got no healing items left, uh, now we need to go back to the Marsh of Shine. So, again, this is what I mean. This is the sort of back and forth that we're doing. And then from here, we're just going to jump straight down and continue on forward. We're going to go to a new area of the Marsh of Shine, which we haven't been to yet. And it's the one where I went the wrong way earlier. Um, but anyway, you don't need to remember that. That's fine. Get rid of that withering. Some more plants. Um, over to the left-hand side, we've got a new sensor as well. So we'll get rid of this withering. And right here is our next meditation sensory spot. Ah, I can feel the calm of this place. Okay, nice. That should be three out of four complete. Um, again, if you want to, if you're sort of having running out of room and everything, of course, uh, whack some of the plants. Make sure to keep the plants that you have collected from this area in your inventory. Because remember, we need to do the secondary quest for um, Isha in uh, in the grasslands. Um, so what I'm doing is completely wrong right now. And later on, I'm going to have to go and have a look at which, <laughs> which plants are which just to be able to get that secondary quest a little bit more completed but anyway uh, so i done it the stupid way that's why i hopefully i've told you a couple of times so you've done it the correct way or the less stupid way uh, but heading over to the other side we're gonna need to hold the right bumper because we don't have the ability on us now so we need to hold the right bumper and then press the x button or left on the d-pad i forget which one uh, no it's the x button in order to get your ushun levitation power up then press the right bumper and then hit the withering. Hopefully I've done it just in time, which I didn't. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we've done it correctly eventually. And so, yeah, let's have a little look through the gap. Um, we're going to have to dom it up. And, oh, what do we have right? Mia, a smell of eater. Climb it. Wow, it's new Uria. Right, okay. Uh, get your uh, get your powers out with her again. Um, I have just gone back with the levitation power, but there is a wind chime that eventually behind us will get rid. That's the withering that we just got rid of. Uncovers the wind chime. Take a picture of it. And then go 
back on yourself. That should actually be wind chime eight out of 10. So we've got two more wind chimes and one more sensor left to grab. Right, so from here then, get your levitation power back out because we're gonna need to use it on the platform and then jump across. And then for this bit, what we're gonna need to do, we're gonna need to use our dome ability first and then quickly swap it to the uh, Ushan and then quickly jump across. Now, I didn't actually do it right there, so we'll try that again. So you gotta wait until it goes gold, of course. There it is. Now quickly press, hold the right bumper, press X, then right bumper, jump across, and then hopefully you should have enough time. If you don't have enough time, you can actually upgrade your dome ability, and it gives you a little bit more time to, um, uh, the slow-mo gets even slower, as it were. Right, so collecting plants as we continue heading down. There is another wind chime in this area as we have now reached the parent tree gate. More importantly though, on the left here, where you've seen me just jump onto the left, get your camera out and you can see a little tiny dinosaur. Take a picture of that dinosaur and when you discard it or save it, whatever you want to do, it should pop away like that. Now that is one out of three little tiny dinosaurs that we've got to find in order for the Easter egg achievement a lot later on. So that's the first one done, and it was on the left of where we came down the steps. And there is a wind chime here. If you get your camera out, when you're going down the elevator, you can take a picture of it, or you can wait until the elevator stops, and you can go ahead and just take a picture there. That is fine. But in those in those instances, that's a wind chime in the little dinosaur for the Easter egg achievement that we should have snapped. And then we can just get rid of the withering, and stuff goes. It all goes. Okay, so from Neymar Jr., we take a left into this new area with the uh, new location is going to be discovered called the Parent Gate, or Parent Tree, sorry, not the gate, the Parent Tree. And as we collect some more Michaela Teta seeds and some cotton buds, some dot cottons, there are another couple of infections, infectious animals to queue up. Now, actually, the reason that you've seen an edit is because I accidentally get the overcharge achievement. And getting the overcharge achievement, what you need to do is basically, well, the overcharge is when you hit the X button. So you'll need to use the overcharge button on um, on an enemy like the Yakembo or, again, one a little bit later on which has even more health. Uh, but you need to hold the overcharge button continuously for five seconds without being disturbed. Um, and again, I get that accidentally in a bit, but there are another couple of points I'll show you later on in the game where you can get the achievement. Um, but for now, once you've cleared those infections, there are another couple. In fact, I think it is this one that I ended up doing on. So I actually continue to hold the... Um, X button here for about, yeah. So you gotta hold the X button continuously for five seconds. Yeah, it doesn't work with just the regular beam, as you see me doing here. Oh, come on. Ah, sir, you, I'm trying to get this. Okay, but you actually have to be taken off the health as well. So, uh, okay, well, it's, it's obviously not gonna work, is it? It's obviously not going to work if you get attacked, so we'll try again here with the Yakembo. So, you need to um, get rid of the yellow bar with the uh, kibble or whatever the hell it's called, and then just hold the X button continuously for five seconds, and then hopefully, without being attacked or without the beam getting um, uncharged. In fact, I don't do it in this, in this bit, it's probably... The next infections that I'm doing it. 
I definitely am going to get it in this area. Anyway, tame the Hizmits, tame the Batars. if we come up to this little part of this hill um, you're gonna have to do uh, some more taming and then we are going to look for a Zard because a Zard is going to this Zard this very specific this very same Zard is going to sort us out and remember we we're doing this because we need to rescue one more Yakembo species and there's not a lot of Yakembo in this uh, set, uh, in the jungle so Get the Zard, go up the branch path, and you are going to claw lunge your way onto this bridge, where you can just uh, get rid of those two. If you needed another co-op ability, you could have done one at a time, but you should have um, already got that, of course. So once that is done, again, if we just take a little look, it is 100% on everything except the Yakembo, where we just need to rescue this last one, and that'll be 100% of the creatures Done, bum. Thank you, mum. Okay, so once the bridge has been unbridged or debridged, as it were, there is a the final wind chime in this area. So we're going to go and grab that inside where the bot is. So if we just take a little cheeky look right here, you should have everything out except for one more sensor. So the collectibles finally for this area are nearly, nearly done and we're going to make sure to turn on the generator as well. Uh, it just comes up as another fast travel point. And make sure to grab the next tablet memo from the desk of Dr. Michel Dupont. Um, and again, remember, you need to be collecting and doing everything that you possibly can in terms of achievements because we cannot return to the jungle region once we have left it. There'll be no way back. Right, so grab the Yakembo, and we're going to get him going up the steps. Because uh, as you've seen, there was a block that we could push, and that block is what we're going to do. We're going to push that, and that's going to let us go into the next area in order to push the next block. In fact, we are going to get the last sensor in this area as well. Disconnect. Disconnect and head inside of where the, the building where the Yakembo is or was, maybe still is. Oh, yeah, there he is. He's good. Get rid of the withering. And, ooh, well, what goodies do we have the other side? Well, I guess it's nothing. Right, um, get back and connect with the Yakembo again because we can get inside and we're going to ram the way open. And, oh, look at that. Delicious. Delicious. There's two Yakembos. Did I do two Yakembos? Eh, anyway, there we go. I thought it was just one, but there's actually two, as it turns out. Right, so what we're going to do, we are going to climb up this bit of branch, and there is the final sensor. So get it, and that'll be every collectible done for the jungle region. I'll never forget this place. And again, everyone, let's give it a big oorah. We win. So that's all the collectibles. They should now be on everything. All sensors and upgrades and wind chimes and uh, statues. That should be all done. So let's crack on. Now we are going to use the levitation ability. And we'll try that one again. Okay, there we go. So give that a jump across and another quick jump across. And uh, continue on your way up the branch path. Get rid of the withering. Zzz, the withering. Zzz, since there are two of the withering. Zzz. And ooh, we're going inside the big dome ball. Oh, and apparently just dropping straight down. Get rid of the next withering. My fat ass thought they were donuts on the wall. Fair enough. They genuinely look like donuts. And oh, look at that. In the way, there is another bot. So, we're telling Neymar to come out here because, you know, it's what we do. 
And here he is, Neymar. And he keeps saying we as in we've done a lot of stuff. Bruv, I've done all the work. You've literally just followed me when I've gotten rid of everything mm -hmm. and gotten almost crushed and killed. So mm -hmm. shave that beard and bag her off. So again, after a nice little nimble spin and dance, what we're going to do now is actually get rid of all of the creatures in this area. So, yeah, thanks Tab, no worries. Not listening, because you've literally just stood there and done nothing as well, in all fairness. Although I suppose you do all that computery, sciencey stuff, so... Anyway, um, grab all the animals that you find and that you can see, and we're going to get them into the bot. The swamp critters are next on the agenda. You'll have to find some way to get there. Take your time. Oh, some more infections. This is where I'm going to get the overchained um, achievement. Literally just for holding the, the uh, X button for five seconds straight. And again, it is easier to do it with a Yakembo. Again, it, it kind of is luck based as well on whether they attack you or not. Um, but the easiest ones to do it with are the Yakembos. Um, but again, if you haven't got managed to get it in this area, don't worry because there are plenty of opportunities to get it. Um, in the next, in the next region. Um, but anyway, so that's how uh, you get the achievement anyway. So let's get these guys back and into the bot. I think my little dude's stuck somehow. Some oh no, god damn it, I'm stuck now. Oh no! What do we do? Again, if this does happen, um just go ahead, save the game, and then reload the same game, and then everyone should be back in their natural positions.
But yeah, somehow, don't know how the Hizmet got stuck, since the rocks were on the ground and the Hizmet is a flying, or what seems to be a, f uh, or a floating creature. But anyway, once you've saved it and you have reloaded that same save, the Hizmet will be back in its uh, normal position, and I, luckily, can jump out. Thank God. Because that would have just done my nut in to have reloaded an earlier save, wouldn't it now? <laughs> so, all you got to do then is just go and find the um, Hizmet and the Yakembo again. Which they should be. Where are they? They're in the back of this area, I think. <sighs> yeah, there you are. I see you. Right, so if we want to check everything now, you should be on 7 out of 7, 4 out of 4, 4 out of 4, and 10 out of 10 for all collectibles. Into the creatures and the Avapedia, you should be on 100% on everything except the Terra Bar, who was Terra Bali Frightening. Um, and if that's the case, then we can go back to the Roots Temporary Station. Hoorah! We have smashed art. Uh, right, so let's go down. Uh, now, you don't actually have to tame these. These animals will come back. So, it's literally a case of if you were somehow still missing something, the animals do return. And they return as infections, and they also return as you'd have to tame them again. But anyway, heading up to the right. So, again, that's if you have missed something. You don't have to tame them all again. Um, we, we're not doing anything in terms of rescuing or anything like that anymore. But once you get here, you can go ahead and speak to Neymar Jr. Again, just double checking everything because uh, we are about to end the jungle region. I think. Are we? No, we're not quite just yet. We're almost going to be um, ending it. But, you know, always worth triple checking to make sure you've got everything at 100%. Mm -hmm. In fact, we're not ending the region yet because, of course, we've still got to speak to Chief Vorlo Vorhees. So we're going to drop down to the right. Because um, we're already by the Aleph Prime jungle base anyway. So that's why we didn't fast travel there. But, of course, we need to get in this secondary quest for, again, the achievement later on as well for completing all secondary quests. And for getting some more skill points, so head into the village, up the ladders, and speak to the Voorhees man himself. It's actually funny, I just realised we've only just hit five out, over five hours. We're only at seven achievements deep. Anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to head down and we're going to go and speak to Fusro Da, the shaman in the cave. So just underneath all of this things, we're going to head down, give him a little speaking to. Just like magic, a new door opens just behind Pini. So go behind Pini into the new now unlocked door, and it is the root cave. It's a new location. So again, this is for another achievement later on. So make your way down nice and carefully. 
No rush. Don't be rushing because you'll be breaking your legs. And dying. That's one thing we don't want. Uh, so we could just continue then to slowly make your way down anyway. <sighs> Gonna have to use our Fustra Dome right now. So use that, get inside. Oh, okay, well, I guess I'll try that again. Use that, get inside. Me, there we go. And then continuing on your way down, there is a zip line which we're going to activate in just a minute. But continuing on your way forward, picking up the shaman's seeds. Again, if you're not prepared to come down here and do it yourself, why would you put the seeds all the way down here? Just seeing. But activate the zip line anyway, and then ride your way back up so you can go straight to Shaman Fusroda. Alright, once that part is complete, us, we're going to go into the map. We're going to go back now to the right-hand corner of the map to go to the parent tree. So head and fast travel there. And then once we are here, let's continue. Uh, we're going to take a left because we're going to go to the waypoint. So taking a left. And then, yeah, let's just climb up onto this platform, which we hadn't used yet and before. And you're automatically going to take a picture of it, or play the flute for it, sorry. Hooray, we played the flute for it, and now everyone's happy. We could have just done that from the beginning, but uh, never mind. Right, so, we are going to take a left from the platform. Yes. Yep, that's where we go in. So left from the platform, we're heading into the area we were with Neymar earlier on. And then we're going to take the lift up. Alright, so just before we carry on, let's have a look at some skills. Now, basically, again, all I'm doing is focusing on the attacks and our power-ups. So I'm going to be putting skills in the beam. So beam 1 and beam 2. And if I have enough, I'm going to do it in dome 1 and dome 2 as well. Ooh, and as it turns out, we had enough to put some into Spell Chain as well. So that worked out well. Nice and handy. Right, so continuing forward and on our way. Obviously, uh, grab some plants as we always have been doing. But what is about to appear is we are about to have a little sort of mini boss battle with the Teraba, or the Teraba, who we've seen um, at the beginning of the, jung uh, the jungle level, jungle region. You can activate this zip line if you want. It's genuinely, utterly pointless since we're never coming back here anyway. But there we go. So, two things we're going to do here. First of all, as soon as the boss fight begins, move out of the way and make sure to take a picture of him. I'm not sure if it counts, but make sure to take an infected photo of him just in case. Anyway, um, and there's a thing that we can do to just basically beat this guy very easily or beat this thing easily. So first of all, I'm going to take a picture of him. 
Again, not sure if it uh, really counts, but do it just in case. It gets us some skill points anyway. And what we can do is you can use the dome ability. So left trigger and then right bumper. And that will slow his attacks right down. Because, you know, dome is slow-mo. And, you know, it just helps because this guy is... He, well, he packs a punch, as you can see. So use the dome ability and then just hold the X button to overcharge it. This is probably another point where you could get the overcharge achievement as well. Um, as long as you slow him down. But anyway, that's it. Now, it it's quick enough when, you, when you're able to slow him down. Um, but there we go. So that should be that. So we can now head into the next area. The Antares Jungle Tower, which is another new location added to the list of places. And this is it. This is now us getting out of the jungle area. As soon as Neymar Jr. appears. So again, uh, we should have everything at 100% anyway. But if you want to just quadruple check, make sure you got all the collectibles. Make sure that you have got 100% on all of the animals. Mm -hmm. The Tiraba, you should have 66%. Um, now, so at least that's another bit filled, and you won't get 100% until, again, a lot later on in the game. So let's just take a little look. So there you go. So you've cured the Terabas infection, and now we just have to pet one, which, again, we'll be doing a little bit later on in the game. Um, and then it is just a case of 100% that... Ooh, 1,074 kilograms. Damn, son, that's a heavy boy. That is a heavy boy slash girl slash whatever it is. Um, these are the places that you should have got. There will be three question marks already here because that is in the uh, grasslands area. So don't worry about those. But you should be on that and you should have had all of the plants, all of the six plants. And that's what the characters should be looking like. Sorry, I went through the last couple of things quite quickly right there. Um... And that's just scout bot. We know what a scout bot is. So once you've done and you're happy with everything, remember you're not being able. You're not going to be able to come back to the jungle area. But as long as you're happy, let's get out of here. And the next achievement will unlock, and we can finally end. Right, so then, it's going to be the swamp next, but we've got a few things to do here in the grasslands first. In fact, the first couple of things that we're going to do is we're going to go to Ishmar and Fenty, just to um, chucking those secondary quests first of all, or progress towards it. So again, we're just going to be heading across the bridge and then down. We're working hard. I hope so, young lady. Crowd of us out. I've got to talk to Tap. Oh, man, I tell you what, it feels good to be back. It's like, you know, when you drive somewhere for like three, four hours from holiday or something and you get back home, it feels, feels nice. So anyway, head to the right. Underneath the circle archway, you can see Fenty. So go ahead and speak to him. And that'll be two out of four of this quest complete. Again, you can't really miss it since we're going for 100% in the game anyway. Next up, we're going to go down to the right. We're going to speak to Ishmar. And now, remember what I said earlier about every time you get into or finish a region, speak to Ishmar when you've got all of the plants, and then put all of those plants from the previous region into your crafting table so you've got a fresh start. That is exactly what I should have done, because I now have got to figure out which plant, uh, which plant is which from the previous region in the jungle, uh, in order to speak to Ishmar and get that complete. So, yeah. And you'll know when you complete it because he'll say thanks or whatever and then it'll be updated in the top left-hand corner. Hmm. Mm-hmm.
There we go then, so we finally made it, talking about sweaty jungles. Yes, of course it's sweaty. You wouldn't know that sitting on your ass all day. Go ahead and speak to Tabitha anyway, which is of course part of the main quest storyline. And if you just read that dialogue, basically Tabitha was an actual ass to us right there. And she's lucky she didn't get a jab in the throat. So go ahead, slightly to the right, we're going to speak to Chief Voorhees right here. Um, who calls us stump legs. Much unappreciated, so spanking your hairy for that one. And we basically got to, got to do just a couple of side quests now before we head off into the swamp. Okay. So, next up, we are... What are we going to do right here? Right, okay. So, from here, we're going to go to the sort of right-hand side, um, heading back towards where Chief Honlow is. We're actually going to go and speak to um, uh, Vitamins on the bridge. So, head up onto the bridge. And go ahead and speak to Vitamins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And from here, go to the right and go ahead and speak to Neymar Jr. once again. Huh. Uh huh. 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 Uh -uh. Okay, so we're all feeling a bit sad, we're feeling a bit uh, angry, but what we're going to do is head back down into the main area where Tabitha is. And we are going to speak to Chief Voorhees once again in order to get the steering contest side quest complete. Right, so from here, we're going to stare down Tabitha. Boy, you'd like it, don't nut you out, son. And then we're going to head to the right again, and we are going to go and speak to Chief Honlo Civic. <laughs> so we're going to go and do Honlo's uh, side quest now. So what we're going to do is go into the map. Press the Y button to open up the quests, and make sure to choose the Rhyming Scheme. And then press the Y button again to go back onto the map. And once that has been located, and it's all good, and it's all done, we are going to... Is it worth fast travelling? Yeah, let's go to the Scientific Refuge. So we're staying home for a little bit now, which is nice. The jungle stank. Anyway, from the Scientific Refuge... Um, obviously, what we're going to be doing then is just following the waypoint. So, obviously, remember, you don't have to worry about any animals or anything. Hello, Mrs. Hoo Hoo. Uh, we're going to head down where we started following that bird earlier on, if you remember. Oblong's bird. Only this time, we're going to jump all the way down to the floor, and we're going to use the dome ability in order to get through. Ooh, how interesting. So... Dome ability, straight through, get the permanent upgrade. Delicious, another stamina kit, Delishimondo. And that is job done. Then we can get out of here. And then while we are here, uh, well, when we can get out anyway, we can go and have a look at Mr. Oblong. He should be in this window, so go ahead and just take a picture of him. What, a what are you doing, freaky boy? I mean, he does want love. Was he here loving his bird, as it were? Wee. Oh, boy. Okay, there's actually nothing of interest or anything of note in here. So what we'll do is open back up our map. We're going to head back to the Aleph Prime's grasslands base and then head back into the village. Thank you. 
Hm. So once you have done Honlo's quest called the Rhyming Scheme, we'd go back into our map. The main quest is over on the left hand side, so we're gonna need to go back to the Aleph Prime's Grasslands base. And again, so especially from now, when we are in the Grasslands, there are gonna be a lot more infected creatures. You can run past a lot, but they will follow you all the way, so sometimes it's worth just um, disinfecting them. Uh, just to be on the safe side. Because, you know, you don't want to be running and they get smashed out by animals that look like, you know, genital watered broccoli or something. Do ya? You don't want that. Nobody wants that, no man. Right, so head to the left once we drop down. And then take another immediate left. Again, there's going to be more infected uh, creatures in this area. This time we are just going to run past them. We don't have time to be uh, reinfecting and de-infecting every single animal go away so uh go to the left at uh, the right sorry and then we're gonna zip line up because there's actually no other way uh in fact there is a way up but it's obviously easy to go up the zip line part uh grabbing some plants if you want on the way is pretty much no need to do that anymore uh pop your dome on and obviously nip through and here we are then at the swamp gate so it is time to get straight into the third region the Swamp, which is actually a lot nicer than the jungle, less confusing. Mm. Welcome to the Swamp, bro! We've got Swampy Games. Alright, so, uh, well, we're going to get right into the Swamp in just a minute, so from where you start, go to the right. Ignoring the delicious looking chocolate donuts on your right, make sure to grab this new plant, the Lager Flower, Lagla. So that's one of the new plants. And as we continue on our way, we're gonna grab a, another new plant as well. Um, it was just by the door there on the right. I was just having a look. Oh, there was another Lager one behind me as we come into this area. Next one is the I Am Grood Rattle. That's the next new plant, and then we're going to go up and speak to Neymar. Huh? Oh. Uh. Hmm. Oh. So then, because Neymar was a swamp monster all along, he actually gives us the ability to play the songs straight away, which is nice. So we can tame animals pretty much from right now. A message from Trilobite, okay. Right, so head down to the left, grab another lager flower, and use the withering. And there's another new plant right here. The, uh, what's that called? The coral. The Palawaz coral. Pedro Diniz coral. Uh, so head down. From where we were, there's a craft table there, and of course there's some new creatures. Everything's reset, so we need to find all plants and new creatures and everything again. And the first couple are just across this broken bridge right here. So get out your camera. Could you stand still Take... and pose, please? You're talking to a creature there, uh, Vic, but there we go. So we've got the Raga. Sounds like a new type of pasta dish, doesn't it? Ragatoni. Hey, Ragatoni. Now, these ones are a bit more of a pain in the ass, the team. But, uh, what's that? E, J, uh, E, G, A, E, A, I think. Yes, E, Egger, Egger, A, Egger, E, A. See, so, yeah, we don't call E, A, Mega, because E, A, well, all they care about is money. Anyway, so, once you've petted one as well, petted two, because, again, again, you can't go one without the other, because that is cruel. Uh, so you've taken the picture and you've petted one, at least one. And then from here, we're going to be in this area for quite a while. Uh, so we're going to just jump back. Actually, I just want to go into the crafting table actually for a minute. Because as you can see, they're pretty full. And like I said, again, 
what we want to do is get rid of all the flowers or all the plants that we uh, grabbed in the previous region, put them all into our inventory uh, so we can start afresh just in uh, just for the side quest for Isham or Isha later on. Um, if you do need some room, you're going to need to find the plants with the same, uh, obviously the same type of plants. So say if there's one's got 23, you've got 23 of one and like six of the other, but they're the same plant. You can just put the six into the 23. Um, and that just uh, saves a little bit more room, otherwise you'll just have to discard them. Alright, so I think that'll do, pig. That'll do. Right, so let's head and jump back over the broken bridge. Uh, of course, these two are tamed, so they're all good. So we'll go forward ever so slightly onto the next sort of party island. <laughs> party island. Part of the island. Grab some more uh, plants as we go, of course. And we're going to take another picture of the next flying elephant, which is called the Shum. Or Shum. Shum. Let's call it a Shum. I assume it's a Shum. These ones I hate as well. E-F-B-A-C-G. E-F-B-A-C-G. And there we go. Make sure to take a picture and pet him as well. So you've taken a picture. Okay, flying elephant with lobster claws and a big... So is it a lobster elephant or something? I don't know. Either way, it's pretty damn cute. So once you've petted that, uh, again, there is some more flowers. There's a new type of plant as well just here. So make sure to grab the Vecla. The Velkla stem, and then continue up, platform your way up. Uh, there is a generator here as well, but go immediately to your right, and then you are going to find a strong healing brew and a memo from Dr. Tur. Dr. Tur. Dr. Tur. And then have a look in this right hand side window for our first upgrade of the region. All right, so once we've headed back outside, go to the right, get rid of the withering, because we are going to need to generate ourselves. Or turn on a generator so we can get a nice fast travel point going. Here it is. Turn it on. Ta-da. And you can have a look on the right there. There is, uh, what's that, like a tank or something, but we don't need that. We're just picking up the Grood Rattles or the Poison Antidote. Now, again, in this region, you can get poisoned. Uh, but it literally stays on for a couple of seconds and you don't really lose that much health, so it's not worth it. We'll jump back down, uh, grab another Velkla stem if you wish, and we're going to take a picture of an infected Shum. And again, that's obviously part, and obviously just like the previous two regions. Um, oh, we're taking a, a picture of an infected Raga while we're here as well. But again, just like the two previous regions... We need to take an infected, a healthy photo, pet, do all the co-op abilities, cure the diseases, and rescue them as well. Um, but yes, so obviously for collectibles, we should only have one upgrade, and there's the shoe and the raga that we've got so far. So obviously, now what we're going to do, we are going to disinfect them, boys. Let's do it. Okay, now we are going to, let's just grab these plants and then we're going to go across over the uh, big lily pad flower, over the bridge and do some more disinfectants, yes. And then after picking up another bunch of lagers right here, if we go not over the bridge we're currently looking at, but the one just to sort of turn it back on yourself, going over this bridge is another bunch of creatures to disinfect. Okay, 
Okay, so there we go. Good start. Let's crack on and do some more stuff. So again, whip out your flutin dootin, and then we are going to go in and connect with the Raga, whose ability is the Claw Lunge, just like, or Claw Leap or whatever it's called. Basically, they can just smash the bridges down, even though it looks genuinely a lot scarier than the last one. Uh, the one that's in the jungle region. So that's two bridges that we should be able to uh, pop down immediately. And then we'll just pop him back uh, to where we are. And now we're going to go and connect with the Shum. The Shum, the mushroom elephant poison lobster of life. Now what the Shum can do is actually just... Um, he can... If you press the X button, it basically pops off these big blue balls, as you can see. These big blue balls, which are kind of like... They, they'll poison you. If you get close to them, if as Vic, they'll poison you. Plus, they um, get rid of the flowers. So there's one, two... They can make a bridge, is what I'm trying to say. Make a bridge with the flowers. So there's one, two... Now, if we keep going around the map, we are going to see another couple more. Some might not be lit up, so, you know, just be wary of that. So, basically, we got to go across. There it is. So, there's the two that's not lit up, but we can do another one of those. Uh, another one of those. And another one of those. So, that's three. And then keep going, because there is another one. Right in front of us. Now, all right, there we go. That's it. And I think for this little area, we are done. So we'll just bring the shoom back to where Vicky is, to where we are. There we go. I'll do, pig. That'll do. Okay, so we'll just have a little look there. Uh, have a look at the creatures just to see how many that we use there for the so for the shoom. We still need to use another two co-op abilities, but that's all. So we already used six. And the rest are in this area, which we'll do a little bit later on. We've got the Ragger as well, which we've already used too. So, you know, definitely this region is not as long as the um, grasslands and the jungle. Oh, oh my God, what's happening? Sorry, I don't know what the hell that was there. Uh, but anyway, just popping off over to the other island, if you want to call it that. And there is another. If we cross over the bridge now to the left of where we were. Um, there is a new creature here, a little... D Oi! Cheeky, but you get... Ah, oh, that's cute, there. Anyway, that is the... G -G Gahul. The Razal Ghul. What do you call him? Razal Ghuls, isn't it? So, CBGA. So, Kabgar. Kabgar. So, once you get the Kabgars out on the Razal Ghuls, uh, but connect with one of the Razes, the Gahuls, and he can headbutt his way through the wall. That's what he's going to do. And that opens up the bot. Um, and just leave them there. We're not going to put these two in just yet. Uh, so head back on yourself. Go over the uh, bridge. And this time what we're going to do is go over the bridge once again. So into this sort of main, this sort of the middle, the middle area if you want. So into the middle area. Over the next bridge. Take a left. And use your uh, dome. Use your dome ability. Get through. And you're going to have to do some taming. So it is EF. <laughs> I'll try that again. EF, BA, no. EF, CB, CG. E EF, BA, CG. And then, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So once then, bad boys are tamed, eventually, after a while. Uh, get rid of the withering. As always, that's going to open up the way for us again. Now, this is a pretty big area. The rest of the swamp is not as big, uh, but it seems like this seems never-ending. Jump across the lily pad, uh, or the lily pad, whatever you want to call it. And over again, so we're going towards the back of this area now. Taking a left, get rid of some more infectant creatures. And there we go, that's everyone automatically tamed, so we're good as goal for that, man. Uh, uh, continue heading, there we go, so we just grab the Lager. We're going to connect with the Raga, the Lager Raga, 
Let's chop down this bridge. So that's another one of the Raga co-op abilities done. Man, he does look pretty scary, doesn't he? And then next he can crawl into the hole, which we were just in front of, as Vic. And then we can knock down this bridge as well. And we'll pop back down the hole. And we can disconnect. That'll do, Pig, once again. And that'll do. All right, then. So what we're going to do now as Vic. So if we turn directly around from where we were, uh, you can see these three flowers, these three big flower pads that we're going to jump on. Are we going to take a right now from the bridge that the Ragger just got rid of? And there is a nice permanent upgrade for us. Another health kit, plus another couple of flowers in there to grab. All right, so once we've done with that, we've grabbed the upgrade, we've grabbed a couple of the plants. We'll go back on the flowers and head to the left once again. So where the two, uh, the Shum and the Ragger were, we're going to go past them. Don't need them just yet. And then we're going to make a big jump for it. Rah, try not to land in the water because that is poison. And we'll go straight for this sensor right here. How important it is sometimes to stop and look around. All right. So once we get up, get your camera out. And you can see there's another character, uh, Eggman or whatever he is over here. Eggla. Edgar. Epa? Ah, we'll just call him Eggman. Anyway, uh, so take a picture of Eggman. We've got to go over to him and speak to him anyway, but uh, I just thought I'd do that. Now, I get poisoned. Well, it's good to see, anyway, what happens. Literally, just get poisoned for about five seconds. You lose a little little bit of health, but that's about it. So jumping down to the left, and we're going to speak to Egla himself. He doesn't actually speak to us. So we'll just continue going around. And before moving anywhere else, have a look up at this bit of building. And the wind chime, you might have to move back a little bit to get it in frame. But there is the first wind chime of the region. So once you've checked the numbers, the numbers are looking good. There is a withering that we're going to get rid of to the right. There it is. So let's pop that one out. No, there we go. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, okay, that's Chris. We Christy the clown that one right up. Um, and then what we'll do from here, turn around, stick with the sort of right-hand side and jump onto this mainland or land or island, whatever you want to call it. Basically back in the middle of the area again. And continue onwards. There's the Shum having a bit of a... He's looking a bit, looking a bit cold there, pal. Uh, we need to do some taming of these two. And then we'll actually do a little bit of connecting with the old or pasta ragatoni. And then from here, we can actually jump. So just behind where we were, we'll jump. We'll go into the hole. Okay, get in the hole. And then to the right, we will do another little jump. And then, of course, we can go and smash the bridge open using our claw leap. Claw lunge, claw leap. And so that'll come in handy. So we're going to have to jump back. So we do need to get back down. So we'll jump. Go into the hole again, back into the hole, and then jump down, and ta-da! Well, that's all good. Okay, right, so let's just have a look at some creatures there. Let's see what we've been doing there. So the Ragger, so we've already used all of the Ragger's co-op abilities already, and we only need a couple more uh, curing infections, and, well, you know, we've only just started this, so we're all good. We'll smash it, we'll smash it. Okay, so... Head over the bridge to where the Razal Gahuls are. Up. And up to the right. And then continue jumping. And we're going to now interact with that sensor, which we've seen from uh, the Ragger's point of view there. So interact with that for the second one of the area. Feel the calm of this place. 
Right then, so from here, go left and drop down. Again, try not to drop down into the poison death river. And we've found a new place, the Velkla Garden. And we are going to jump on these flowers again while we're picking up the uh, Velkla stems. And there is a shoom that we can assume uh, needs to be tamed. Ah, ha, ha, that joke's older than my nan right now, that is. So that's why I'm going to stop saying assume the shoom. So get into the shoom and we can get rid of some of these giant poison blue balls. Nobody likes blue balls. No one. So there's the two, and then if well, if you turn around, if there is another three, four, actually, that we can grab. So, you know, in terms of using the co-op abilities, we're done with this one. Uh, in fact, there is a fifth blue ball that we've uh, we've got as well. Uh, you can see there's another couple of infected shrooms there. We won't be getting them until a little bit later. So take a right there. There's another one, and that is that. Actually, so that's good. So we'll just pop him down by the bot or whatever. That's fine. Oh, see, God damn, I can't jump. Right, try and jump. Just jump. Just try not to die in the poisonous. It would come in handy. So we're following the path of flowers around anyway. And again, we'll take a left and then continue on our way that way because we're coming up to our first statue of the area. This will be statue one out of five. Right, so we can't do that bit of zip line in just yet, so we have to do that from the bottom, which is fine, but that's the first statue. So take a left now, head up onto these rocks, uh, just mainly for the flower right there. And we'll go for the big jump of life, just making that. And uh, we've got to tame this shoe. I think we've got to tame him anyway. Uh, no, we're actually all good. So we're going to head back towards the right-hand side of the map. Over the branch. Again, effectively, we're going where the Razal Gahuls are now. Picking up some more uh, plants, as we have been doing throughout the entirety of this playthrough so far. And then up. In fact, we're going to use the flas Das Flute and Duten. And then we're going to pop these up and we're going to chuck these two away. Um, this is literally... This is the only time the bot is here. Is literally for those two creatures. So that is the first two creatures of the region done. Um, so if we just uh, take a look there, this is what we should be on. Garhul, obviously we're going to be coming up to a lot more. And in fact, one of the Garhuls we're going to be coming up to will give us another achievement for the Overcharger achievement for continuously holding the Overcharge button for more than five seconds. So go ahead and use your Dome ability, your Dom ability, your Dehom ability, whatever. And we're into a new area now. Finally, after what seems like forever ago. Um, just grabbing some more plants as we've been doing, and then we are going to head over the bridge, obviously. And we're going to head over to the next bridge, and it, in fact, this is where we can get the overachiever, uh, overachievement. Overachie- That achievement that I showed you earlier. Yeah, the one with you holding the X button for five seconds. Anyway, go ahead, take a picture of the infected Razal Gahuls. Batman's not going to be happy, because he's in for a fight now, isn't he? And this is where we can actually do it. So, what you can do is, there's a ledge that is just beyond those two infected Garhuls. Now, what you can do is jump on the ledge behind them, and then just go ahead. Because they can't attack you for when you're climbing up on the ledge, you can literally just hold the, the um, X button for more than five seconds, and that is another probably easier way to get the achievement. Um... So that's the over overachiever achievement or whatever it's called. So that is just another way. So that ledge, um, which is behind us now, again, like I said, if you, you you can jump on that, and these guys cannot attack you, so you can just hold the X button for continuously for five seconds until they're done, and the achievement will unlock for you that way. So uh, whichever you decide to do, hopefully you've got that achievement by now, and there uh, you should all be good to go. Oh. I guess we'll, I guess we'll tame you then, bruh. Okay. Gahul, or should I say brahul. So make sure to pet one of these uh, bad boys as well. 
And are we going to pet? Oh, I'm leaving the other one. Oh, other bro is feeling... Re the, the other bra hole is feeling rejected now. Anyway, from there, we'll take a left. We are actually going to jump up onto that little cliff edge. This one right here in front of us now. Um, the one where you potentially could have got that um, overclocker achievement. And then continue on. Um, use the withering. And we have to... We finally had a point where we can do another puzzle and get another power going in our staff. The mosaic. It's fractured here too. The Antares were very protective of their young. Antares wore... So this bubble, this green snot bubble, basically gives you invincibility for a couple of seconds. But it does give you the ability to walk through these poisonous looking flowery type things. Um, just for a moment. But you can continue to use it, so you can just keep spamming the... Uh, right bumper button So right here then for the only gap that we can go if you feel like it's running out like then just go ahead and quickly You don't have to wait until it runs out. You can just keep tapping the right bumper button until um, Until you're out the other side really, but it does come in very much handy because you know it makes you Makes you not die. So you know that that does come in incredible handiness all right, so once you are done speaking to Neymar Jr., again, the useless git is just going to stand there while you wait for us to do all the work. So head to the right. Um, oh, in fact, actually, no, I'm just grabbing these plants. What we are going to do is if we just go back on ourselves, um, obviously hold the right bumper and then press the X button to get your levitationist out. And there is a wind chime that is underneath or um, in the middle of this Thing. So levitate it up quickly get your camera out and that's the second wind chime done, right? I got it I I got the brief tab over and out Okay, and now we can go uh, through the small gap on the right where we grab those plants just a couple of seconds ago And then jump on the flowers and then you can get you can grab that velcro one. Yeah, we will grab it actually so go and grab that and then you can see we're not going to go on the path on the left. We're going to continue inwards. And then what we're going to do, we're going to... So what you need to do is open it up and then quickly use your... Go through it. So levitate it up. Use the withering. Or smash the withering and get on the other side. That just uh, gets a path out for us. And then get rid of the infected creatures. Hey, I'm doing this for you. Since everyone seems to be chill, now we can get into the shroom. The old mushroom lobster head and just pop off one of these bowels. Again, it's just um, so it gives us a potential path for later on. And then we're going to go into the Gahul, who will uh, very happily headbutt this pillar down for us. Spanking your hairy. And then this little tiny bit of blue. We're um, just to get rid of that wall. So that's two of the co-op abilities done for the Brahuls. The Razal Gahuls, whatever you want to be calling them. I suppose you could just call them Gahuls, which is which is their actual name. 
Um, so let's just, again, we'll take a little look here. And then what we're going to do is go back to the Swamp Teleport Secondary. That's where we're going to be fast traveling to again. Since we are done with this area for now. Okay, and then from here, what we're going to do is take an immediate left. And drop down onto the flowers in front of us. Of course, now that we've got the... It's called the Hanar ability. So we'll just call it the Green Orb Snob ability. Um, we can obviously go through into new places. So going um, over this bridge may have to... No, we're just going to ignore them for now. Continuing over, jump over the um, bridge. Oh, in fact, we're coming back to the beginning. It was obviously what we're doing here. And so hold the right bumper, press B to get the snob ability going, and then jump through the flowers for the next statue. This is at the beginning of the uh, area. Alrighty, McShnitey bags, McFitty biscuit heads. Once you will have a little look, there's you should be on two, 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 and two. Two, 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 two. two. So there we go. That's where you should be on two, two out of two for everything. So from here, uh, use your orb ability, go to the left. We're, we're basically now going to head all the way to the back end of this area, um, where and past. The two Gahuls, um, the Brahuls that we first put into the bot earlier on. So just keep jumping, pumping. Try not to poison your ivy. And continue on going back. And obviously, like you said, you can already see where we, we're coming up to the part now. So um, obviously we don't have a direct path or we don't have a fast travel path, unfortunately, in until and to this uh, the next area you don't have to do this again you don't have to tame them of course these are the ones we tamed and rescued earlier Right, okay, so now we are back. <laughs> now we are back in the area where we... Uh, well, you know, it, it looks familiar, should look familiar. This time, though, what we're going to do is take a right up the steps instead of left to the other two uh, Gahuls. And then we're going to take a picture of... Um, what's your name? Uh, Usfer. Usfer. U-S-F-U-R. Yeah, thorn bags. Yeah, much appreciado. Okay, so we found a place called Lan Lania. So that's a new place that should be uh, in Fantastic. your uh, entries. Now take another picture of this guy, Camlo, uh, Kremlin, Bumlin, whatever you want to call him. He's the chief anyway. So we'll have a little speak to Chief Karma. Karma, 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 Chameleon. <laughs> So we got a new quest called a message for Trifle, uh, Trilo, Trilo, whatever you want to call him. So anyway, from the chief head to the right, we're going to grab a couple of items in this area. And then we go into the left. We're going to have a little nip on the flowers. Again, try not to give yourself the poison ivy death of life. You know, the less poison, the better, really. For obvious reasons. Anyway, jump up. And then you can hear the wind chime. And it's directly on top of the right-hand side waterfall. I do apologize. I just slightly burped as I was talking there. And I ain't editing that out. <laughs> so I'm very sorry. I'm very stinky. I'm sorry. Head over. Uh, continue heading over to the flowers anyway. You can see the sensor is on our left. But we're going to need to levitate it up. So get your ocean power out. Levitatios. And get your potatoes on the Sensoranios. Huh? 
I'll never forget this place. Alright, so once you're feeling relaxed and everything, we're going to take a jump straight back over to the main island where the chief uh, camel toe is and continue heading over the bridge. Camelo, sorry. And then over the next little bridge, taking a right. And we just got some lager flowers right there. And what you're going to need to do then is get your Hanar ability out. So get your green snob orb ability out again. And remember, you can't just keep hitting. Now, I end up doing it in the right trigger um, because I find it easier to do that with the right trigger. So just keep powering forward again. Keep hitting the right trigger um, just so you are constantly protected and head up the ladder. But yeah, so that's what I end up doing. I end up just swapping it. So the right bumper I normally use for the levitation and the dome. And then the right trigger I use for the... Uh, let's just take a picture here of this guy. Uh, but the right trigger I use for the Christy the Clown and the Hanar ability. Uh, but again, it's completely up to you. Whatever you find is easier. So once you've taken a picture and you've spoken to him, again, we're going to get the Hanar ability out. But what we also need is the dome ability as well. So you need to use the dome ability first. And then quickly use the Hanar ability or the orb ability. And oh, look at that. It didn't work. Ah, ha, ha. Oh my God. What stupidity. Oh, J Jesus Christ. Work, stupid. Oh, thank you very much. Took its bloody time. Anyway, once we are here, we are going to come up to a few little critters that we're going to... Uh, a new type. This is Doug Trio now. We found Doug uh, Diglett in the first Grasslands region. We've got Kaisho, the Doug Trio of the area now. So we've taken an infected picture of him, so get him gone. Be careful of the attacks underground again, of course. And just like the, um, I f can't even remember the, the Tama, wasn't it? The Tama, the uh, little diglet from the grasslands. They will, of course, have the same ability. Make sure to take a clean, healthy photo of them and give them a little pet as well. So that covers off three of the uh, things needed to complete the Avapedia. Man, he's a big boy with big old chunky claws. Um, but yeah, so let's just have a look at the Avipedia while we're here then. Uh, so that's already three ticks. And we've just got a couple more infections to clear up. So that's job done. So let us get our flute and dootin' out. And we're going to connect with the Kaisho. There are four of these little digs here that we can do. So there's one. Opposite side, there's another. To the right of that is the third one. And then if we go slightly up the little bit of Canva right there. Canva, that's a website. Uh, there's the fourth one anyway. Up that tiny little molehill. And that is the fourth one done. Now, we're not going to rescue these for now. Um, we're going to go ahead and just do a couple more things before we go and rescue them. So, to have a look, there's nothing... Oh, strong stamina now. There's nothing, nothing that we particularly need. Uh, get a bit of I Am Groot rattle. Um, nah, that's crap. So anyway, continue heading upwards away from the bot and the Kaishos, the Doug Trios of the region. Hit the withering and get rid of it. And we'll continue through and we've got a new character to take a picture of. Say cheese. <laughs> So, once you have taken the picture of Aki, just sounds like a little Welsh kid talking about food they don't like. Aki, that is. That's Aki. Uh, you've taken a picture, you've spoken to him. 
We are now going to be coming up to one of the more difficult achievements in the game. It's more luck-based than it is difficult. Um, but there's only really two places that you can do this. And it's for being poisoned, stickied, and blind... Did? Blinded? Blound? Blound at the same time. Um, but we'll be coming up to that in a little minute. So, uh, get rid of these. Look at you with your attacks. It's not fun. Oh, come on. I want to help you. Do you mind? I'm kicking my ass! Oh, Doug Trio has really started uh, whipping me a new one then, didn't they? Jesus, monkey balls, dudes. Anyway, once that is done, so what we're going to do is head up now to the sort of left-hand side. You can see that little poison ball. That is going to be our poisoned thing, which is going to help us in a minute. Go underneath the wall. Now, highly important, what we're going to do, we're going to make a manual save right here. Now, there are three um, enemies to get rid of, the raggers. We're only going to cure one of them, and then we're going to leave two alone. So make sure that you cure just the one. Again, that's why we're making the manual save, because uh, if you do mess it up, you can just reload it, and then it's good to go. Um, stay on top of the boxes, because you will actually be safe from there. Um, so, as you can see, otherwise you're just going to get munched and blound. I'm not going to call it blinded anymore, it's blound. Um, anyway, so with the Garhul that you, um, with the one that you sorted out, go ahead out of here to the right and open up the way for us. Again, that uses the co-op ability. And two, it's going to help us get this achievement. Again, we have to be blinded or blound, poisoned and stickied at the same time. So now we've done that, I'm, I'm just going to make, make another manual save because in case we die... Or in case we mess it up, we can just reload exactly at this point. So, now we are going to get those two creatures to follow you. So, one should be a Brahul again, and one should be, yeah, that sticky boy. And again, this is completely luck-based. It just, just in terms of, as we get them out, we're going to head to the left. Or, sort of, technically to the right of where we came out. But, it's... It's all luck based so um, on t in terms of when the creatures attack you so as you can see Now we are poisoned and now we just wait for the creatures to blind and sticky attack us This may oh, I see so there you go. So I'm blind and poisoned and Sometimes the sticky boy just takes his time see look you're too late you stupid guy If you wanted to kill me you would do it already But this is the best way that we can get this achievement in the game uh, remember to have a lot of healing brews, or a good couple of healing brews anyway, on you. Personally, I thought this was going to take me longer than it actually did. Um, but it, you may get lucky with it, and it may only take you a couple of attempts. You may be unlucky with it, and it may take you, you know, up to 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, perhaps. But again, luckily, and that's without editing, it worked a treat. So, literally, as soon as you get blinded, potentially, yeah. So, if you get blinded... Run into the poison blob, that poisons you, and then hopefully Sticky Boy will be able to sticky you up. And then that is that. But that is how you get that achievement. There is another one in the Good Food Woods, or whatever it's called, a little bit later on. Uh, but once you've done that, the achievement's done, and you have um, disinfected them, we can now crackle on. All right, so let's just take a little respite, a little breather. We're going to head back into the same area, take a left into this little building, make sure to pick up the memo from Dr. Doc, Dr. Acula, Dr. Cravatus, or Craftivus, or whatever his goddamn name is. Um, again, if you are needing some healing items, go and find a crafting table, and you should have more than enough plants from the first grasslands region to craft a good couple to help yourself. Um, but yeah, so that's if you need it. So anyway, head towards the back of the area. You can see the building there with the zero one on it. Take a left and you're going to turn on the generator here. And then what that's going to do is open up the door, but ever so slightly. We actually need to do a couple of things to sort us out. So on the right hand side, you can see the another two buildings. There's the zero seven building. We're actually going to go into the building to the 
right of that, but we need to get our Hanar ability, the green orb snob ability out. Yep. But we're not going that way. Sorry, we're going around the back. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I just went completely the wrong way there. Climbing up the ladder. Uh, we didn't need to do that just yet. Uh, we're going to go into the building on the right. Now we can use it. Drop down. Pick up the backpack pocket. So that's another permanent upgrade. And then quickly head out. Open the door. Get out. Go to the left. And again, keep pressing the right trigger as you see fit. Just to keep your Hanar ability toppled up. Go to the building to the left. And then climb up these steps. And then we're going to climb up all of these stairs as well. And then when we get to the top of the stairs, take a left and you can see the wind chime already there. So make sure to take a picture of that one. Right here. So if we just go and take a look, you should be on three out of six, two out of five, three out of seven and four out of seven. So they are the numbers you should be dealing with right now okay so let's get off that we'll just draw we gonna drop we're not gonna drop straight down because that will result in death and i don't want to be death so we can drop down to the right hand side of the building go towards the back of the building of this big big old building in front of us watch out for the sticky poison purple ball keep going around uh, you can go ahead and activate the zip line we may need to come back here i think we might come back here once a little bit later on and then we can head to the left into the building and again make sure you've got your Hanar ability ready your green orb snob ball ready uh, once we get into this area we're going to uh, continue up the steps first of all oh no we're not we're not doing that yes we are doing that sorry I was in the wrong building I was thinking of another building but we're continuing up the steps going into this little office area or generator area, whatever it is, and grab the Dr. Dupont Field Notes 1 um, memo tablet. And that's all there is. Again, there's like stamina drinks and stuff, but we really don't need them. So we're heading back down towards where the portal is to the left-hand side of the portal. Uh, use your Hanar ability, drop down and go around. And we have another health kit in our possession. Rah! Right then, so once we've climbed back out of the ladder, go through the door directly in front of us and smash the withering to Piuses. And what are we going to do? We are going to go through there as well. So head through where we just came out of. Grab a couple of grudes, and then we can't activate the zip line, but we did discover a new location called New New Landlania. Uh, which pretty much just looks like old Landlania, so there's no point calling it new when it looks like the same old. Right, so when we come back to the main area, go to the right, and you're going to see this door. We can now open with the hangar door key. Go directly in front of us, jumping over, pick up the tablet. This is Dr. Dubon, Field Notes 2. And a little cutscene begins. Many cutscenes begins, as it were. Lots of cutscene begins. All right, so once that's done... A uh, little, little nimble spin there, make sure our legs are still working, because by God, if my voice is hurting after six and ten hours, her friggin' legs must be dying. Okie dokie, so next place we're going to go to, we're going to go back to the Swamp Teleport Secondary Station, over on the right hand side of the Swamp Map. All right, so if we have a look at the map now, we need to get to another place where we can use the Hanar ability to go through. It's right where my where the dot is, right there. So we're effectively from here. So just make sure that we're going the right way. So, uh, so yep, straight down past that, and then it's into that this little area down at the bottom there. So from here, we'll just drop straight down. Apparently, not into the poison. Uh, keep going straight over the flower, over the bridge. And then over the next bridge. You better not be attacking me, bruh. Nah, that's what I thought. And then uh, grab the plant as well. You can see the uh, animals, which we still haven't got rid of. But continue going up the bridge. And just grabbing another plant there before we go right. 
and here it is. So it's effectively straight all the way down, but uh, you know, had to double check. So wipe out your green snow snobby orb orb, go through the flowers, again, hit the right trigger if needed again, and then jump your way over the branch. And as usual, grabbing all the plants that we can. Uh, where are we? So, yeah, so what we're going to do is head for the right-hand side. So you can see the bot in the distance. So we're going to jump over to where that bot is, but then we're going to take a right. And we're going to use the Hanar ability again. So nip through, sprint straight through to find the next statue. Hmm. All right then. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump to the right of where the statue was. Make sure to get your Hanar ability out and then jump straight through. And we're back at the beginning area. Of the region so now what we're going to do we've effectively done a lot of the puzzles and a lot of everything so now we're going to start gathering some animals and chucking them in the box so there's the first three that we're going to grab and then we'll take a left to go back over this sort of slightly broken wonky looking bridge now uh, some of these creatures may get stuck especially these shooms so if the shoom some of the shooms do get stuck Again, you'll just have to connect with them and then sort of um, make them move. So move them away and then they will be good to go. I think it does happen in this. Yeah, three of them. Look at them. Excuse me. This ain't no time to be doing that stuff. I've got to rescue you guys. So if they do get stuck inside each other like that and not even in the good way, because, I mean, look at their pointy noses, bro. That's going to hurt. Uh, you're going to have to connect to them and move them to unstick them. Ah, there we go, lads. Right, keep them coming, keep them going. Um, the bot is over the way, so we'll just continue on over the flower. And just checking to see if there's any more that we can get while we're on our way. Yes, there is. We'll go and grab this next shoom as well, I think. Uh, can we grab another one here? No, man, or can we not? No, no, nah, man, I don't think we can, no, man. Nope, that's good. Right, no, we're all good. So we're going to go over the flower, over the bridge, and we're going to get rid of all of these. But there are still quite a few uh, left to grab. But that is a lot that has been smashed out already. So, from here, uh, basically continue going straight on. And, well, there is another shoom right there. And the other two raggers. I think... Yeah. Yeah, okay, go and get rid of these three then for the time being. Now, there are still, if you remember, there are still some infected ones that we still need to get rid of as well. So go back the way you came. Take a right over the bridge. Use your dome ability, of course. And, ew. in fact, I'm over the, what I am is over the wrong bridge, um, which I'm going to, yeah. So I am over the wrong bridge, which is not fine because I'm supposed to be, we're supposed to be having a good guide. My bad. But if we come up here, there is the next shoom. And the next couple of raggers. They were sort of on the left. Um, right there. And I think that's that. So we can go and grab these and put them down into the bot. So the two that I'm looking for are two raggers over a bridge. So from the bots. Okay, there they are. Right, so from where the bot is, you go in. Uh, yeah, so from here, you basically go in sort of let, sort of back on yourself over the bridge to the right over this bridge. And then we're going to take another right. And here are where the two last raggers are. So get them going and chuck them in. And there we go then, bang tidies. That's a lot of these animals cleared up already, thankfully. Right, so from uh, from the bot, from where we were then, we're going to go sort of 
uh, back on ourselves. We're going to go through the bridge with all the tree branches and stuff on them and go heading up this little bridge path. And we're going to use the Hannah ability to nip straight through these flowers. Again, use it again if you need it so you don't lose too much health. Over into the next area, there's Neymar Jr. still just chilling, not doing much, just being injured on the uh, substitute bench. Taking a left, and now we're going to go and get rid of these animals. Now, I think, I can't remember if it's this bit or if it's another bit, but I have to reload. No, it's not this bit, so yeah, that's fine. Um, so just grab every animal that you can. Again, there wasn't much in in terms of this area, so that should be fine. Hopefully, everyone's all good. And then just, um, obviously, we have made a bridge. So we can go and uh, take a left and then pop them up to the robot bot. Okay, so let's head into our map. We're going to teleport back to the Swamp Secondary Teleport Station on the right. And now we're actually going to do those infected shooms that we didn't do earlier on. So from here, what we can do is we're going to drop down and take a right. Now, if you had done those infected shooms earlier, you could have used Withering in order to clear a path. But if not, that's fine. We'll sort of uh, continue heading straight and we're going to more or less go right. So jumping over. And we're going to see them in just a second. Well, there's one. Uh, the witch we need to tame. And then make a jump over to the flower. Oh, stupid. I said jump. What are you blind? You deaf? You deaf or something? Uh, right, anyway, so what I tried doing was actually getting this shroom into the bot, but because I got poisoned, I'll try it again. Follow me. Oh, god damn it! What the hell? Let's try it again. This is worse than being poisoned on Pokemon games. Right, come on, alright, you're taking a mick now, aren't you? Jesus, right, so there we go. So now we can get rid of this shroom. And then we've got another one to grab, so if we go back on ourselves, and you can already see him flying about on the other side, and, oh, actually, we got him from further away than I thought then, which was good. So we'll chuck him in the bot as well, and then continue going forward. And in the distance, you can see a shoom flying about, which we can tame, and then these three, which we can disinfect. So once you've done the disinfection um, and you've opened up the path for us, uh, or for yourself, we are now going to grab these three, which I believe we have. We're going to grab these three and then we'll just take them around. Um, hmm. Okay, don't know why I've done that. I think I... I don't know why I've done that, in all fairness. Um, I think I just got them unstuck from each other. But anyway, uh, so let's head around. Uh, hiya, pal. You okay? There we go. So grab the fourth one. It should be as well. Again, yeah, I think if they're just stuck, just give them a little uh, little connection and a little nudge. Get out of it. Yeah. Anyway, get all four around and get them in.
All right, so we'll have a little look at the skill tree. Uh, yep, just you. Uh, just might as well up, up, update Hannah too there. That'll do, that'll do. And then we're going to head to the Aleph Prime Study Centre now. Right, so from the study center, what we're going to do is head straight in front of us to get out and take a right. Well, slightly right, anyway. And you can see the a uh, couple of gar holes. We're just going to get rid of these creatures now, so we're going to bop these ones up. Um, whether there is... Oh, in fact, we're heading towards the... Uh... Oh, right, so we're going to speak to Aki for just a minute before. Hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Right, much appreciado. And now uh, we've got a new quest for finding more trifle. So open the door that we couldn't previously access. Make sure to get your Hanar ability out as well. And uh, we're just going to nip through and literally to the right. I said literally to the right. We was to the right. And right again. And uh, we're going to activate the zip line. Again, right trigger, it, uh, right trigger it again, so we can actually jump down the zip line. And again, use your Hannah ability and take a left up the steps when it recharges. Anyway, ah, oh, there we go. Right, so take a left now up the steps and into a new area with new creatures. Take a picture. Hmm. Where has you gone? Oh, there you are. So, this is a new creature called the Muesli. Music. It's Musy to my ears. Uh, anyway, it's basically like a big deer thing, so let's disinfect them. And of course, once they're all disinfected, make sure to pet at least one and take a nice picture of them as well to get the three ticks done for the muesli bags. So if we check the Avapedia then, we should now be on 100% on the shoom at the very least, or the shum, shum, shoom. So there's 100% done already for that one. Job done. Uh, get in there with the Gahuls and the Kaishos. We only need to rescue the Kaisho uh, species now and do a couple more of the uh, uh, Brahuls. Brahuls. Right then, so from here, what we're going to do then is get rid of the withering, of course. You can see a sensor there just up onto the left as well. We'll go and grab that in a bit. Um, use your flutin' dootin' and connect with one of them. And we can get rid of this big plant thing. So Muesli's basically got like big brain berries sticking out of the back of its head. Which is kind of weird. Um, there's the second one anyway, just to the left. And that should be two co-op, two of the Muesli's co-op abilities done. Or the brain, the red cherry brain popping things. Into the next area then. And we've got another two withering to get rid of. Um, oh yeah, so... Obviously, we need to differentiate now. We need to go between the Hana and the Crist abilities. So obviously, you'll hold the right trigger and then press the corresponding button. Uh, make sure then to access and interact with the meditation sensor. How important it is sometimes to stop and look around you. <laughs> So once you've uh, just gone and grab this... Oh, it's a new plant. Yes, of course. Make sure to grab the plant here. It's the Turkleton. A Turkleton plant. If you've watched Scrubs, you'll know a Turkleton. Um, there's the Muesli. So we'll grab him down. We'll, um, again, just grab some of these uh, Turkleton fruits as we're going along. Uh, once you've grabbed, I think it's three of these big Muesli boys, we'll bring them back up and put them in the bot. All right, then. So from here, we're going to head back down into the Muesli area, as it were. Um, we are going to get our Hanna ability back out because on the left, we're going to nip straight back through that. So jump up and over. And we're going to be coming up to some more disinfectants. And of course, we're going to be grabbing some Turkleton fruits on the way. 
And as we head down here, you're going to see them all pop up now, being all like, er, I'm in... I'm infected. Oh, look at me. Oh, this, by the way, the Blue Food Woods. This is another um, area where you can get the Trinity achievement for being poisoned, bland, and stickied at the same time. Okay, that's good. That's good. We're all good. We're just going to grab some more power, power lads, coals and stuff. We're going to jump up. We're going to jump up again and we're going to get another wind chime now. So if we head up here and look in between these branches, get your camera out and directly in front of us is the next wind chime. Look what we got here. So once you've checked and the numbers are all looking good, drop down into the area where all the creatures are and then we are going to use another muesli. Uh, from here, we going to you can just see in the distance there when you turn slightly left, the next, um, I don't know, plants or whatever it is, the next wall, should we call it, that we need to ram, charge into. So there's another co-op ability done. Keep going and slightly right, there is another one. Yeah, boy. Have that up your pipe and smoke it. And then we can just disconnect. And we can actually uh, begin to head towards that area now. So past the bot. Up this little hill here. Again, grab some a Turkleton fruits on the way. Watch out for the sticky boy on the left. But of course, that sticky boy could help. Uh, while you get poisoned and blinded by some of these other creatures. Uh, but anyway, get rid of these infected ones. Hey, I'm doing this for you. So once you've tamed this piece of brain rotted muesli, in the background where we use the charge to open up this way, there is another upgrade directly in front of us. There we go, it's another stamina kit. So that should be what, six now I think. No, five out of six for this area. So we're getting close, getting fluting dooting through it. Uh, but once you've grabbed all the plants and everything in this area, uh, we can actually just get rid of them now, so it's kind of a kind of a nice small area. So flute and dooting your way, bring them all over and get them into the bot. And that's it. We decided to smash every single one out at the same time there. So that's good. Right, so we're going to head back up that little hill now. And instead of going right or left, we're going to go straight in front of us. And we're going to get a new character that we can take a picture of in just a bit. Uh, so grab another couple of these plants. Another lager plant right there. And another lager. And here, here he is then, Borat. And we got Grana. Granny pants in there as well, but we're going to interact with uh, Bork, Boris Johnson, Borak Johnson. And you can try and talk to him, but he's not going to let us in. Oh, no, 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 no. But that's okay, because we're going to grab a password in just a bit anyway. So 
old uh, chunky helmeted forehead man won't be a problem for too much longer. So go to the right. And we're going to come up to another wind chime as well. So just grab a couple of these plants on the way. You're going to hear it in just a second. Uh, you can activate the zip line here. That'll come in handy later on. But what we're going to find is on the right hand side in one of these caves, not that one, but the second one just over to the left is the next wind chime. Another strange non artifact. So that should be wind chime six out of seven if you want to have a little look. So we should be on. Five out of six, three out of five, four out of seven, and six out of seven. So we're getting through it quickly. So if we turn around directly uh, behind us and have a look in the gap, you can see the password. We need to take a picture of it. But we can't just show the guy it, of course, because otherwise he'll know that we've been cheating. So we need to actually go and find Neymar Jr. Uh, but we're going to get another sensor coming up now as well. So if we stick to the right-hand side of this cliff edge... Uh, just past the bushes and trees, you can already see the marker for it. So go and meditate your way through. Ooh, sa. Or something. Ah, I can feel the calm of this place. Ah, that was nice. That's all we need sometimes, isn't it? It's just a break, just a couple of minutes to just... Ah, relax or rancho. So anyway, we jump down, uh, grabbing plants as we go. Uh, yeah, yeah grab, grab another Turkleton fruit. And then from Boric Johnson, we're going to take another right. And we're going to find Neymar and speak to him here. Right, so you got that one. Humbly, humbly, boomly. So remember that one. Okay, so head up. We're going to speak to Borek again. And we're going to give him the code. Bulgini, bagadi, anima, nubu, blabby, blue, blue. There we go. Easy. Easy remembering. So I've got the memory of a fish, which is... Uh, that's good, right? Memory of uh, fishes have great memory? No. Right, take a picture. One of Trifle here. Trifle Trilo on the right. And then make sure to take a picture of uh, Granny Grana on the left. Greenar. Tom Greenar. And first of all, we'll do, we are going to go ahead and we'll speak to Grana first of all. And then we can just turn around and speak straight to Trilo Trifles. What a celebration! What a dance! Okay then, so from Chief Trifles, what we're going to do, we're going to head out of the main door. Uh, for some reason I just decided to do it the hilariously awkward way and speak to Chief Neymar again. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Alright, so apparently we've now completed all main quests in the region so far, so... Eh, dead worth well. Check in? Bro, you literally told me that about my dead parents that uh, I shouldn't be so, you know, stubborn or whatever the hell you said. Anyway, we're going to go into the quests. We're going to change the quests to the children of Ava. Um, and then, so once we've done that, uh, we're getting through the swamp quicker than I thought, actually. So, drop down into the main area, continue on your way down the path this time. We haven't been... Shut up, Tab. You naughty, 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 you teasing me. So, when we get into this little cave-like area, Ava's bosom... 
<laughs> uh, take a picture of Broski over here. Oh, we've already taken a picture of Broski. Sorry, never mind. You don't need to take a picture of Broski. Uh, but head to the right and interact with the sensor. The we are in the center of the sensor of the booby. How important it is sometimes to stop and look around you. To be fair, when I'm in a booby, I'm more relaxed than I'll ever ever be. So yeah. Uh, you don't actually have to get rid of this withering. You can if you want. It just opens up a new path into the muesli area. Uh, so we're going to speak to uh, Chief uh, Kama 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 Chameleon. <laughs> uh, and that completes the quest Children of Ava. So that worked out well. So from uh, Chief Chicken Korma, we're going to go not... We're basically, we're going to go back the way we came, which was to the right of where we just were from Chicken Korma, Chief Karma, Korma, whatever his name is. And then immediately drop down to the left where we're gonna find some more infected creatures to uninfect. Right then, everyone good? Everyone good? Hippy happy? There we go, job done. Right, head to the right and we're going to activate this zip line. We'll be using this quite a bit in order to get back to the Chief uh, chief Trifles little village. Um, and we'll just jump over into this sort of um, housey looking area. And take a left, turn on the generator. What this will do is actually get rid of the poison, the poisoned water from here. So, you know, we don't get, well, poisoned as it turns out. Then we can just jump down the ladder and climb it down. There's no flowers or anything, of course, because they're all being poisoned. But in the middle of it is the next statue. Hmm. All right, then. So now we're going to go ahead and get the last wind chime. So we'll turn around. We're going to climb the ladder. And then once we finally climb... <laughs> she's pretty quick, dude. So what we're going to do then, we're going to take a left. Now, we can't actually jump over the gap. We, we'll get there later on with a bit of story relations. So we'll cl uh, clamber onto the edge here. Get your camera out. And if you can see in the top right-hand corner, there it is right there. The last and final wind chime of the area. So we've literally only got one more of everything else left to grab now. So one more upgrade, one more sensor, and one more whatever it is. Uh, I can't even remember what the hell we're collecting now. So if we just have a look at... Don't worry about that creature thing there. We already know what we're looking for. Um, and we've, we're have we almost done. We've got 100% now of the Gahuls. Just 88% of the Raga and the Muesli. It's literally just um, finding the species now. So what we're going to do, we're going to head to the opposite side of the area. And we're basically going to open it. We're going to open it up now. Uh, so we'll open up the Raga. Or connect to the Raga, I should say. Go over to the jump spot. Jump up. Uh, continue onwards. Jump over to the next pad. Or jump from the next pad. And there's the final upgrade, by the way. And once we go down and hit the bridge, we will be able to get that finale upgradios. So we can just um, get down, leave the Raga chill out. Um, and then what we're going to... Oh, one of my... Ah, this is the area where one of my mueslies are missing. Uh, so that's why... <laughs> again, again, it may happen to you, it may not. But if one of your animals is missing and you can't find it anywhere, like it's happening right now, again, just, just save the game and then reload it. And then come back into it later on. So grab the muesli anyway. Press the charge button. The X button to charge. And do the same with this one. 
So that is two done. Now, if you've done it in the way I've done it, where you go straight on rather than at an angle, you will get one each rather than hitting them both at the same time. Uh, but that, with doing that, that should now have given you 100% of the muesli now that we've um, used the co-op ability. There are more opportunities anyway, so... Um, but yeah, we've already done over one, so that's fine. So you should be on 100% now anyway for Mr. Muesli Bags. So it will go up, grab that bit of lager right there, destroy the withering. Come on. Your aim, your reach is crappy. And then head up, uh, grab these plants, and then finally grab the last upgrade of the area, the next health kit. Right, so there's only one thing left to do in this area, and that is get rid of these creatures. Now, remember, I do have one muesli missing, so we are going to save and reload uh, just to get that one out of the way. So grab the few that you can for the time being, teleport it up. Um, and yeah, so there should be one that is missing, which it, it is. He just decided to pop himself off. Rest in peace, my homie. Rest in peace, my bruh. Uh, so yes, so what we'll do then is we will save the game and reload it, reload it just like we did earlier when one of the, the Hizmits got stuck. Well, there you are, you brain-rotted, cherry-headed monkey nuts of Dianus. Anyway, grab him, chuck him in the bot, let's get him down and done. <laughs> right, now we're gonna go ahead and grab the last center of the area. So take a left, jump up onto the platform, grab another bit of lagger, 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 lagger. Jump up again, grab another bit of lagger, 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 lagger. And some other stuff, and then to the right is where we're going to grab the final sensor of the region. Uh, I can feel the calm. Right, so once we are all done with here, what we're going to do now is... I mean, we've got a lot of skill points going on now, but what we're going to do now is go into our map and go to the Aleph's Prime study uh, center, which is in the middle of the map. Okay, so next up, we are gonna go straight in through the doors, or through out of the doors, whichever way. And we are now going to get our flute and dootin' out. We're going to get rid of uh, the creatures in this area. Get them nice and saved. So, pop these boys over. Again, the ones that tried attacking us, blinding us, blounding us, poisoning us, sticking us as uh, Get those three done anyway, and the others should be just over the opposite side of the area. Oh my god, that just took me too long. That took me too long to do. Anyway, grab these and pop them up and around, and that'll be it for this area. Your 
Right then, so that's where we're heading, right there. Uh, into the Kaisho cave, into the little Doug Trio cave. We are now going to get rid of these two, pop them in a box as well. So there should be a bot on the left, and of course the Kaisho's are two right there, so flute them up and get them gone. Our quota for the swamp. Right, so that's another quest done. The rescue of Maruba Swamp and Trifles Trilo uh, is done. Now we should be on 100% on everything except for the Kaisho, where we need three more. Uh, we need to rescue three more of them to get 100% on that. But what we are going to do now is one, we are going to go to the lake um, at the very top of the map. And two, at the very top of, uh, so yeah, so we'll go to the Lake Propriety Station, or Temporary Station, sorry. Now we're going to get the second dinosaur out of three for the Easter Egg Achievement. So as you come out, stay here, ignore the animals, screw them guys. And if you have a look right up at the cliff, which kind of looks like something from The Lion King, doesn't it? Braj, Kenya, bubbly, bubble There is the next dinosaur, and again, as long as it pops off, like so, pop. That has counted, so you should now be on two out of three of those dinosaurs for the Easter Egg achievement. Now, these guys have not been tamed, so um, they are what they are, and they will attack you. Um, there's no point, literally, we're just going to be running back and forth past them, so there honestly is no point um, <clears throat> taming them. So we're going to go up, and we're going to head straight up the zip line where we're going to get into the village. That's a long way up. So, head into the village and we'll have a little chat with Trifly Trifle Bags. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> huh. So, having a chat with Neymar, even though we could have probably literally just done that over the radio, but <laughs> what do I know, huh? <laughs> So we're going to head back down and we're going to go towards the zip line to head back down. Again, don't bother taming the creatures because, quite frankly, we hate them and they hate us. Yeah, go away. Anyway, now we can actually get over to the other side. You've got uh, a story-related, story kind of looks stoned as anything, shoom right there. But if we go around, um, what we're going to do now is going to be a cutscene. And we need to make sure to take a picture of this guy when the cutscene ends. Niminak. Nick. Nickelodeon. Nickel balls. Nickel backs. So this guy's name is U Coop, but um his, it actually spells U-C-U-P. So, he's pretty gross. He's C-N-S-P. U-C-U-P? I don't want to see you pee. No! Anyway, take a picture of u cup and his P. Or with or without his P, it doesn't matter. Um, and then, what we're going to do now, we're going to head to the Swamp Teleport Secondary Station. Over on the sort of right-hand side of the map there. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, and then once we're here, take an immediate left and an immediate left again. And we are going to jump through the window. Take a right and head out of the door. And we've got a couple more uh, Kaishos that we can disinfect and get rid of. So disinfect these boys down the bottom. Once they're all done, uh, connect up with a Ragatoni. 
and you can see the uh, big holes things right there. So what we're going to do, we're going to take it the next left. Um, we are going to go through the... No, we're not. We're going to jump up on the jump pad. Sorry, so jump yourself up. And then we'll go through the next hole. And if we turn the camera around, we can then unsmash the bridge with our claw leap. Wow! And then jump again. And then use the other your other claw leap to get rid of the other bridge as well. And then we can jump all the way back down. So onto the next jump pad, go across, down the hole. And then where's the jump pad? There it is. Hit the jump pad and get back down. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know what the hell's wrong with my voice. Um, so you don't even have to enter the next hole right there. That's actually just nothing. So don't worry about that. So we can go ahead and disconnect. And then from here, what we can do is we will go and jump up. Uh, so we're going to start cr uh, crossing the bridges that we just got rid of, um, smashed out from the Raga. Uh, so there's the first withering on the left right there. There is another one at the top. So let's go and smash out that piece of withering as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Got there eventually, and then we can head back down. All the way down. And we're going to run straight up, and there's some more infected Kaiko Shaiko. Oh no, they're not. They just need to be tamed. Close enough. Close enough. Theory. Theory. So once you've tamed the Shroom, we're going to head back down and then we're going to tame the two Raggers now on our right. And yeah, let's get them gone, lads and laddiasses. So get everyone that you can. One of them may be stuck and if that's the case, well, we'll just have to get them, won't we? Okay, let's see right now. There are more that we need to grab as well, and we will be grabbing those in a bit. So we'll just head straight back up. Ah, oh, look at you. Come here, stupids. And you, Mr. Shroom Shroom. So we'll worry about the rest of the creatures in a bit. So what we're going to do is head up the steps straight from the bot. Um, oh, and we have now should have now 100%ed the Shiros as well. So if we check the Avapedia, uh, Kaishos, not Shiros, sorry. So now every animal in this area has been 100%ed. There we go. And now we've got every uh, plant as well. So there should only be four plants left to get in the dune area. And ignoring that question mark up there, that should all be good to go. So we should be on track for another 1,000 out of 1,000. It's been a long one, I suppose, isn't it? Right, we're dropping down into the hole and continue dropping down and down and run to the flower. There we go, nice. So there is another statue in this area that we're going to grab. So from this flower, head onto the bottom of the... Um, tower or whatever you want to call it go to the left uh, just activate the zip line continue onto the flower jump across again and then continue jumping through the flowers and over to the other side we need uh jump up we're gonna need to get rid of the withering and then jump across and then holy monkeys of moly balls there she blows final statue hmm
So, there she blows then, we've got it, so we can continue on our way, we've got every collectible in the area, so just jump straight through and follow the waypoint this time. The main quest waypoint, open it up with the research store station door key. Oh me dorky, you're a dorky. Right, so, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put Hannah in the one and then make a run for it. So, right trigger with the Hannah, keep right triggering until you get to the other side. And then we're going to take a left to go down. Sorry, this area can be slightly dark. Uh, we have now found a new location, the Swan Base. So continue just heading down, jump down, all good, on the hood. Bump and bump skis. And up we get. And oh, look at this. This is beautiful. Ah. It's Damn beautiful. Right, take a left and head up the steps. And you're going to use the dome ability. So, nip yourself through. Get rid of the withering, of course. Because you ain't going far if you don't. And crawl through. Delishimundo. Head through into the door. And straight down. Again, it's pretty much a linear path, you know. Um, but, you know, just in case, yeah. So, get rid of this withering. And it's going to start moving. Ah, and that is supposed to be a tail, but I'm telling you right now, it looks like something else in my brain. So let's not talk about it. Anyway, crawl through the little crawl space there on the right and continue going around. Uh, when we come up to this area, we are now going to use... No, we're going to go into the right, so up the steps slightly and through into this door. Oh, in fact, no, we're going straight through actually with a Hannah. Sorry, that's my bad. And then up through into this area here, we can get a couple of healing brews, which we haven't managed to grab for a while, have we? Uh, but we can grab a couple of those, and there's some other things as well, which we don't particularly need, nor want. Right, so once you are good with this area, then um, again, head to the left, and make sure you climb. I say make sure, you're going to have to climb. <laughs> and then there is another tablet memo from Dr. Michel Dupont. Hello, Maria, Doctor. Uh, grab another healing brew as we head up. And oof, that's looking slimy. Uh, so that's going. And there's going to be a cutscene. And then what the hell is that thing? Tabitha, now I take orders from this. Holy crap! On a snake bag, it's a snake. It's the Marasik, which is the final creature of the region. So make sure to take a picture of it. Now, of course, we don't have to do... Um, this is the only Marasik in existence, so we don't have to do everything that we've done with the other creatures. Um, in fact, taking a picture and petting it is that is all we've got to do. And we will pet it in just a mo, Mr. Bro. So make sure, again, that you've taken the picture, and now we're going to free it. So from here, we're going to go to the left-hand side steps, first of all. And then up. And then we're going to get rid of this with the ring. I'll try that again. There we go. And then continue your way and jump across. Sorry, I was going to say up, but we needed to jump across. Take the left. And that doesn't work yet because it is behind a piece of glass. So we need to obviously go around. Again, try not to get into the poison of Nuss. As it turns out, poison's pretty poisonous. Head to the left, and this is where the withering is. And then, for some reason, I got lost from here. That's why there's a slight edit. But all you got to do is literally keep going straight and around. You've got to go down where the withering was. So drop straight down. And there is another memo here. Dr. Kratavus. Communique one. Dr. Kratter, Dr. Kratter. Do, do, do. Get rid of the withering. Once you got rid of the withering, we can continue. Um, well... <laughs> As soon as the snake tail, uh, the Marasik tail goes off, follow where it came from. Open up the door, go to the left. Go down the steps and we can now head to the other side. We are almost done with the swamp area, finally. Not as long as the other ones though. Go through the, uh, go upstairs, sorry, don't go through the door because it's not even open. So we're going to go upstairs, go through the uh, door on the right. And then just follow it around. And we can drop down into this middle area. You're going to have to put your Hanar on because over to the left there is another 
tableted memo. And there is some withering in the top right hand corner. So I'm at it, boys. So again, obviously, you're going to have to keep choosing between the crist. So holding the right trigger to obviously choose between the crist and the Hanar ability. There's Gobunique 2 with Dr. Sayers, Dr. Sayers. And then we can head out through the door. This is all wrong. It sounds pretty wrong. All right, so with those bits done, we can now head to the waypoint with the Mara 6 looking a bit knackered, which he's been trapped for what seems like for days and centuries. But... Uh, Oh my god! Please, don't crush me, you son of a bitch. As it turns out, no, he didn't crush me. And once we skip the cutscenes... Have you cleaned the infection? How does the creature look? Is it help? But you will now have 100% because during that cutscene, you would have petted the Marasik. So there was no way to miss that one. So we only have four creatures in the next area, the next region left to do. So let's crack on. So follow the waypoint there, just to the right. Turn on the generator. And we is Gol Den. The poison disperses. It disappears. Um, let's just climb the ladder. Let's get out of here. I have some idea. I'm gonna have to leave you, Mama Snake. Okay. So once we are up, let us, uh, well, effectively, all we're going to do now is just follow the waypoint. So out of here, take a right and make yourself be known. Uh, is there another affected creatures here? Oh, man, I just, you know what? Once you've got 100% on all the animals, you just, you don't care anymore. You just don't care. Uh, I suppose get rid of these then. Make your Hanar be known. Get the green snot orb going and get inside this little area. Uh, destroy the wither on the left. And then that should be good. So let's just wait now. There we go. Uh, we are going to... What are we going to do here? Oh, we're going to flute and doot them again. Let's flute and doot the bugs. Come on, you. Get over here as well. And then simply, you know, avoid the spiky poison deaths. And we're going to get in... The building, or through the building, as it were. There we go. Happy days. And then the bot, as you can see, is just over onto the right. I suppose what it does do is give us a couple more points for some extra skill points, if needed. So that's handy. So go back, um, basically, the way that we came. So back through this little, like, building area. And, um, oh, is there someone missing? Oh, you stupid guy! That's why we come back this way, because stupid ragga guy. So check all the creatures, you should be on all 100% and 100% collectibles as well, so everything should be good. So now we're going to go to the Swamp Teleport Secondary Station again, and again, and again. And we're going to drop down, we missing the poison, done it this time. Oh god, that, well that's good. 
Um, some grabbing some plants is pretty much it's pretty much pointless grabbing these plants now. But hey, it's an automatic switch I have in my brain. Um, so let us just continue on going forward. We have to do like this little secondary quest here. There's two people on a rock. Talk to them and then go ahead and take a picture. We haven't taken take a picture first because we actually haven't taken a picture of Liliwa. Or, uh, no, we have taken a picture of Eggplants, or whatever his name is. Uh, and then talk to them, then you'll need to take a picture of them again, and then that's the quest done. Ava's nostril has been completed. Ava's nostril. Okay, right, go back into your map. We're going to go back up to the lake temporary station fast travel point. There it is, right at the top of the map. And okay, so we got the second dinosaur. We've got all the collectibles. Uh, the second dinosaur for the Easter egg is what I meant. So now just head to the left. Oh my good God. That was a slap and a half there. So spanking your hairy, you cheeky git. Heading back up to the zip line. We're going to go back into the little main village area. We are going to go ahead and speak to Borek, who's going to finish his quest. So I'll do. He's good. He's happy. He'll go. And then we can go into the village again. And we're going to go ahead and speak to... Um, um, uh, what was you? U Cup. U I C U P. That guy. And that's going to complete the human legacy. And then we are going to try and speak to Trifle. I don't think we can. So we can just go ahead and speak to Neymar Jr. And everybody's a happy. Everybody's a happy, no man. Okay, right, let us get out of here then. We are now officially done with the swamp area. So let's go back down. We're going to go back down the zip line. And then we've just got one uh, slightly shorter area left to go, which is the dunes. And then that's pretty much the game's end. Where, of course, within the next, you know, I don't think we've even unlocked 10 achievements yet, have we? Uh, so we're going to be unlocking quite the handful over the next hour and a bit. So continuing forward over the bridge here, back to the Marasic home. And then right in the old poisoned waterfall, we are going to climb down. And this is your last chance again to make sure that you've got everything and you've collected everything. So make sure that you have, um, doesn't matter about the skills, but just make sure then that the creatures, everything's on 100%, which they should be. And there we go. Yep, everyone's happy, so that's 100% there. Take a look at the characters. You should now only have three left to do. So you've only got three left in the next June area to do. Yep, come on. All right. Everyone knows. Have a look at the places. There is one question mark there, uh, two actually, which we'll get uh, in the grasslands in just a bit. And then if we head down, there are still nine left to grab, which again, we will get in the next region, of course. So that should be nine there. Have a look at the plants. You should only have four left to get in the next area. So that's what we should be on. And that's Turkleton, Vectra. Ah, Vectra, that's a Stranger Things demon. And uh, yeah, that's it. So we should be good to go. 100% on everything, plus all the collectibles. Let's go. Oh. Ah, 
Ah, so here we go. We're back. We're back home. It's looking a bit nighttime-ish now. But the first things we're going to do, we're going to head down, speak to Fenty and Ishar in order to get those two quests updated and done. So Fenty will be the first one here. Uh, I don't even know which animals he's after, to be honest. But, you know, again, we would have done that one. So that's the quest updated because we've done that. And then, of course, head down, slightly right, speak to Ishar again. And this time, because I haven't been stupid and got rid of all the plants in the crafting table, um, the quest will actually update from there. So now, go to your craft table, take every plant out, and put it into your craft, out of your inventory and into the craft table. If you can, of course. So the ones that I just discarded there were just like the stamina potions and stuff like that. We really, really, really don't need them. Right, so don't speak to Tabitha yet. Go ahead and speak to U ICUP. UCUP even. Huh? And as if we haven't been busy enough in this game, we've still got to do secondary side quests here. So turn around and go ahead and speak to Oblong as well. Get his side quest going. Finally, just turn around and go ahead and speak to Tab Waitha. Big old tabby, tabby, tab, tab, top, top. Huh. Oh. Hmm. And then after this, t turn to your right and go ahead and speak to Chief Trifle. Time for some portrait photography. Right, so go into your quest by pressing the Y button on the map and you're gonna change it to expressions of love. Because uh, we need to photograph specific people. They'll all have the names above them and obviously the ones to photograph they'll let you know. So the first one we're gonna photograph then is Sebti, the old Sebastian Vettelie. That'll be the first one. Uh, you could just discard it, it literally doesn't matter, or replace it, doesn't matter. Turn around and go and camera Isha. Nomtastic. Nomtastic. Porktastic. Right, next up, we are going to t go to the left. They're all going to be in this uh, general area, so it's fine. So we're going to the left, we're going up, and we're going to photograph Fenty next. Obviously, the wood sculptor, bro. That's a pretty cute picture. Yeah, you got to replace that. That's cute. Uh, next up, go up, and uh, so behind you, and go up, and we're going to take a picture now of Chief Honlo. On low, everyone. There we go. Nice smiley boy. He looks a bit happier than the, the first time we took a picture of him. And finally, we are going to go and uh, up on the bridge and photograph VT VT Vitamins. 
Nomtastic. Okay, yeah boys. All right, that's done. So now we can go all the way back down and speak to Obon and get this quest completed. So just follow the waypoint down and to the left there he is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's the expressions of Right, so that is where we're going to be heading out, because now we have to go and find Nini Nuki, or Nicky Naki Noodlehead, whatever his name is. So, heading out, and go to the right, and obviously you're going to see this big piece of withering in the way, so we're going to unwither the withering. Uh, yeah, yeah, you don't have to dome it. You don't have to dome it, man. So, head inside, down. Ooh, cosy. It's a lot cosier than the outside, isn't it? Ooh, a strong healing brew. We will take a strong healing brew, actually. You're going to have to dome this part, though. So, nip your way through. And, ooh, a perfect healing brew. Oh, my God. That is fantastic. Uh, now we're going to have to hana our green orb through. So, heading around and down. Get rid of the uh, wither. And, again, just use the right trigger there to... Give yourself a little protective barrier. Head down and you're going to find two statues. That's cute. Hmm. So that'll be five and six out of seven done. So now get rid of the withering again. Obviously once you've changed it to the old crystal, Christy the Clowns. And then from here, what we can do, we're going to, uh, yes, so we got one upgrade left and one statue left. That's what I was looking at then, sorry. So one of each left. So head up the steps from the same place you just got the withering, basically to head back out of this area. So you're going to have to hammer your way back down. Don't go to the right, we're going to the left and get out of here. Right, so now we can go back into the map and we can press the Y button to get our quests out again. And we're going to go for the Niki Nuki Naki Nuku. Come home. Niwiuk. Niwiuk. Come home. So all we're doing is simply following the waypoint and it's literally just heading to the right now. Uh, ignoring any animals that there may be and just continue to climb up the path or the platforms and whatever. Keep going up anyway. So, yes, the old uh, stoned shoom, or the old sh shoom. He definitely looks like he's had a few uh, puffy puffs, as it were. Uh, so we're going to, even though we can fly, he can only sort of follow the same path that you can go down. So keep him on the ground, keep following down, and then keep it on heading around. And let's get him back to uh, you, Coop, or Pee Pee Pants. Good job. Right, now we're going to go for a little spin and go for a little ride on this guy's shoulder. Thank you, sir. Yes, I be a parrot now and again. But we can't stay here for too long. We're going to have to jump off. I'm sorry. So we're going to have to jump off shoulder. What we're going to do now is find, uh, go to the Antar Dunes sibling tree at the bottom of the map. Because now we are going to start heading into the Dunes Gate. Um, so from here, what we're gonna, where we, where we, where we, it always, it looks obviously very different than it did before because there's no water left. 
Um, head to the right. Again, just ignore all of the creatures. We really don't need to be taming them. Uh, so continue heading up to the right. And up to the right again. All the way up. They shouldn't be following you now, the creatures. So you should be all fine and dandy. Mr. Andy. Uh, from here, uh, just continue on going to the right. There is only really one path that we can go. Uh, drop down. Up these little steppy rock steps. Climbing up. And we found the Forbidden Forest. The Forbidden Forest of Love. Right, don't do the withering just yet. We're going to get our Hana ability out. And we are going to make a break for it through the Hana ability. We're going to be getting the last statue and upgrade in this area. So use the dome and keep popping through. You're going to need to change... Oh, at each ouch. So continue going around. And we're going to use the uh, Levitation ability on. Get that going. And then take a right here. And here, not here, but just through the next area, is going to be the final statue. So what we will do now is get the dome out so we can use the dome. And we'll just try that again. And then use the Hanar ability again, head through. And the final statue, and just to the right of it, is the final upgrade of the grasslands. Boom. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, now, man, now that's vitality now. Right, let us get the remainders of the skill trees. We've literally got enough points and then some to do it um, before we head on. So we are going to nip into the skill tree. And again, you should have more than enough now to just fill everything out. And if you're wondering why the achievement hasn't unlocked yet, we do have one more skill left to do in the Dune region. So, uh, yep, but at least we've got everything skill done and we are good to go and in preparation to get that one. So, let us now put the Crist on and get rid of these two withering. So we can start heading now towards the Dune Gate and smashing out the final area of the game. Oh my god, guys. Right, but when we get to this area, again, ignoring the creatures, because screw you guys. Head to the right, and we can activate this zip line. Don't think it makes a difference, but it is just in case you fall or something. I suppose it's a, just an easy way to get up, isn't it? And then from here, we're going to go straight again. Use your Hanar ability to nip straight through. And finally, the Dune Gates. Speak to Neymar. Let's do this. Okay, so this this is it. 
this is the last bit. We've only got around an hour um, of the dunes left to do. So, of course, we still have to um, photograph the other animals and um, do the uh, grab all the plants. So there's the first one, the jasmine stem, which is just behind us there. There's another one if you need it. Uh, now, remember, we need... Uh, and, oh, there's an aloe vera, aloe riva flower. Um, uh, now, remember, even though later on we won't be collecting as many plants as we orb our way through... We still need at least one of each in order to give to Isha back at the grasslands. So um, grab a health booster from you and then orb your way back. This time heading to the left to continue dropping down. Jump, jump yourself over and grab another plant. And again, this is where in the next hour or so we're going to start popping them achievements like people just pop cookies or something. Right, so, welcome to the Great Ruins then, I suppose. Let's not jump down there, because that uh, it will be, as it turns out, death. Uh, here's another one as well, the gu the gun gun -tum, gun -tam, gun -tam sap. Gun -tam sap. There's another one as well, so that should be three out of the four plants that we've already got, so use your withering, or destroy the withering, and get up on the lift. And let's head outside. Well, let's just grab another plant first, another aloe vera plant. And then let's head outside. Hooray. So this is where we're going to get the crafting achievements um, out of the way. So basically, uh, what we need to, after we just speak to uh, chicken bags right here, armadillo. armadillo. We can my way to armadillo. Uh, make sure to take a picture, of course, of Chief Armadillo, uh, Amarello. Okay. Ancolino. And once that is done, so now we have, um, now we have the ability to craft every item at least once. But, and I will show you in a, in a bit, we have to go into trinkets and we have to at least, um, we have to at least, if we have a look in trinkets, they're in your inventory, go over to the right there. We have to craft 75 consumables. Um, so, it only takes about, you know, five minutes or so to do 75, but I'm not going to uh, stick the five minutes on. The rest then are just for completing uh, certain animals' cards and stuff like that. But the main one there is for crafting 75 consumables. So all you're going to do then is press the X button once on each one. Providing that you've got enough uh, flowers, which you should have. Um, you may need to gr uh, drag some from your inventory back into your... If, you, if you've if you run out of room or anything, you may need to drag one of the flowers up from your inventory... Uh, from the craft campfire up to your inventory. Uh, but I'm just discarding these for the, uh, only the crappy ones that we need for the time being. So again, we're just going to head... Come on... Come on, just discarding another couple right there. But all you've got to do then is head down to the bottom ones, press the X button on each one to craft, and that is... Ta-da! Jesse! So, that's craft all consumables at least once. And now, what we're going to do is, again... So, with all the skills upgraded as well now, um, we are now going to do, basically, just healing brews. So, we should have plenty of of leaves available. Now with the mini game, if you put it right in the middle, you will get three. So obviously you don't have to do this 75 times. As long as you put the marker in the middle, each time uh, in in the middle, you'll get three, which does count. So you'd be going three, six, nine, 12, 15, etc. So just keep doing this for, again, it, it only took about two or three minutes of doing this. And then that's where I got the trinket. These uh, crafting 75 consumables trinkets are done. So there it is. You'll know when it appears because it'll say new trinket available. So you can go ahead and just have a look in your bag if you want. Um, again, it, this is needed for to unlock the 100% achievement guide later on. Uh, all, all achievements done. So that one is now done then. So we've got all the trinkets and we've got the Jesse achievement as well. So you're speaking to Lord uh, Ankalolo. 
and then we're going to get our first wind chime. So head to the left of this little tiny building that we came out of. Take a picture of the first wind chime. Look what we got here. Right, so now that we have got all the crafting ones done, we are not going to, or I'm not going to anyway, uh, be grabbing all plants on the way past. I'm not going to go out of my way to grab any plants, simply because we don't need them. But we need to remember at least one of each uh, plant type from this area. So just make sure that you've got at least one in your inventory. Otherwise, we can just head straight on through. And uh, this replicator is basically... Uh, it, it makes the absorbing, absorption and spell stronger, but I uh, don't really need to use it in all fairness. Um, so head to the right there, and we can take another picture of Takti, Talky Porky, and go ahead, uh, Tukti, sorry. Tuk 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 woo woo! Chugga 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 chugga. So there's eight, there's eight chuggers in that, so eight tuggers. Anyway, once you've spoken to him, so I just remember there being a question on Facebook and how many chuggers there are before you say choo-choo. It's eight, I think, unless I just got that wrong. Anyway, head to the right once we have spoken to Tukka Tukka Tukti. And we are going to see some major animals here. The first one is an infected Geigo. So the infected Geigo. Now, the... Oh, and the second wind chime, if we turn to the left as well of where we're standing, that's the second wind chime done too. What a beautiful creature So, just like in the other regions then, you need to take a healthy photo, an infected photo, and pet them as well. Uh, of course, they're already tamed, so you don't need to worry about that. But you, um, we haven't actually got the song for this region yet, but you can pet them anyway. So that'll be the first three ticks. The one good thing, though, is we don't have to send them anywhere. So there are no bots in this level. So that sort of eases the pressure on that for a bit, especially for the 100%. Um, grab another aloe vera flower if you want it right there. Otherwise, we're going to go towards the back of this area where there is another infected creature. Now, this boy looks pretty messed up. The Asher. Brim full of Asher spoon in. 45. Right, but we're going to get rid of this guy's infection too. So you've taken the infected photo, make sure to take a healthy photo, and again, we can pet him. He literally has a pair of binoculars on his head. But it kind of just reminds me of, I mean, women who have big binoculars to carry around as well, shall we say. Does that not hurt your back? Because this looks like it could hurt this dude's neck and head. Well, that looks heavy. So, uh, yeah, big binoculared women, does your back hurt? Because, goddamn. This guy's head must be killing him. Uh, it's just a genuine question. I don't have big binoculars myself. Obviously. Uh, right, so anyway, uh, let's have a look at the Avapedia. So we've got the guy go. So as you can see there, we're just going to use the co-op ability and cure the infections rather than uh, rescuing some of the species now, which is good. So from where we were with the Asher, turn around and you need to use your Hana ability to get through. Head to the left. And we're going to get rid of this, uh, um, uh, uh, that thing. Head up these steps then to the left in order to find our first statue. You, as well. <laughs> I don't know what happened with my own voice then. Right, 
Right, with that done, head to the left of where the sensor was. Uh, the, the statue, sorry. Get your Levitarciano out, get inside, jump across, and there's the first out of two upgrades. And then we can simply just turn to the right slightly, and as you can see, you got some stuff to do. Uninfect the diseased. Right, so with that done then, what we'll do is drop down and then head sort of, um, well, we're back in the sort of, almost into the, uh, in fact, no, we are in the sort of first area that we were in. So we're going to head through, we're going to follow the waypoint. I actually forgot to do this one a little bit earlier, sorry about that. Uh, but we follow the waypoint and into this little building here, we are going to get rid of the withering and then photograph the notes and then bring them back to Toucan Towns. Non music notes look pretty wild. And of course, that now gives us the ability to team some animal with the tune of the dunes. The tunes of the dunes. Right, so let's go and do some tuning dunings. And of course, we've got to use some co-op abilities and all that. So head into this area with the Gaigo, with the Gilo, the Gilo, the Gilo. Um, and connect with him. And what we can do is push this block. We're going to need to push this block. Use it all the way. And that's job done. That doesn't count as a co-op ability, unfortunately, but that's fine, because obviously we've got plenty of opportunities to do that. Um, so let us climb up on top of set. I don't know what the hell I'm up to. There we go. Having some controller issues or something? I don't know. Anyway, climb up. Oh, you're going to have to... Uh, so we're going to have to go to dome. And so put dome in the right-hand side one. So you'll use right trigger for dome. And then quickly on the floor, press right bumper for your uh, levitations. That obviously went as well as I expected it to. Lol, not at all. And of course, I messed that up. So yeah, you can see what I was trying to do though, right? Right, right, right. <laughs> And as the saying goes, second time's a charm. I don't know what saying, but it's done anyway. So pick up the Dr. Tur memo note and then use the, um, you have to go back and use the Christy the Clown. And get the withering out the way. There's some craft table there if you need it, but we literally do not anymore. So we can jump down, head to the right. And the withering has opened up this ball dome so we can turn on the generator. Ta-da, there we go. Uh, right, so this uh, sandstorm is uh, pretty darude. Nah. Get it? Darude? Sandstorm? This sandstorm is rude? Darude? Yeah, you get the joke. Anyway, uh, connect with the Asher, the old big binocular heads, and there's a couple of pipes that we can... Pipes, not pipes, but pillars that we can knock down. So there's the first one, which was directly behind us. Now turn directly around again, go past us as Victoria Hamilton. And here is the second pillar. Bang. And then if we look to the right, um, just past the sort of dome and the generator area, there is going to be a third one. There is also a uh, there's another two here, actually, which we're going to do. There is also a fifth one to the left of where we are now, but it doesn't actually do anything. Uh, all that counts for is a co-op ability. So if you want to grab that one, you can, but I don't bother because we're going to get them all later anyway. So there's two. Uh, oh, in fact, that one doesn't even do anything. That just counts as a co-op ability as well. So 
job done. So once you've gotten the, all of the pillars down, let's get out. In this area as well, there is, so from the left of the dome, these new plants, these blue new plants. Uh, Poppet Cocoon. Poppet Man. Oh, I fight this last one. So thankfully, it's not poisonous achievement. Should unlock now, thanks to you having it discovering all of the planterings. Hooray. And we get a new, uh, the scar, um, location as well. So turn back and then go ahead and get rid of these guys. So once you've slapped them out then, turn to the left and go down this pathway. And then eventually what we're going to see is somewhere to jump up on the right, not past that bit. Continue heading down and down and down, past the replicator or whatever that's called. And then this is going to be the area. There we go. So basically all the way down. This is the area that we're looking for then. A little bit of white bright lights there. Jump up. And we can just head down. Jumping over. There's more infections to do. You get. Right, that's another successful thing done. So we're going to uh, smash out this bit of withering right here. That's going to open up the way for us again, of course. And then what we'll do is we need to go into our hangar. Or Hara, I've already forgotten what it's called. Hannah. Go through to the left. There's the next statue. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Right, once you're done here then, we are going to head back through, and uh, so get your Hanar ability out again, and then we are going to connect with a Gelgo. Sorry, I thought the L was an I for some reason earlier, so I thought it was called Geigo, but uh, nope, it's a Gelgo, and we're going to push this block, and we're going to push the next block, just move them happily, <coughs> excuse me, out of the way, and then we are going to uh, go back and use the Asher. So get old binocular head out, and then we're going to go back into that same location and knock the pillar down. All right, that's dropped down. We can disconnect now, and now it's our turn to go where the Asher went. So uh, if I can just find that, yeah, man, these Darude sandstorms are a bit of a pain in the butt bags. Uh, but no, we're actually going to go. To the left and up the steps first of all. We are going to open up the waypoint. Or levitate that. Get rid of the withering. And we'll just... Okay, I guess we're not jumping back out just yet. Now we'll jump back out. And now we can head towards where the Asher is. And climb the pillar that we previously couldn't climb before. Jump straight up and across. And we are going to use the levitation again. So jump it up, levitate it up, come on, and drop straight down, lovely, oh my god, right, use the Hanar ability again, and we're going to need to um, use Crist as well, which can be slightly confusing, so the Hanar ability and Crist, and update it again, and we have the next and final, actually, permanent upgrade. So there we go. That's the final one. You should have now got the that felt nice achievement for unlocking all the skills. So that's one thing we don't have to worry about looking for now. So heading out and heading towards the next pillar, which is already mashed up on our right. So give yourself then a leap across, of course, and we're going to use the Dorm ability. Again, to just nip through the gate here. There it is. So use that and head on through. 
And we come into another area with some new creatures. Big, scary, flying bird boy uh, is what we're going to encounter first as we continue going straight. So there we go. We'll go ahead and take a picture of him. I uh, can't remember what he's called. He's called Scary Zubat. Carbat. Carbot. Carbat. Oh, give me a carbot. Uh, anyway, so just go ahead. He is uh, infected. So come here, douche boog. So you do have to try and, um, you know, get rid of the infection. There he is. There he goes. Bro looking like a primo wolverine right there. So, uh, take a picture of him healthily as well, and obviously make sure that you have petted it as well to go for the three solid ticks on the Avapedia. There it is. And then from here, what we'll do then, we are going to use the Flute and Doot, and we are going to use the Carbolt, or Carbat, sorry. So, from where we are then, there are a couple of towers around. Now, we need to find uh, two specific ones. So the first one from where we are, it kind of, can be kind of hard to tell, uh, but it's only small towers. Uh, so the first small tower is, I believe, going to be this one. It is this one. So it's this, uh, this uh, small tower. Again, kind of hard to see where it is in the map, especially when you've got the Darud Sandstorm going. But you can go ahead and claw your way through there. And if you look at the blinking light, which is where the main objective is... That's and uh, that's where we're actually heading for because, as you can see in the distance now, the next stony part has a nice big wall for us to bash through as well. Bango! And there we go. That's good. That'll do. Carbolt. That'll do. So we'll just sort of fly it back. It doesn't really make too much of a difference, but we'll now disconnect. Disconnect the schnet. And to the left, you can see another infected Carbat, so we're going to get rid of that. Okay then, so from there, we are going to turn to the left again. We are going to look for another couple of infected. There they are. So on the sort of left-hand side of this area, um, we need to get rid of some more infected car bats. And that'll do quite nicely. So from here, turn around and you can see this uh, little tower, whatever it is that we're going to climb up into. And up here is the next statue. Statue number three out of ten for the area. Huh. Okay, let's head down, and this time we are going to go towards, so basically, effectively right, but you can see, like, this rock with some flowery bits on it. This is actually where the third dinosaur is. So this little rock right here with a whole bunch of flowers on it, literally to the right of where we were, this houses the third dinosaur. So take sure, take sure, make sure to take a picture. But the achievement won't unlock here. You actually have to do these, and then we have to go to the grasslands in order to find the secret room. 
So before we do that, we'll head now towards the blinking light in the in the distance, which will give us the portal. Uh, now we should be able to just climb up since we got rid of them all with uh, all of the blue what <laughs> not the blue balls, but the blue walls with the car bat. Um, nah, zip line activates from the other side because of course it does. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it just activate from both sides, huh? Anyway, up we go. There is another wind chime, which we will be getting as well. So if we look to the right, as soon as we climb up here, you can see it directly in front of us. Well, in a minute. As soon as you do the levitation, get your camera out, take the picture. That's wind chime number something. Ah, yes, of course. Three. Three out of seven. So I knew that. So you should already be on, of course, two out of two for the upgrades and three for the rest of them. Now, there was a bit of an edit there because when I pressed the B button, I actually rolled off to my death. So, yeah, that's a pain. Uh, heading around, make sure to grab this tablet from the desk of Dr. Tour. Use the zip line or activate it at the very least. And then turn around and use the generator. So, once we have turned on the generator... That'll do, so that'll be a nice little save point for us. What we're going to do now, we are going to head all the way to the map. And we are going to now head to the Aleph Prime's Grasslands base. In the, uh, well, in the Tamura Grasslands, of course. And the reason we're doing that is literally just on the outskirts of the village, slash town area, whatever you want to be calling it. There, it, there is now somewhere we can go. It would have been locked before, um, but now that we have... Photographed all three dinosaurs. Um, it will now be accessible to us. Now, the only reason that I'm getting rid of these is because they follow us the whole way and they can be a bit of a pain in the old button bags. So that's why I've done that. Aha, you lose. You lose, mister. Right, so from where we were and we jumped down, we are going to... Sort of stay, again, we we need to be staying on the outskirts of the village, not actually going in to the village. Um, but what you can do is just jump over the fence, so you're kind of a little bit safer. And then, again, just ignoring these guys. Yep, just, ju just jump over the fence, but stay on the sort of outskirts as we head around to the left. And then eventually what we're going to see is a little bridge. Where is it? Here it is, it's coming up, so we're going to see, oh, that's a bridge, <clears throat> like a log bridge, and a empty waterbed, drop down here, and this is where, well, this is exactly where we are on the map right now, in between the Ars village, uh, Arsira village, sorry, and the, and the, <laughs> so we're in between the Ohol tower and the Ars village, the Arsira village, that's hilarious. Um, but that is exactly where we are, so we need to use this uh, lift to go down, and this is what will unlock us the achievement uh, for the Easter eggs. Here it is, beautiful, rare achievement unlocked. That's got to be an Easter egg, and yes it is, it is the dev room. So again, if you need any other things, then you've got, well, there's, pl there's plenty here, uh, but of course we don't need any because we've collected everything by now. But yeah, so the fantastic, the fantastic old dev team who developed this brilliant game. They're all on that picture right there. So that is wonderful. And you can have a little read there from the devs. We're love. Oh, ho, ho. oh so yes, we have. Um, oh, oh, they didn't mention achievement guide. They only said trophy guide. <gasps> the Twitter console warriors are going to go off on one, boys. They're going to go off. How can you not? Xbox is better. PlayStation's better. Where, where, where? I'm a big baby. That's what you sound like when you're console warring online with other strangers, by the way. Okay, but anyway, that's very nice. Also, if you jump into the picture, there is a super secret room. Uh, it doesn't do anything else. It's literally just one of these guys just having a little a little jump up and down. Uh, some, some nice cats. Yeah. Mm, pretty kitties. Mm. But there is a good boy dog, and you can't beat a good boy dog. I mean, cats are okay, but they just scratch you up when they're happy or pissed off, so... Uh, yeah. But that's just me, but they're cute. Cute cats. Anyway, some wash in there, some... Someone's got a uh, stain on that underwear, they want to sort that one out, or just bin them. Always easier to bin them. 
But that's it in this room. So we finally have the Easter eggs. We're all done. Uh, they are looking suspicious. I hope they're just science experiments and not any other experiments. Anyway, let's get the hell out of here and go ahead and finish this game. Lift back up and then we are going to use the map to go back to the dunes. Okay, so now that we've done that, that's all fun. I was going to finish off the side quest as well, but I won't actually bother with that now until um, we've actually finished the dunes and we get back. We're not going to be in the dune area region for too long. So once you've dropped down the zip line, head to the right and don't go to the small gap there. Continue on because what you're going to see some more infected creatures to undo. <laughs> Calm down, calm down. Right, nicey and slicey. So once you've done with that, we can now head through the gap. We are here at the West Statue, just in case you didn't notice the big West Statue sign pop up on screen. And then we are going to head up to find some more infected species to infect. Right, once they are all chilled out, finally, we're going to head up these broken staircases. Or one broken staircase. Up we go. We're going to go uh, straight into the what looks like a deserted, abandoned thing. Uh, go to the left, and we're going to climb up. And up again, and we're going to take a right. Well, after we crouch here and go around, we're going to take... Uh, we're not taking a right, sorry. We're jumping across, and then we're just going out the window here. And then once we drop down, we're going to go to the left. And there is, if we just drop down here, we're going to take the next left. So keep jumping up to the left, up to the top, all the way to the top, all the way to the top. And we've got a nice bit of withering to unwither. So let's just bang this one out. Don't worry about going down the lift just yet. Uh, but what we're going to do, we're going to get our Ushun out. Ushun, Ashun and use the levitation process in order to jump across when it works, when it wants to work. So jump, jump, jump to your heart's content. Now we're going to use the dome ability again and then quickly use the levitation ability and then do your quick run, jump, stump and dump thing. Here we go. And then we'll levitate this up and then we're going to quickly use the withering or destroy the withering. That'll pop that one out, and that will now give us the ability to go in and use the next statue. Hmm. Okay, so continuing on forward and down. We are going to take a right. No, yes, we are. We are going to take a right. Sorry, we are because that's the way that we got to go. So taking a right, heading out through and we'll just drop down to this area. Take the stairs down because if you just drop down, you will die a death. There we go. And now we can head left and through into the next little areas. 
there is a sensor here coming up as well, which is literally just going to be on our right. Uh, we've found a new location called Decay. But um, let's go and uh, we're going to smash the zigzag, zigzag, the zip line, and then we're going to ride the zip line down. Hey, she blows. Dar, she blows, matey. So once you've ridden the zip line down, we're going to head to the uh, straight up the ladder, actually, just behind us. That's what we're doing. And then jumping across, climbing up the next ladder. Click, clop, click, clop. Jurgen, clop, boys. Yes, Jurgen, clop. And then we're going to climb up the next ladder. Man, this is getting, your legs are getting as exhausted as my voice on this now, in all fairness. Destroy the withering and interact with the first out of two sensors for the area. Uh, I can feel the calm of this place. One more of these bad boys left to go. So, directly behind you where we got rid of the withering. Um, we can head out that way, basically back to the broken staircase section. Um, head to the right again, and this time follow the path down and continue on your way so. And then we, we can just drop down here, so don't worry. We're just going to drop down all the way to the ground floor. And of course, doing it this way means we're not going to die, which will help. Use your Hanar ability, though. Go through the flowers to find the next statue. Hmm. Hmm. So, once you've done that, then that should be statue 5 out of 10, and now we can go and use the Hanar ability to just get back through the flowers. The poisonous, dead flowers. Drop down again. And this time we are going to drop all the way down to the floor. Apologies, I got a bit, um, I had a bit of a premature e torculation didn't I? So, my bad, but once we get to the end here, use the Hanar ability again. You might have to use the right trigger again. Uh, no, I should be fine. And uh, once we get into this uh, creepy looking area, at the back is going to be, uh, we're going to need to use the levitation. And Hannah your way through again. And then simply just go underneath to the left here for a cutscene. Aye, funny you should say that, Neymar. Where have you been, bud? What have you been doing? Big spiky pineapple douche. Right, so we are coming up to a big boy right now. So if you turn directly around to where Neymar's looking, use the dome ability, and we're basically coming up to a T-Rex called a Ran, which is, uh... Yeah, he, dude looks pretty scary. Uh, but he's not that bad, actually. So crouch underneath, and there he is just on the left. So again... If, uh, obviously make sure to take a picture of him first. And, oh, hello, just stay still. That'll be photographing all species of creatures. So all the creatures are done now, which you've got to get 100% on them all. Now, again, if you're having trouble, um, obviously you can use your dome ability to slow him down while you kick his ass. And he's actually a bit of a cutie bags, isn't he? So just make sure to take a clean photo of him as well. And go up to him and give him a pet too. <coughs> of course this wouldn't happen in real life. You would be chewed up, spit out and pooped out by now. Uh, but anyway, so that should be the three ticks on the random. There is a wind chime in this area as well. We'll be grabbing that in a minute. But we're going to go ahead and use a couple of ran abilities. The first one will be this big pillar. The tail spin, tail ram. Yep, and then directly behind you would be the tail. We're going to tail ram the blue wall. Something tells me you'd probably be doing more damage than just the little weak part in the middle, but there we go. So follow the. Uh, we're going to go through the wall, and we're going to need to get our levitation out and our hanar out as well. In fact, no, we're not. Sorry, we're just getting our levitation out. Because there is a wind chime behind the levitation, so once you've popped it open, get your camera out and then quickly take a picture of the wind chime. Oh, 
Ah, just about get it. Artifact. So there are the numbers then you should be on following along with the guide. We can just then turn around and head up the pillar that we got the ran to ram. Ran ram. Ah, we can just simply drop, simply, <laughs> simply drop down. Jump up onto these uh, pieces of big massive rocks. There is a piece of withering that we're going to get rid of right here. And then we are going to be going into an area with two rans. In fact, we're in that same area with two rans. So they're going to be popping up. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Eh. But what you can do then, instead of being the target of two big fat rans, you can actually, what you can do is just chain them up if you can. And then simply hide behind this big massive rock so you don't get smashed up. So let's go ahead and connect with one of the rams again. And then where we're going then is to the right hand side of where we were. So basically where we dropped down from. And we're going to tail ram this wall. And go straight through and tail spin, tail ram, tail ram this pillar as well. Get that down. Charlie Brown, get him back inside. Again, remember we don't need to rescue these species. So that is bang tidy, which just makes things a little bit easier, what we need. So let's have a look at the Avapedia. We haven't had a check for a while, so most of it should be on 85%. We just have to use, um, well, there we go. We just have to basically now use some of the co-op abilities for the most of them, and then that is job done. Uh, right, so from here, we can get off now. Obviously, we've got all the plants. Uh, there's just four more places left to do. And all the plants are done. So, yeah, getting through it. Getting through it now. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. So, let's go through to the place where we rammed the ran. Ran, rammed the wall. Yep. And the pillar. And we're going to get rid of this next bit of withering. Two. Two, three. Two, three. And we have found a new place called the Rests of Settlement, which this time it hasn't gone well for us. Huh. Hmm. So we need to effectively find two keys to build a bridge to finish the game now. Um, so let's go. Well, we just smashed the withering out. Now we're going to get our Hanar ability and we're just going to run straight through it. I did uh, pull the gun a little bit early there. Take a left there to find the next statue. Hmm. Right, so pop your Hanar ability back on. Big snobby green ball orb. And head back to um, Neymar. And then this time we can go through to the main looking area so get your dome ability out again of course and we'll just try that again there we go i can't do it with the right trigger i've got to do it with the right bumper only uh funnily enough and then when we head to the right we've got another couple uh let's get rid of this witherings and then there is another ran in order to slam And again, if you've been following along with this guide, this will be the last picture that we need to take of the character NPCs. Take it of Lars Ulrich right here, and you should get the cheese achievement. Hooray! And plus, 
in this area, there is a wind chime high up as well. Um, I don't get it yet. I do get it just as we're about to leave. It's right above where the ran is right now. You can see the blue just at the top right there. Um, but I'll be getting that in just a bit. Uh, but it's worth getting it now if you want. So grab the ran and then ram the wall. And of course, that's where we're going to be heading after we just get rid of the withering as well. Why did they make it this infection, bro? Take no good. Right, so what we'll do now is with the withering, uh, it just revealed a nice circle-y hole for us to go into. Use the Hanar ability. Go to the left. Use, uh, destroy the withering. Again, hit the right trigger again if you need it. And then just head back out. And then we can go inside and we'll have a cutscene with Neymar. Hmm. Hmm. So we'll spin the camera around and pretty much to the right of where Neymar Jr. is. We're going to climb this lift or jump onto the lift so we can lift ourselves up. Lift. It's one in a lift. And if we head to the right, we can find uh, another campfire crafting sensor. But if we go here, we'll find uh, to the right of where the crafting thing was is this next statue here. All right, so head back and continue on this time. So basically just going ahead and following the uh, what kind of looks like the withering. But you're going to use your lift ability and then use your crist ability. Get rid of the withering again, and that'll get rid of the crusty crustiness that is this crappy. Then go to the left here, open up this way, and we can just jump straight across in order to get in and find the, yes, the harmony key, finally. And again, my fat ass thinking they were chocolate donuts. Once again, god damn it, I got duped by another statue. Ugh, man. Ah, uh, well. Anyway, so from there... We will uh, just jump straight across. We're going to uh, go to the left, go back down and see Neymar again. Right then, so that's one quest complete and another one will begin. Now again, before, if you haven't already taken a picture of the wind chime, make sure to do that right now so we don't forget it before we leave. You may have to walk back a little bit, but there we go. Take a picture of that next one. Look what we got here. And then we can just simply head forward and out of here. We are now done with this particular area. So straight through. And you're going to get your Hanar ability out again, of course. And nibble, nobble your way through all the poisonous crap. And into the sunshine. Straight, uh, go straight in front of you to ride the zipline up. That makes things a lot easier. And if we head to the right and then to the left, we are now going, uh, we're back in the broken staircase area. And that's what we're going to climb. So up. On the staircase, there we go. Yo ho ho, and a rummy blow. And we're gonna have to climb this whole little section again. <laughs> but when we get to the window this time, then take a left. And then again, we're going to be taking a left up. So again, climbing up these little platformy bits. And then this time, what we're going to do, instead of going turning around, we are going to go to, around to the right of this building. And then jumping up here. And then continuing on our way up. Now there is a... Or is it the next one? I think it might be the next one. So we're just going to activate the key, actually, first of all. That'll do, so we still have the East Bridge now to do, um, but that uh, is nowhere near as long as the one we just done. So, here we go, right back into the map then. Um, we are now going to go to the Great Ruins once more. 
Okay, so nipple your way down. So from the Great Ruins, or from the... Uh, we're going to go left. Yeah, I like tab. No, sorry, we're going to go right. Yes, we're going to go right. That's my bread, that's my bread. Remember, we still have to use a lot of these, uh, just a couple more co-op abilities. So we're going to go up to the top right. Uh, we got rid of these infections earlier. We're going to now use our dome ability again in order to get through here, where there's going to be another couple of infectious creatures to get rid of. I can help you out there in any way. Let me know. Thanks, Tab. I'll take all the human help I can get. Alright, so after everyone's chilled out and they're looking good, we are going to get the RAN. There is another wind chime in this area, which you could probably hear on your screen. Um, but we are going to... Oh, we'll try that again. So, Flute and Dooten, get the RAN, and immediately with the wall, we'll obviously use the tail ram on it. And there's another one over in the other corner as well. Plus, there is a pillar that we're going to knock down. So, do these, but we can't actually do that yet. So even though he's got this big ability to just smash his way through things, apparently small little blocks are the things that haunt his nightmares. So we're going to go into the Gelgo and we're going to push both the blocks out of the way. Right, so now go back. We're going to get the ran, of course. We're going to uh, smash out the pillar. We are fight. We are coming up close to the end now, guys. We really, really are. It's been a, <laughs> it's been a bit of a long journey now, isn't it? We're all a bit tired now. Probably a bit tired of my oh so beautiful voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So as Vic, uh, we're going to turn around from where we were. Don't go into the building that we just popped the pillar down. We're going to, um, yeah, we're going to go into the building that was right next to us. Climbing up, because we are going to find the next wind chime. Uh, which we are going to need to use the levitation device. Levitation. Eventually, you can... Uh, there he is. Right, pop him up. Get your camera out. Take a picture of the next one. Look what we got here. Uh. Okay, so let's head down. And now we're going to go into the building opposite. There it is. So we're actually good. we are going to climb the pillar again and again. There is going to be some more infections. You know, I've I I, I hate the word infections. No, I've said it so much in this walk through uh, walk through that I just I hate it. Um, make sure to interact with the statue. Statue is another word I hate as well too. Uh, so that's the eighth statue out of ten done, and then get rid of the infections. Calm down. Calm down. Hi, Chihuahua! Who in the hell? You, pig face! Galileo! You come here. You go to hell! You go to hell and you die! Okay, there we go. We're all good. Uh, thank you. Snout nose! Right, so, from here then, where we were going was going to continue up towards these towers. These uh, nice, very looking nice towers. 
climbing up this staircase, we have finally reached the east of the statue, and we are 15, currently 15 minutes away now from ending the game. The game's gonna be done. Use the dome again, and obviously click your way in. And we're going to have to, so we need to get rid of two witherings. One will be in uh, underneath this. So we need to use the Hanar, then we need to open it up with the levitation and then use the withering. And the next withering is easy, just on the right. There is a Cobat, or Crobat, whatever you want to call it. We'll just call it Zubat for now. Uh, which needs to be uninfected. But there is a withering right here, which we'll get rid of. And are we going to get... What are we going to do first? Are we going to do the bat first? No, no, we're not. We're going to jump up here. We're going to use the levitation. Jump across. Use the Hana. Sorry, forgot to mention that. Make sure to use the Hana in order to get the next statue. Hmm. All right, that's lovely, lovely stuff. Use the Hanar again to get back down. You should be able to jump across. And if you manage to die, well, you'll still be in a safe spot, so you're all good. Right, get rid of the infected Crobat. I would just call him Crobat. It's uh, closer to Crobat than it is to Zubat, so... And then when we connect with the crowbat, we're going to go over to this area on the right of where we were. And we're going to uh, do a claw. I think this is the last one, actually. I think we're going to get a trinket for getting the 100%. We are indeed, yes. So that's, uh, if you check your Avapedia now, you should be on a 100% for the crowbats. And we can actually just jump in courtesy of that little blue ball. Uh, we are going to use the dome ability first. Hannah, drop down, and then dome ability. So close enough. Sorry, guys. I'm telling you right now, I am shattered. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm out. Anyway, over to the left of where we entered is the next statue. And incredibly, it's the last statue as well for us. So we'll get the achievement archaeologist as long as you've been following along. Plus, we're going to get the last sensor while we are here. We'll drop down. We are going to climb up here. We're going to Go to the right, and we're going to see the last one. So that should, again, be another achievement with all collectibles done in this area. Who to the mother freaking bruh. How important it is sometimes to stop. Now, I'm telling you, this aptly deserves a dance. Damn, wee, 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 wee. Spin it, baby. Okay, let's 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 stop now. We've only got eleven minutes left. Let's do it. Come on. Right into the distance is where we're heading. Past this crowbat, we don't need them anymore. Uh, there are another two infected ones to get rid of. God damn it! I hate the word infection. If I ever get an infection, I'd rather just chop things off now. That's it. That's it. Right, so once you've done that, before heading all the way up, turn to your left and you can see another tiny little building just here. It is the old teleport remains, which is honestly quite easily missed, this one. So get your dome ability out and we're just going to nip on through, turn on the generator. And lovely. So we've got no more collectibles to be looking out for as we get rid of the withering. All we've now got to look out for is um, 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 is uh, the Avipedia. So we're just going to make sure that all the animals are in 100%. Of course, before we leave, make sure to grab the doctor's, doctor's ters memo note. And then we can head up to the big domey statue of life. Oh, in fact, no, sorry, we've got one more wind chime left to get, don't we? So, into, go straight through, but take a left before, and here is the final wind chime of the game as well. 
Wham, bam, thank you, Nan, that she is now my Nan. Anthropologist achievement done. Right, now continue heading all the way up. And use the key, plea. There. The bridge to the mausoleum is complete. Right, so once that's done, we can now use our map and just, luckily for us this time, there's no backtracking, we can just go straight back to the Great Ruins. You can see where the waypoint is. That's what we're doing next. Uh, you can trickle off tab. So head to the right and climb up onto this pillar. Climb up once again. And we're just going to do a couple more of these... Uh, these co-op abilities, because of course we need you still need a hundred percent. So get the Galgo Gigamax. Push this block out of the way. Push the block on the left out of the way. And there uh, we blow up. And then we can just bring him back. It doesn't actually matter whether you bring him back or not. You'll find they'll find their own way back, but we need to become the Asher. So once we've done the Asher, we can do a couple of these digs. Um, I think only two or three more are needed. Um, but there's a couple more. There's another dig there. That's, yeah, that should be it. But there is another dig, uh, just in case. Anyway, so let's take a look finally at the Yavapedia and realize I haven't done it. 100%, 100%, 100% on everything. So we are all squared away. The only thing we have left to do is pet a Teraba. Teraba. Which, of course, we will be getting... Don't worry, I know we've only got eight minutes of the video left. Um, but we will be getting that one um, in the next couple of minutes. Right, so what we're doing, we're heading to the Aleph Prime's Grasslands base. And you're wondering, but why? Well, we've got a lot of... Uh, just a few more side quests and uh, just a couple more achievements left to pop. So... Uh, from here, we're going to drop down. We are going to head in. Because there's only one thing left to do in the dunes now, and that is face off against the Taraba for the final time. Spoiler alert. But we're going to go and drop off a few things. The first one, we're going to drop off the rest of the plants to Ishra. Uh, uh, yeah, that guy. So that side quest is now completed. Let's go up now and uh, do the final one with Fenty. Fenty Frey Fenty Bentos Pie. So remember, we've got all collectibles, of course, because we've got all the achievements. The other, this achievement will unlock as well, part of the tribe. That is for completing all secondary quests, so that is worth another big spin as well. Whee! So, these are the ones that we've got left. We've got seven achievements left, and to be honest, most of them we will unlock at the very end of the game anyway. So, the unlock all backpack trinkets that we'll unlock at the end of the game after we have a little go with the Tiraba, and the rest of them will all just come pretty much naturally now. So, once we've done that, we can actually head back to the Great Ruins. Now that we've done all secondary side quests, we've got the achievement for it. There is no rain, no turn, and back. So, and dropping down, we're going to turn whatever that noise was. It sounded scary. Uh, so turn basically 360. Now there are a couple again. There is a couple of infected enemies, but this time again we're not going to bother. We're just going to double check, make sure they've got everything on 100% apart from the Tiraba. Tiraba uh, places. There should only be one left, and we're about to get that one. There it is. So that's all you should have left is one. Plants, of course, we've already done. We've smashed out all of the plants. Uh, characters as well, we've smashed out all of the characters. So that is that. So again, just ignore these guys. Sorry, you can stick with your warts of life. We don't care anymore. We're going to come up here. We're going to speak to Neymar for one final time. Um, but yes, the final boss here is the Taraba, but he's actually not bad. He's... In fact, with the dome ability again, he's just as easy as he was before. So, once you walk forward, you will get a, another achievement. What it is worth doing, though, just in case, make a manual save. And this is just in case you did forget to do something, perhaps. Don't know what it could be. Uh, but if you're missing something or whatever, um, 
making a manual save will help because you can go back and do other things. Well, only in the grasslands, but yes, just in case. But they are all we've got left to do. And like I said, a lot of these will be unlocking effective well, in the next minute or two. So off we pop. And the first achievement of the seven is going to unlock. That is for discovering all locations. So we will again get the warning of make sure that you've done everything that you want to do, which we have. So that, because uh, there ain't no coming back to the dunes. Thank God for that. So once again, we can skip the couple of cutscenes here. And again, we're going to get our dome ability straight out, slow him down, and then just smash him, uh, smash him up. Again, his, his, his attacks are just as easy as before. He literally just tries to charge you and then jump and throw some mud at you by jumping. Um, I don't know if that actually works, that thing that we are doing now, but yeah. Anyway, he's easy enough. And there he goes. Right, I'm not sure if it'll work, but make sure to not skip the cutscene. I reckon it should work anyway for petting the Teraba and um, everything like that. But we're just going to leave this cutscene in uh, just so we pet him. So after all that, and he just wanted some love. There we go, job done. And just just wait until the achievements start popping like, I love cake. It's a mausoleum. I hear you. I'm looking for... In the winter, there are rooms. Who's there? In the winter, there are That voice. Tab, are you hearing this? Yes. What is that? Keep the line open. It looks like... But that voice... Well, that was just delishimondo, wasn't it? So once we skip the cutscene, we can't actually sprint, but all we're going to do for the next minute or so is just simply... Walk forward. It's all you got to do. Walk forward until we get to Tabitha. We're going to say goodbye, my lovers. I'm, I'm out here. I've done all your work for you. Jesus Christ, and you haven't even paid me. It made it up there. Well, now we wait for the... Well, that didn't take long. Life here. Compromise. It's working? Oh, it's working all right. The Bioarch sensors are going berserk. We're sending everything back. Thank God. No, no, what's happening? No! You know what this means, though. Right, Vic? The withering. The Nam. The whole planet. Everyone we've met. I know, Tabitha. I know. I'll see you back at the village. Time to say our goodbyes. Right, let's go ahead and we do have to say goodbye to a couple of people. So we're going to say goodbye to... Uh, Neymar to Trifle and just have a little chat with anyone that you can before speaking to Tabitha again. Getting off the damn planet. Although it has been beautiful, we're tired. We're oh, we're also tired. Here we go. That's it. Thank you. Yes, we're done. That's it. Happy days. The uh, it's all done. So there we go. So thank you. That should be 27 out of 27 achievements for you guys and gals, so thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy the game, and I really hope that the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. A big shout-out, as always, to my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Really, really do appreciate it, so thank you so much again. Check out my new podcast as well, called Gaming's Darker Side, if you so wish. 
And I'm going for a rest as I've aged and my throat has aged about 20 years after this one. So I shall see you in the next Game Pass game, guys and gals. Ba, ba, ba. Big Larry.